Hey guys, Fia back at it again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 6th of May, 2022, and it's Burning Crusade Time Walking. I achieved something very special today, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because that, you're not going to watch the, I mean, you might watch the, gosh, I can't speak. You might watch the VOD anyway, but I don't want to do spoilers. Uh, but I did do something kind of awesome that I'm pretty proud of today on stream. Uh, well, I hope that you'd be able to join us live next time. You can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. And if you add a forward slash schedule onto the end of that URL, you'll be able to find when I'll next be going live converted to your time zone, like some kind of magic. My gosh, time zones make my brain hurt. So that's a thing. And if you want to catch me elsewhere, uh, you can do so on social media. Um, we've got Twitter, Instagram, particularly Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. There's a Discord too. All those links are down in the description box below. We'd love to have you over on all the different places. But until then, have fun, enjoy watching the VOD, and I will see you in chat next time. Hello. <laughs> Hi! Why does my camera look weird? It's not quite right. Oh, well, maybe it is, and it's just... My screens have been doing something wonky lately. Every so often, like for the second time, my, my both my screens have kind of done a shutdown, and there's been a disconnect noise, and I've had to like unplug and replug them in to make them come back on again, and when I do, their entire calibrated color whatever is gone totally wiped back to beat and i'm like because you might be it has it just gone it has god fucking damn it i told you not to to do that you bloody numpty huh <sighs> Yeah, so both my, my screens, the color calibration is completely screwed now. Uh, this one seems to be mostly normal. That one is super pink. Yeah. And it's frustrating the hell out of me because I can't get them to show the same stuff. I, I cannot get them the same. They are two different models of screen, but that shouldn't, that still shouldn't matter. Like I should still be able to, yeah, but I, I cannot figure out how to get them right. Uh, but that's fine, whatever. Um. As long as I don't look super odd to you guys, that's what matters, right? That's what matters. Um, hello, hello, welcome back to stream. I took a day off on Wednesday and it was like, oh, skin chest, we're gonna lose, haha. -ha. Make sure you place those units because it's the only way we're gonna win. Uh, considering this is the first battle of the day and it's a skin chest, which are more difficult than regular battles, uh, this is gonna, be a fun time. So be sure to place those units. There's a link in chat. You follow that, log in with your Twitch account, and then just drag and drop them to the battlefield. Once every five minutes, you'll hear it. Like if you allow the browser page, the tab to make noise, it'll do a little alarm when you're good to place again, if, if you're okay with that. You can hear me, I'm six off. Are you actually joking? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so I'm placing rogues and rogues and archers. So we're going to do rogues first because uh, something, something, two quests, one place. Well, three placements, but still. Time walking. Uh, I didn't turn the bot on because it was off these days because uh, I was doing other stuff and was trying to close as many programs as possible. And I forgot to turn it back on again because of course I did. Uh, so that was off, but I fixed it. Um, so we're not going to blame Koala Tron Zam, we're going to blame, we're going to blame Fear, because it's entirely Fear's fault. Uh, these things happen, they do, Kay, and thank you very much for, for that, but yeah, look, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a thing. Good evening, Gita, welcome back. Tech issues back to normally scheduled stream. Look you. Uh, <laughs> go buttons are overrated. Yeah, look, sometimes, but when they do important functions, they're usually kind of important. Um, so glad it's finally rainy. It's been threatening to all day. Have we had... I feel like we've had a smattering of rain here and there the last few days. Just a little bit though. Hey, Adoop. Welcome back. Uh, 
Uh, so Sam grabbed first, K with second, Desir with third, welcome on in. I figured they'd be taken. No, I turned it on late because I'm I'm an umpty. Uh, yep, also here you are indeed, dupe. Welcome, can you live from the blood bank? Ah, well thank you very much for contributing. Uh, on behalf of those of us who can't, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm sure that maybe one day I probably actually appreciate it in a more tangible way, but yeah. Uh, knowing, uh, knowing my luck with health. Um, <laughs> oh, you as well, Thor. Thank you very much to you as well. Oh, that's so awesome to see. Well, or to hear about, I guess. Much appreciated. Listen, indeed, and I have turned captions on. Thank you very much, bot. Um, hello there, saw you today, and Shatra's just chilling. Yeah, it was probably when I was setting up for stream. Um, I jumped here a little earlier than, uh, and then went and kind of did the face and stuff. Uh, Raven, hello, greetings and fermentations. <laughs> I could go a booch. Kombucha would be really good right about now. It's so tasty. I used to hate it. It tasted like vinegar, like apple cider vinegar, and then it just kind of grew on me. I don't know. It's, um, there are certain brands that are really, really, some of them are not very nice, but, um, some of the brands that are, like, naturally flavoured are really tasty. Uh, probably need to change your monitor cables, they can go bad after a while. Uh, okay, interesting. Noted. Um, they're about as old as the screens, because I got them when I got the screens. Uh, and it is two different kinds, one of them's an HDMI and one of them's a DVI. So, uh, I hate when so much goes wrong for an update. I didn't do any updates with Thumbtack, that's the problem. I just, it, like, I would be sitting here doing stuff and then all of a sudden, thump, and then they both go, do do do. And I'm like, excuse me, what? And then I plug them, I have to unplug. Usually I'd only have to unplug and plug one of them and they both activate. Like, unplugging one would trigger the other one to turn on with everything on it. And then I'd have to plug the first one back in again. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, part of me feels like maybe it's my PCU, not PCU, PSU. Um, cause, uh, when I did the rebuild, um, the power supply was more than enough power to cover all of the new, cause whenever I get, whenever I build a PC, I always make sure that the power supply can take an expansion, um, because it doesn't, they, the power supply is one of the cheapest bits of the computer and it really doesn't cost that much extra to get a crap load more power out of it. Um, so I usually get one that's a fair bit, like a few steps up from what I actually need to make sure that if I do end up plugging fancy stuff in or like that, it'll handle it just fine. Um, so when I last rebuilt this baby, uh, she didn't need a, a power supply. All the new pieces, although more powerful than the last build, still were well within the range of the power supply. Well within um so i didn't bother replacing it but now it's clicking that that makes the, like the pc is three years old but that makes the power supply eight years old <laughs> so i should mm, i'm thinking that's what it is uh but look uh it could be the cables if it's the cables that's probably about the same price as ruling the psu actually <laughs> actually now that i think about it um but yeah no it's 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 an old one um, I take pretty good care of my stuff, but you know, it's still old age is a old age is a bitch. Uh, <laughs> and hello from front page. Ah, oh, am I on the front page? I'm in I'm in backfill. So um, when there's no special events going on, um, there's like a list of people who like if you will load up Twitch's front page and there's no special events, or there's only like one or two, but there's like five front page slots, it'll just kind of grab names off that list and stick them in there. I don't know if it does it randomly or if it's like a recommended type feature. Um, but yeah, so I'm, my name is on that list. So every so often I'll, uh, I'll pop up on your front page. Uh, if you do a bit of scrolling or if there's literally no events going on, I might just be like smack bang right there, uh, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Right? So welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, for God's sake, they broke it. <sighs> Twitch has done some new settings. Um, Uh, Twitch has implemented some new settings and it's, uh, it's broken it for me because of course it is. Freaking brilliant. God damn it. Unless it's on Thumbtack again, could you do me an enormous favor and check in your chat settings if there's anything about you having turned off 
the first time chat highlight because we usually when people come in and it, it's like you know like first time chat from viewer but it didn't come up for you because and but, but there's been an update to it recently and apparently some people have an option to turn the, like I can turn it off so I don't see it even if the, but but I haven't I've got it set to show and then but then people are saying oh no no you can turn it like the viewers can turn it off from their end to like enter stealthily and I'm like really is that a thing um because I don't figure too many people would have activated it if it's been available for literally two days uh and so there's been a lot of excuse me your feature is broken uh type communication so that's really frustrating uh because I like acknowledging people who are here for the first time um but uh, and I've just noticed that Ravenspawn has had the same thing. Raven's a new chatter and not, didn't show up as a new. Grumble, I hate this. Why do, mm, grum um, Grumble. Um, bright, but that's cute, that's for Uh, pack of shirt, planning to go this year. Indeed. Indeed, I have my three day pass, my flats and my accommodation all booked and sorted. Uh, hello, Az, going well. I hope you're doing well as well. Uh, so you did this already, to reset video cables, yep, this is colors back that colors to me. Yeah, no, this is like, they'll be totally fine and then they'll completely turn off and I have to like get the cable out and then get the cable back in again. And it's not a loose cable because I had, I actually screw, you know, the ones with the screws on this, I fucking use those. I screw them in because so that if I, if I knock it or something, it's not going to just go, oh, oh no, wrong, wrong, bad connection. Um, so I, and I had to unscrew the goddamn cable to be able to get it out and then get it back in again. So it was most certainly not a, a loose cable. <laughs> I can guarantee you that bit. Screwed on on both ends. Uh, anyway. Uh, you're about to hear this when I walk, of course. Hey, Chaos, doing well. How are you? Uh, you can as well. Huh? Your friend, at least. I'm not sure what brand you're talking about, sorry to say. Um, hello Vikings, how are you doing today? Um, should be the problem wouldn't be power supply. I was thinking this could be monitors, graphic card itself, or the cables, if it's a physical problem, could be a driver issue. Nah, uh, my drivers are usually pretty good. But that's, hmm, okay. Hello Shiba, how are you going? Do you use Twitch Studio? Is that like the like the OBS type thing that Twitch? No, I've never used it. Never in a million years. You too feel yeah wonderful. I can click your name and see how many chat things you've sent. Numpty. I usually word and terrible casual live stream. That's okay. Not a worry at all, Raven. Not a worry at all. I'm just trying to figure out if it's if it's actually a Twitch bug with the first chatter, first time chatter thing, and if I need to report it, or if it's a setting that you guys have set. So therefore, working is intended. It's all good. Not a problem at all. I can't believe you made the goal 300k. Yeah, you made us miss out on the stream this week. Yeah, I forgot about that. So that's yep. Yeah, have fun. Have fun. You're playing well, loving. I'm sorry for the first time. Ah, oh, brilliant. I hope you enjoy it. Hey, Async. Welcome back. Right. Okay. Step one. Do time walking. This is, this is what we do. We are doing, oh, I'm, um, hang on a minute. I'm appearing offline, aren't I? Good. Uh, there's a quick join. If you want to do the thing, you can do the quick join. Uh, but I need to turn this on first. There we go. Fixed. Ah, uh, Twitch wrote back about announcements. They haven't implemented them for mobile. Ah, they go. They go very rarely use Twitch. I've changed nothing, so I don't know how it works. That's okay, Raven. Not a problem at all. Not a worry. Pretty great trinket out of two Ah, fantastic. Well done. Congratulations. Um, I will not be getting any of those occasions because I'm going to be doing one dungeon per character. I have my list of stuff that I need to purchase. I have eight characters that need the 500 badges to save up for other stuff. Um, and then I've got a bunch of tunes that actually have badges ready to spend. Um, so hopefully, hopefully I'll have enough badges to clear the list of BC stuff. 
uh, but it depends on it depends on uh, like the armor types and weapon types and stuff. Uh, but last time, like Legion, I cleared the list of Legion except for the really big expensive ones, like the the three K and the five K. Every that's that's still there, but every other Legion thing is crossed off. That I lied. Wait. Why are they still there? I feel like I got those. Um, did I not cross them off, maybe? Uh, Narthalas, Ceremonial, Leg Wraps, and Tunic. I might have just forgotten to cross them off. It is something I do frequently. No, oh, they're not on the list anymore, so I must have got them. Wonderful. Brilliant. It's just me. Uh, yeah. Um... We need 181,315 embers to make Fia hunt for some fun toys. That is 91 people. To donate, all you need to do is click the little fire under and to the left of the chat box. Hit that big old bar that says toy hunting stream. You can donate up to 2,000 embers or you can donate multiple times up to that point. Embers are a completely free currency to spend. It's channel points. And you get your embers back if we don't reach the goal. We're currently sitting on 40%. To stay on target, we need to hit 67% today. Because fear fucked up, basically. Uh, <laughs> I'll do that to Zam at the blood bank. And there's a hydrate sign. Amazing. Wonderful. Um, sure, there was some stuff you got, but ATT didn't recognize. I think I figured that stuff out, though. It was like... it Just because I had to get... I had to, like, figure out the refund time and stuff like that. But it's fine. It's not on the list anymore. Like when I have a look at everything I need for this, it, it says it's fine. So, yeah, that's about right. Two streams left to get this goal. Let's go over and yep. So if we got to 34%, then 67%, then 100%. So we need to get to 67% tonight, which is only 27% away. So, well, last I checked. <laughs> uh, do we have a relax sound command? No. Check in on Discord. Fear is sabotaging us. Oh, not on purpose, though. Hey, Blade, how you doing? Increase goal and missing a day. The pain and horror. Look, it's fine. Ten minute wait time? Well, this is not good. That's fine. Should we just faith in us? You wait till Seeky gets here. You'll see. Doing good. Hope you're doing well. I am. I am. Honestly, taking Wednesday off was one of the best decisions I could have made. Like, it on yeah it it made it made a huge difference to like a lot of things um i may end up taking off a day a month kind of thing um just to help me sort of sort and get through some stuff um especially with some some changes that are coming but nothing you guys have to worry about won't affect you won't affect you at all um yeah I used to do that. I did used to do that. And then I I fell down the hole of, let's get partner, let's do this, let's do that. It last Saturday month, right? Yeah, it was like one Saturday a month. I took a stream off and then I shuffled, like I shuffled my days around. And um, having that full Saturday off every week uh, made me feel like I didn't need a day off so much anymore. Um, and then... Uh, Plus, I you know I used to work three days a week at my job, and then I got dropped down to two days a week, and so that made a big difference as well. And there was all this kind of stuff, um, you know, life changed and all that. But uh, now that I am doing more work back end, like it, it used to be, that streaming consisted of I got home, I turned on OBS, I went live, and then I stopped, and then I went to bed. 
Like that was it. There was no Twitch. Uh, not Twitch. There was no Twitter. I barely ever posted to Instagram. I'd like, they just, I didn't do anything for stream outside of literally sitting here and streaming. And now that that's changed in a, in a big way, I got my email. So every month I get an email from my Instagram scheduling program, right? It tells me what my performance was in the prior month. So because it's now May, it gave me my April stats. So on, in, during April, uh, this month you posted on Instagram 29 out of 30 days. I don't know why I missed one. Uh, and I published 17 stories. Um, my average engagement from the 29 posts you published was 3.79% compared to 0, 0.00 from March because I didn't post in March. Uh, story completion rate, your average completion rate from the 17 stories you published in April was 15% compared to 20% from March. So that's gone down. It's just because people don't watch my entire, like they don't watch the entire video. But that, like, when I'm posting go live, you don't necessarily watch the whole story. You you see that I'm live and halfway through you tap the link to jump to Twitch. Do you know what I mean? So that's kind of, that stats a little bit, I don't know, for me. Uh, and then my most engaged post with an engagement rate of 12% was that final step one post, because of course it was, um, with uh, 101 likes, 18 comments and an engagement rate of 12%. Uh, I had 38 people check out my website this month. So like link in bio, 38 people tapped my link in bio and I averaged four new followers per post, 114 followers in April. 114 new followers in April. So what I'm trying to find Instagram, Instagram, how many followers did I have back? Oh, I guess I actually gotta do stuff now. Um, not engagement, impressions reached. Of growth. Okay, so excuse me, when when it was the last day of I'm trying to see how many like how many followers I had on the first of May. And I'm not sure if I can do that. Erg insights, maybe. Where are we? I remember this place. Good. It's not like I haven't been here a million times. It's almost like I come here every week to do transmog farming. Although, when I updated after our Cathedral of Eternal Night, shenanigans on Sunday. I updated all the data. The next thing on my list is Blackwing Lair. It's a raid. So that might be, I mean, we're doing gold making this Sunday, but um, next Sunday it might be kind of fun, like going and doing, you know, going and doing. Could be interesting. Bash as many tunes through BWL as I can. Uh, um, hey, Lazy. Uh, is this major main character? It is. It is. She is my main. Yeah, anyone would be said you're getting a fucking break someday, so I would love for you to go away. <laughs> so I am gonna be taking a day off in in June. Um in fact, uh, the way things are looking, it's gonna be the first of June that I take off. Um because I've been invited to an event. Uh and then July, I'm gonna be taking two streams off. Warm up. Let's make 
back to back. Um, but that's because I'm going to be traveling for the first time in a long ass time. Hold the line! They must not get through! Um, this <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Adez, doing well. Hope you are too. Uh, story with the Star Wars story. Love those things. Yeah, so do I. I'm trying to... Look, if you like... If you find... If you find an Instagram post or a TikTok or any any of that kind of content... Um, God, if, even a fucking Snapchat, really. With those kind of filters on them. Like the da 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 and then bing! That kind of... I love them. They're hilarious and great. And of course... Of course I'm Obi-Wan with the, the flowing, lustrous locks. Are you kidding me? My hair is amazing. Uh, <laughs> um, go check my Instagram feed if you're very confused. It was great. Uh, but yeah, if you find those, you can send them to me via DM. So you can, there's a little share button on Instagram and you can shoot it straight into my inbox. You can do the same on TikTok. Snapchat, you'll have to like, take a screenshot or something. Um, and send it to me on Discord or something like that, uh, or DM on Instagram or something like that, because um, I'll need to go and like download Snapchat and find the right filter and etc. 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 So that might be a bit sticky, but um, yeah, if you if you see those kind of things around, like by all means, shoot them through because it, they look like a lot of fun. Join the fight. Um, you step one post, step one add on Insta. Is one of them meant to lent? Oh my god, that's weird. Oh my god, did you? What? Seriously? I didn't know about that. <laughs> I mean, there was a thing in the contract that they can use it for stuff, but I honestly, I would have thought they'd tell me. <laughs> my bad. Um, or, like, using one, of, using one of my pictures. I need to see this now. Um... Slumber, join the fight. Um, so if I to... this is there we go. So from no, one or oh, update. If it can tell me how many Still trying to get Instagram to tell me how many followers I had on the on the first of May. So I've gotten three three followers. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, I don't even know. Because I would like to get more followers this month than I did last month, because that's, you know, the goal, right? Let's see the difference in those good ideas themselves. Fantastic. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I do not have from adding to place and wow. Yas. Do the thing. Uh, so I heard you can do time walking with X. How do you get the keys for that? I have no idea because I haven't done one myself. Sorry, Mango. Um, I know you can do it during Legion time walking. I don't know that you can do it during BC time walking. Um, they were also talking about in future Mythic Plus seasons having like a mix of current dungeons and old dungeons, but that's not... I heard that in reference to Dragonflight. I don't know if they're doing that with season four or if it like, cause currently we're in season three. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, bitter is so easy. I love it. I'm my demon hunter. Uh, extra time wing badges if you do black temple raid as well. Yeah, not, nah, don't care. I'm not doing it. No way. Nope. Um, hey Zalk. Leather stuff to get. Demon hunter is so fast. It is. Agreed. Agreed. Travels indeed. Also, you deserve a bloody break. Also, stream works out. Oh, thank you, Panda. But, like, one of the reasons I am where I'm at is because of how hard I've worked. So, I feel like if I take a step back, then my growth will falter and all the opportunities I've been getting lately will stop and all that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a real fear that, you know, you stop working yourself to the bone and everything just dries up. Uh, and I can't afford for that to happen. 
Um, like, legitimately, I, I can't afford for that to happen. Um, so, yeah, it's all a bit kind of nerve-wracking. To be honest. Ooh. That's not new. It is pretty, though. Hmm. Invaders have breached the defenses! Uh, I actually did. What server are you on? Uh, for Horde, I'm on Salfang and Alliance, I'm on Amanthal. Thank you, Shiba, for the server command. I uh, also story polls, I think they're polls at least. Gives you options, usual Twitter. Which rather would work well for them. You, yeah, you're right. That's a really good point. It's a really good point. Uh, season 4 will have old dungeons with as well. There you go. Cool. But yeah, you can get Mythic, like, uh, Legion Mythic Plus, I believe, but that we're doing BC time walking at the moment, not Legion. Um, so I don't think that they're available. I know Mage Tower is available permanently, but I don't think that the Legion Mythic Plus was available permanently with it. It was just, I think it was just Mage Hi, Tower. The <gasps> Raven, thank you so much for your Prime Gaming sub. Much appreciated. Amazing. Okay. Won't let anything fall down. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not always about the community, though. <laughs> um, a lot of it is about, like, numbers and stuff like that. And if, like, I mean, I know that, like, the core community who are super active in chat and stuff won't ditch me if I take one day off. But the lurkers? Lurkers occasionally you'll find if you take a day off and they rock up and they're like, oh, where are they? Because they don't necessarily pay attention to schedule changes and stuff like that. It's just like they show up and if you're there, great. If you're not, then they go find someone else. And then if they find someone else who streams a similar schedule to me, then they'll just stick with them until they do you know what I mean? Like it's, it can be, Twitch can be incredibly fickle like that. Not always, but it, it definitely can be. So it's, um, it's scary from a creator perspective. It's, it's really scary to take even a day off. Um, and feedback. Oh, dupe, you're amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I thought I snake screenshot of it. Step one sponsored ad. Was it on your picks? There you go. That's awesome. Well, hopefully, hopefully that means that they reach out again in future. Um, but we will, we will see. Um, I'd like to support my local creators. That's so good to hear, Raven. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, and if anyone else out there, uh, lurking or otherwise, would like to help support, and like you don't have to do it financially, not at all. Uh, a really fantastic way that you can support your favorite creators is to hit that follow button, and not just on Twitch, but like on every platform. So I've got an Instagram that I've been yammering on about. Um, there's there's Twitter, there's TikTok, there's YouTube. I even have one of those like Facebook page dealies that you can like if you so desire um but yeah if you're if you're feeling generous today and you'd like to support um any of your favorite creators if they have any social media at all will be massively benefited by you dropping a follow it does it, like it doesn't sound like much but you would have you would not believe how helpful it is because you like you know if you want to get to 10,000 Instagram followers that's 10,000 individual people 10,000 you and you know so yeah every every follow counts every single follow counts uh, so do the thing I know I'm not even on 10k on Twitch but look hey a girl can dream <laughs> a girl can have lofty goals okay look <laughs> Screen should just go. Ah, thank you, Kay. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, we have a battle. Um, you guys noticed the lack of battle counter. What? Lack of battle counter? Was there a. It's odd. Screen is a delay. That's very strange. Maybe they've changed something. Mm, all right, I'll double check that. I didn't. I didn't change that. <laughs> um, in fact, I was. I was like made sure to turn it back on again after we had that because um, I'm pretty. Oh no, wait! I did have it for the charity stream, didn't I? I haven't done anything lately where I didn't do stream readers. That's really strange. I'll double check it. 
That's really odd. 10,000 of me would be worrisome. <laughs> also, high fear and I mean, 10,000 of me would be just be flat out terrifying, guys. No, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> really, nothing showing Laura. Yeah, I, I know what you, I figured what you mean now. Um, but yeah, that's not something I changed. I'll have to have a look. Um, maybe they, they might have changed the format of their links, and so I might need to go grab a new one or something. Um, unknown, unknown, unknown people and Seeker, the bot, yeah! <laughs> Uh, I think I've stalked most of your socials, entertaining while not being fake. Discovered you recently through the Blizz app. Aww, Raven, that's so sweet of you. Thank you for saying. I, I try really hard not to be fake. Um, as, as fake as that might sound. Um, but no, it's a, like, it's, it's a big thing. Like, I, I don't want to be, I want to be genuine. Um, like, one, one of the way, like, the big way that creators make cash, because that's, I mean, I'm not here to make money. Trust me, if I was, I would be not overly, you know, it's, it doesn't pay well. Uh, however, I want to eventually make this full time, which means that it will need to get there in terms of Kashola at some point, right? Uh, and in order to, to be able to make money and influence, I know we're still on battle screen, I'm just a uh, boss fight, I don't want to let these uh, random people down. Um, there we go, as you could hear there. Uh, Silver, Thor, Ali, Welsh and Zam, congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. Woo! Alright, next one. Uh, but, uh, so the, the main way that influencers make their dosh is through sponsorships. Um, and sponsorships don't come easy. Um, a big part of sponsorships is being able to prove that you can influence people to spend money. So, you know, subscriber numbers and stuff like that are great, but if I have an affiliate program, being able to show like, hey, I have this link and out of the 70 people who clicked it, 62 of them made a purchase. That's hella high conversion rate. And so it like that goes to show that I am good at convincing people to part with their cash. Um, okay. Let me have a look here. Because it is absolutely turned on. I can confirm it says SR overlay and the little, the little eye is is open which means that it is supposed to be showing um it's broken all right give me a second thank you for letting me know um this might take a bit because i'm obviously trying to work my way through a dungeon as well and not be shit not be a bad team member um but yeah so the way to the way to actually have those conversions the way to sell product is to be trustworthy it's to have people trust you so that when you say hey guys this stuff is really good, people will go, oh, well, if Fia says it's good, it must actually be good, and I need one of those. I've been looking around for one of those. I'm going to pick that brand based on her recommendation. I would never want anyone to purchase something they don't want or need, ever. But I would also never put my name behind something that I think is shit. Because that's not, like, that's how you break trust. <laughs> so I try to be genuine. I try to be... Um, like trustworthy so that I can turn that into income but in the right way you know you, you have these you have certain creators uh, on, on all sorts of different platforms who are like oh my god this stuff is the best and then people buy it and it's utter trash and they can't get refunds or they pay for the product and never receive it and all this kind of stuff because the creator has just taken a sponsorship that's dropped in their inbox and gone yeah I'll have that money thank you I've never tried your product before, but sure, I'll sell it for you. And that's not, I never wanted to do that. I, I never, ever, 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 ever want to do that because, ew. <laughs> Just ew. Um, but yeah, so thank you for your kind words because it's genuinely what I try to accomplish. Um, so appreciate it. Um. I do, I took my body mouth. Yep, absolutely. Uh, hang on, guys. This is... Something's really wrong. Even my- even my shortcut to the stream reader's data is, um... Is broken, is busted. Uh... Is that 
It's identical. Oh. There we go. Apparently repasting in the same URL. Made it work. That's super strange. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Give me a second, I'm gonna just... Update my... Mark here. Yeah, they've changed a couple of their URLs around. That's okay. Oh, dearie me. Alright, so that's... Is there a Shatrath portal? I don't understand. Um, I'm going to leave the instance group. And while we're out here, I'm going to very quickly switch over to here because uh, no one has started doing the guessing thing, so we're going to fix that. Um, <laughs> so, you might be able to see. I've got some red, some orange, some yellow. There's like a cream sort of shade on my lids on here. It's a little bit shimmery, but not shimmery enough for the camera to pick up that it's super sparkly. But then I have, can you see that just slight detail across by my cheekbones and, and nose there? Wonder if that's important. Wonder if that's important. I own it and it flies. I've just realized a couple of my things aren't working. This is awfully odd. Um, all right, so obviously OBS has done something super hella wonky. So that I want to be over there, but that's okay. I know why that was moved. Why is, is it working here? No, it's not working here either. Hmm. Unhappy. Saladin is one different company is not from us, but also us. Look, um, what I, I think, like, I, I deeply appreciate all of the support, both financial and non-financial, that my community provides me. Like, deeply, deeply appreciate it. But I don't want to have to make my living off your hard-earned dollars, if that makes sense. Whereas companies have marketing budgets and they have to spend it somewhere, uh, so it might as well be on me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it, we get, look, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, what I want sponsor banner, this one. Why is this not working? Copy. It's the same. It's exactly the same. I don't understand what's going on and why this isn't working. I don't get, I don't understand why it's broken. The tip jar is working. Why is the sponsor banner not working? I don't get it. I, I don't understand. 
So it's the thing that's usually here that scrolls through like Logitech and all that kind of stuff. And it has to be there. Like it literally has to be on my stream. So I don't know why. I don't know why it's not working. I think, oh my god, I cannot spell my own name. What is going on? Interesting. Okay. OBS has had an update. And I think it broke some shit. But it's okay, I think I fixed at least part of it. Okay, back to being entertaining. Go. Uh, <laughs> good. Yay. Three, seven, five, seven. Badges for fear. Jesus, that's a lot. Three, seven, five, seven. Still not enough. I need 5k. Uh, we're going to switch to the druid. Off we hop. Um, any mount yet? Uh, it's not mount fun. Monday, no. <laughs> I, I try to avoid not getting- I try to avoid getting mounts on not Monday because people get angry at me. I oh, finally got a skin. Hey Sam, congratulations on the skin! Can I do time walking while leveling or only max level? I believe you have to be 50 plus. So you can- you can do it leveling from 50 to 60, but you can't do it when you're at like level 12, for example. Has to be level 50. I appreciate the real talk. Oh, you're welcome, Vile. Not a worry at all. It's It, it happens a lot here. Like, a lot, a lot. So, <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate it, because you can't really avoid it here. <laughs> You'd be level 50 for time walking. Blaine Zam, whoever points out something broken, obviously broke it. Totally kidding, by the way. Maybe the latest update did something. I reckon. I reckon. Ah, uh, you fixed it, Sam. Had two Thors onto me. Am I seeing shiny something in there, too? Huh? It's shiny? Oh, crap. I don't have all my... Everything! Load. Uh, we need 1,701... Nope. 171,315 embers to make fear. That's me. Hunt for toys. That's 86 people chipping in 2k embers each. Excuse me. Embers are channel points. Uh, to donate, all you need to do is click the little fire under and to the left of chat box. Hit that big old bar that says toy hunting stream. You can donate up to 2,000 embers or you can donate multiple times up to that point. Embers are a completely free currency to spend and you get your embers back if we do not reach the goal. To keep on track with our goal, we have to reach at least 66% today. Correct. Uh, Rat Stallion jumping from a height? No. Uh, I guess Ashes of Allah just because it matches a lot of the colours? No. It is not Ashes. Also because it still eludes me. The affiliate programs are showing. Yeah, I know. That was, yeah, that was what I noticed as well. Um, so, is fixed. Uh, at least that one. Look, there's a... I don't know what the hell happened. But that's okay. Um, what spec am I in? I am in Guardian. Okay, good. We're gonna... Queue for time walking. And we're gonna go... To chat in preparation. Um, it is stream balked? Apparently. Yeah, but like, not balked in a way that you can't watch it. Just balked in a way that I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Heavenly Crimson Cloud 7. Nope. Uh, Valajar Stormwing. Nope. Hard that one. It is very pretty. Uh, reset OBS. Can't do that without turning off the stream. And it doesn't require a reset because literally there are hundreds of hours of tweaking and setup put into it. I am like, fuck starting from scratch again. Absolutely not. I will do everything I can to fix an individual C, like an individual source, uh, before I go resetting the whole bloody thing. Cause nah. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, Thundering Ruby Cloud Serpent. Nope. Uh, this one's better. It's back. It is. It is. If you try turning it off and then on again, I'll see myself out. Oh, dear. Hey, emote only chat. All the emotes spam. Beautiful. Look at them all. Amazing. Wait, you're fair? Yes. Yes, I am. Welcome to my stream. 
Thundering August Cloud Serpent, yes. That is the one. Amber. Is that one? No, it's this one. Shatra. It is Thundering August, uh, Thundering August Cloud Serpent. It fades from yellow through orange to red. It has cream, spiky bits, and a tail. And of course, the lightning all over it because thundering. What's your number, Sheebs? Uh, unfortunately, Firelands Mount would not have been a sufficient answer, Vikings. I need, like, names of mounts or, like, specific thing that drops in a specific, like, if it's from, you know, this particular boss, if it only drops one mount. Uh, there are, like, what's at least two from Firelands. Um, there might be another one that you can purchase with the currency and all that kind of stuff. I can't remember. It's been too long. Uh, okay. Do not need to do that. I've been here plenty of times. <clears throat> um. What is going on? Why do I do it? <laughs> 40, 50 by the time we're Uh, that's interesting. Maybe it's just Legion that was 50. Um, because when they did the when they did the level squish, when we did that first round through all the time walking dungeons, everything required you to be 50. Everything did. So maybe they've made some changes since then. That's great news. That's great news. Um, I can't verify any of it because I've got 50 tunes and they're all level 50 plus, so I can't verify anything under 50. <laughs> Thank you, Thor. I appreciate it. That cheap design is very much thunder, yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It was a bit fidgety today, actually. Um, the the colour when I mixed it with Duraline changed a fair bit. And I was like, uh oh, but I think it still has like it still it still works alright. Um, it's just not quite like when when it's just looking at it in the pan, it kinda has a bit of a blue in the shimmer, which is why I chose it, because all the lightning in, in WoW is blue. Um, but then when I put it on, it's like very much pink and only pink, and I was like, well look, it fits with the red, orange, and yellow, so it'll be fine. Uh 78, alright, I'm gonna try not to let this this group die. Although one of the people in here, as soon as we zoned in, said all unneeded blues to me. It, all unneeded blues go to me. Got it? And I'm like, have fun with that, buddy. Like, uh. mm. I think Sheba needs a crown. Sheba's already got a sword. That's enough. <laughs> Sheba wants a crown. I need to get... Is it Twitch Prime that gives you the crown? I think it's Twitch Prime. Slash Amazon Prime. Or whatever it is. Okay, cool. Um, so used to killing everything. That's fine. Um, green mustache. Oh, wrong headset. Um, I'll refund you that one. Um, I can't attach the what's it's onto this headset. Sorry about that. 
Um, calendar says 50 above for time walking. Uh, I'm on 33 Druid and can queue for time walking. Yeah, um, this, the calendar's not always right. Uh, unfortunately. I have a feeling they just- because when- back when- back before the leveling squish, each one had a different requirement depending on which expansion it was. So BC had a really low requirement because you just had to be max level for BC to be able to do BC time walking. Um, so I think when the level squished happened, they had to redo the calendar things. They might have just copy pasted and then not gone back and actually fixed them up properly, you know? I mean, I've done it <laughs> countless times with my Instagram posts and then gone, ah, shit, and had to go back and fix them up. Uh, so it makes sense that you'd be able to, uh, I think, what did they squish BC to? Like 25? Like if you were, if you were 70, I think you got squished to 25-ish. Um, so it would make sense that any tune from 25 and up would be able to do BC. Uh, but it just doesn't say that in the calendar, unfortunately. Um, it's a ton of tunes. It is, it's a full account. That's why I can't test anything lower because I can't create new tunes without deleting tunes. And let me tell you, that's not happening unless it has to. <laughs> so like when, uh, when Dragonflight hits, I will absolutely be making a couple of evokers, but uh, not, not until then. I won't be deleting the tunes until I'm, I'm ready to make my evokers. Gear um, scale, just as many drops at lower levels. Yeah, it still, it still like picks one of the group to give the loot to, or two, or whatever it is. Um, I haven't really been paying much attention, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Like, it makes sense that that would be the way it does it. It just, yeah, the calendar says 50, so I just assumed that that was right, but... And, again, can't test it, so... <laughs> so, uh... Never saw a reason or a need to, to disbelieve it. Um, so what time walking coins? Ah, uh, time warp badges. Oh, okay, we got the call. It's okay. Uh, either way, it was about to be a cloud serpent. Yeah, look. Look. I really like doing the, the, what's it? And I actually managed to capture putting this makeup on as well, so I can stick that on Instagram a letter. Uh, but yeah. Good. Don't see time walking my tunes under 50. Strange. Mm. I wonder... I wonder if it's a US versus EU thing, Zam. Maybe check the forums? Great for all doubling queues of fast, even as DPS. Uh, look, I queued up as my my mage on my main before this one, and it, it was like a ten minute queue, so I wouldn't call them fast. Um, fast is like a minute or two, um, but hey, maybe it depends on the time of day that you do the thing as well. Sweet Jaja, how rude! Make sure be moving kind of just to spite you. Prime gaming, I have it. There you go. Round time, they go. Look, what level are you checking with? I think it might be 30 plus as a level. I might test you. you. Test at level 38. That's interesting. Do some leveling to do. Just go, you fix. Sorry about that. That's okay. I mean, it wasn't terrible, dude. Having the like the blue sub badge and the blue crown badge. It, it, look, it, everything was kind of. It, it had a nice consistency. Hey! Actual new transmog. So weak, she's adorable. Yeah, I, uh, like, some of my tunes feel, like, super squishy, especially now that I've started doing endgame content to try to get more of the Shadowlands mounts into my collection. Oh lord, I'm, I'm really starting to feel it here. It's green. It is green, right? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a blue-green, like a teal sort of shade, like a, or, or an aqua, maybe. Really nice colour. Suits you, dupe. It's actually a perfect halfway point between your pale blue sub-badge 
and the light green of your name. Like, it's it's like a perfect midway point, so it looks really good. This is it, so you're quite fragile. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Very wholeheartedly, but I've got a few of them now. Um, 660, so one at 5 153. Then 251's my main. 223, 150, 200, and 195. But that 150 feels strong. 150 warrior feels stronger than the 195 rogue. Rogues are just unbelievably squishy. Like, I don't, I, I don't understand how a leather wearer could be squishier than my mage as a cloth -y. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Hey, Tussie, how you doing? Welcome back. Sure, <laughs> stop playing here. Yeah, look, rogues, I, I have a soft spot for rogues, uh, mainly because I spent hours on her pickpocketing for the insane achieve, the insane, insane in the membrane. Um, oh, for God's sake. This warrior keeps running away to charge back in and every time they do it, they're pulling more stuff, and I don't understand what they're doing. Like, is that actually- is it a DPS? I'm too bloody- bugger it, you can take the hits. Is it a DPS increase? To, like, actually go out there and- I don't know. I don't know. Awesome. DPS gain, get more rage, increase in stretch, though, as if you've seen it's about the same. Yeah, because I mean, you lose a bit of damage as you run away to charge back in. So is the DPS lost equal or less than the DPS gain? But then also, if you pull extra and it ends up killing your group, surely that's a DPS loss. <laughs> like, maybe watch where you're going or at least go backwards would be would be nice. But yeah, whatever. Like, what do I know, right? Uh, really increase your arms, really like charging, I can do the dragon mobs around. Burn up my arms all <laughs> Uh think it was a malicious move. I think they were just like, yeah, I need to up my DPS in this random ass dungeon. Uh, and then kind of backed out and didn't look where they were going before charging back in. Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's like when you're in the supermarket and you're like looking around for the thing that you're looking for on the shelf or whatever, and you just kind of like do a scoot to them without looking where you're going and you end up smacking into somebody. It's like, guys, spatial awareness, look where you're bloody well going. <laughs> Like, for real. But I will. Everything was fine. I have longed for a good adventure. I have such fascinating things to show you. Thank you. 
Farewell. How have I never done mana tubes on this tune? I am. What? Okay. Okay. Sure. Ah, uh, Crossing Warrior. <laughs> I just like to hit things on my warrior. Where is my main? I love it. Brilliant. All right, I'm actually gonna send you your key now, Shiba. Um. What? What is? There we go. Middle Earth Shadow of War. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Go through the portal. Boom. Noise indeed. Amazing game. There you go. Brilliant. It's a fun one. Yay. Oh, I'm so pleased. Nothing worse than giving out a prize and then being like, oh, this is crap. <laughs> um, cool. So that's done. We are gonna switch tunes. What am I on now? Uh, two, seven. Yes, okay, thank you. <laughs> Impatient. Two, seven, nine, five. On Phelan. On to the next one. We're actually gonna jump onto Repressily um, because Alexia doesn't actually, she, like her her purchase is from Kata time walking. And if she gets the 500 from Kata, she'll be over as many as she needs. So I'm gonna skip her. Um, there's eight that I, I need to get done um, because they all need more than 500 badges to get to their prize or they need 500 and the prize is this week. Uh, so that's, that's good fun. And then I've got a bunch of tunes, uh, nine characters that have quite a few badges. And I think I can probably deplete their stores and purchase a few, uh, of the, the rounds this week, but we'll see how we go. I can always do that after stream. Uh, but before we do this, I also need to do that. Uh, we're going to load that. Uh, and I got a package. Too good. It was just two four times as right. Right, time walking is always fun. I I enjoy it, and I'm liking getting all like getting tons and tons of badges and targeting the all the, the rewards and stuff. I wanna I wanna clear out this list. I wanna b b get everything purchased and just be done with it. That'd be really really nice feeling. Ah, uh, good afternoon. How are things? Yeah, good. Let's take mass of the day. It's great. Ah, fantastic. Aww. The few I've seen who don't snub off people who don't give money. Of course. Of course. Like, that's the thing. Just because you, like, just because one particular individual isn't able to sub or donate or cheer or whatever, you supporting in ways that are not financial, for example, following me here, following me across all the social media platforms, interacting with posts and stuff like that, that's what gets me sponsorship money. And that's, like, that's just as, if not more important than, like, sub cash and stuff like that. So, yeah, for sure. Of course. It'd be stupid not to, like, be nice to everyone. Good lord. Uh, Zalk, Ali, Zam, uh, the little top that could, and Thor, congratulations to all of you on your bonusship. Well done. Well done. Um, okay. Starting up the next one. Package! We did. We got a package. Uh, and it's one I've been waiting for for a while. So I think there was a kind of a, an oopsie with some stuff. Um, I mean, there was an oopsie. Last time uh, Last time I got a mellow package, you guys know I got a couple of lip liners in Jade and then I realized I thought that was like the bonus for spending X amount of money. But it turns out they'd actually put the lip liner in Jade instead of the eyeshadow in Jade accidentally. This is This is the issue you get sometimes when you have multiple products of different types, but they have the same shade name. It was a bit of a new, and that's okay. like, it's a human error. It's fine. It, it, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's makeup, it, you know, so that's okay. But they did send me, uh, they sent me the replacement. They sent me the eyeshadow. And um, because there were two, they actually changed one out for a similar but different shade. So I have an eyeshadow in Jade and an eyeshadow in Olive. I know that because they told me, but I'm gonna unbox them. 
I'm unbox some free stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I am I am a Mellow affiliate. It is makeup. Um, it's good quality makeup. Honestly, it's really good quality makeup. I finally, over the last couple of days that I've had off, I've gotten a chance to play around with my Sinopia palette and I love it. It's amazing. Um, but one of the things I'm, hang on. I think this one isn't working either. Let me see if this makes it happen. That's interesting. Hey, there we go. Okay, so chat's now working as well. <laughs> Wasn't before. Uh, all right. My social PC and look what I get. That sounds like a plan. Be safe. You new mouse your affiliate link not working for me though. What link? There is no link, Raven. Logitech doesn't have like codes or affiliate stuff. We get no money uh, from promoting their stuff. We get free product instead. There is no link, unfortunately. There's something that they're working on, uh, but they don't have it at the moment. Ah, uh, package. All right, so. We have we have two beautiful eyeshadows. So we have one, this one's Jade, I think. Yep, this one's Jade and this one's Olive. So let's crack open Jade. Um stream again, chat working again. Indeed, yes, only on this, only on this page. But um, yes, it is it is working again. But yeah, um Logitech don't have they might in other countries, but at the very least in Australia, they don't have like an affiliate program. There's no like use code to get discount or anything like that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's coming across a little bit gray on stream, but it's definitely like very, very green. Whoa. Holy cow. Whoa. Look at how shiny and beautiful that is. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So that's Jade. Let me just wipe that off on my leggings. And make some fun man makeup. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Greens are one that I have a little bit of trouble with sometimes. So this is really honestly quite great. Uh, and this one is Olive, which is little more of like a yellow the jade's more of a blue green and this is more of a, a yellow green oh Ooh. Be look at that aren't they freaking and so shiny mm, gorgeous oh my god that's amazing and i'm gonna get a shadow everywhere where's the thingy That's just, oh my god, it's so gorgeous. And this is not working as well as I would hope. <laughs> is, is there condensation on here still, maybe? No. Still dry. Amazing. Alrighty. Oh, I'm so happy with those. They are freaking beautiful. Oh, that's gonna look great with like the warm tones from Sinopia palette and then like green. Oh, mm, mm, yep. Amazing. So good. Thank you. So thank you very much to Zeren for the gift. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Ah, uh, nice and very shiny. So shiny. Hello, Yuri. Welcome back. Semicolor blindness made the one on the left on cam look silver. This one, left look silver and the right look gold, which is cool, neat for makeup. Yeah, they are kind of, so this is kind of like a silvery green and then that's kind of a goldy green. So yeah, it's, and the camera has trouble with yellows. So greens tend to look a little bit funky sometimes. Um, so that makes perfect sense. But yeah, they are, they are both absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> Why'd you have to be there at 6.30 if they're not paying you until 7? 
That's, um... But I hope you rest well this evening. I'm doing really well. I've been incredibly productive the last few days, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, the day off really helped, like really, really helped. Um, so yeah, we are going to do time walking. Good. Um, that sounds very illegal. It is. Correct. If they require you to be there at a time, they need to start paying you from that time. Ah. <sighs> Be there so I can get the uniform. Uh, if that's a requirement, if they're not, if they won't let you take the uh, so, okay. So I worked for a place where the, they kept all the uniforms on site. They laundered them for us. They did all that kind of stuff. Um, we got paid an extra fifteen minutes to get there early to get the uniform on and get changed and all that kind of stuff. We got paid to do that because that's a requirement legally, and they were a very large company and uh, could not afford to be sued for unpaid wages because <laughs> they'd be fucked. Um, yeah, for productivity, yeah, agreed, Yori. It felt so good. Like it honestly, I just, I feel kind of less stressed because I've got stuff ticked off the list, you know? Um, it could be seven the start of the shift. In order to start at the right time with the uniform one, I have to be there earlier for trying it on, taking my old stuff off. If they require, if they don't let you take it home, like you should be able to take your, you know, if they allow you to take your uniform home and get dressed there and then come in, if you're choosing, if you are making the active choice to come in and get changed at work, then that's fine. But if they're not allowing you to come in ready and dressed, then that is a, they are requiring you to be at the workplace early, therefore they need to pay you for it. It's, yeah, that's the law. Tolerance in our labor law, I think 10 minutes either side. If anything must be paid, must be 200% if it wasn't agreed in advance. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, if you are required to be there to do tasks that are directly related to your work, for example, getting ready and stuff like that. Um, like we had uh, the same job, like it was, you know, a bunch of different jobs all in the same physical location. And there was a particular bar there that required their staff to have a very specific style of makeup. Um, and so they were paid to come in half an hour before their shift to apply that very specific kind of makeup. And then, yeah, like, <laughs> if it is required for you to fulfill your duties, you need to be paid for it. No, I did not, Nano. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to help you with li literally, literally not being underpaid for your work, um, but... <laughs> um... Uh, time for another game of Where the Fuck Is My Pen, brought to you by Babu. <laughs> Yori, oh my god. Uh, yeah, Fair Work Commission. It's a fantastic website to check all that kind of stuff. And if if they don't like lay it out in black and white on the website, you can contact them and say, "This is my situation. Is this correct? Is this allowed?" Uh, and they can give you an answer. That's what they they literally exist for. That it's really awesome. So glad we have something like that in Australia. Can I just say, like, that's huge. There are so many countries where, <laughs> like. You want to earn an income, or you're at the behest of whoever writes the check, kind of thing. But in Australia, there is like so much regulation and stuff around it. It's fantastic. Um, in some ways, the country sucks. Obviously, every country has its drawbacks, but um, there are some aspects in which we are extremely lucky. Allah. Thank you for the cinnamon bun. Sorry. Thank you for the cinnamon bun. I you're got welcome. you something too. I, I, you're very good. At I got you one of those. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you got 
it's so sad when I got really you and like did this. I, I have a vanilla Coke, a zero sugar vanilla Coke, which by the way has like four calories. By the way, um, did you also, there's one of these in the fridge for you too. No, I only just got to my desk. Okay. And I saw the cinnamon one, and I wanted to come and give you this, and it was I got like, it. Yeah. Drink. Hang I on got a minute. A, I got, well, I got lunch, and I got a two pack of cinnamon rolls, because I realized I don't remember ever having had a cinnamon roll. I'm pretty sure I have at some point, but I don't remember having had one, and considering my love of cinnamon, that's ridiculous. Yeah, um, so I got a two pack and I ate one and I gave one to Jas and it's on his desk, which is what he's realized. And he's brought me sugar-free iced tea, which I'm very appreciative. Thank you. There goes my my. I'm gonna go put that in the fridge. But I'll probably drink it soon. Um, it just gives and then you there's a no yeah. Chance to have a free um. A oh, chest rim. Uh, and I got a zero sugar vanilla Coke. Um, and I got uh twirl caramel twirls. Um, and I got two of the Cokes and two of the Twirls, and I stuck a Coke and a Twirl in the fridge for Jas. Um, and, and he's like, I brought you a drink! And I'm, yeah, it's fine. Very good at this. <laughs> Thank you, Yuri. <laughs> oh, dear. Jared's stream room, I'll contact them about it. Good plan, good plan. Check the Enterprise Agreement. Yeah, do that as well. And if the Enterprise Agreement doesn't say anything specifically about it, then, yeah. Absolutely go to the Fair Work Commission and say, hey, this is, yes. That's why there are other people in the group with me. It's also why it took more than three seconds to vote at that thing. Yeah, also that. Um, but yeah, yeah, check your check your enterprise agreement first. That'll be step one. Um, and then if it's not 100% crystal clear, like if you have to kind of think to yourself, look, that could mean this, then it's not clear enough and you can talk to the Fair Work Commission about it. And this is the thing, talking to the Fair Work Commission about it doesn't mean you're like filing a complaint or that they're gonna get you in trouble. It doesn't mean any you're literally just asking a question. They can come back to you and say, yeah, no, that's totally fine. And then you've learned, we've, you know, we've all learned a new thing. Um, but yeah, it's, Definitely a good thing to check, 100%. Um, let's see. Still actually. Uh, a lot of companies strip people over things like logging into the computer, adjusting a desk chair, tools to complete level work before all parts of working. Correct. They are, absolutely. 100%. Um, if your work is wrong, the commission will bring the thunder on them. They will, yeah, but they'll only, like, they won't do it, um, they they don't do it in a way that would get you in shit, if that makes sense. They do this enough that they're pretty good at knowing when and how to drop certain bits of information. Uh, we supply a lot of the world with our wheat. Uh -huh. Um, you know what? Never. Never. Well, I don't. I don't know. I I can't remember having had one. I mean, that doesn't, like, my memory's trash, <laughs> so I could very well have had one in the past, I just don't remember it. Um, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Uh, one of these that works daughter enjoys baking, made a mini a cinnamon bun, they're so tasty. I found that most of the, the, like, icingy stuff on top was in the box rather than on the cinnamon bun, but that might just be because it was, like, a supermarket one. Um. Where? Oh, they're all directly- I'm like, where the hell is everybody? It's because they're all directly on top of me. Uh... Okay, so I'm set. Is there no retaliation law? Yeah. I mean, look, no retaliation law is one thing, but there are definitely ways around that. Like, 100% there are ways around that. Um... But, uh, yeah, they're... What I meant was that the Fair Work Commission isn't going to come in here and go, we've heard from Nano that stuff isn't being done correctly here involving Nano, and we think, because Nano said, that you need to pay Nano correctly. Like, that's not, that they're not going to fuck, you know what I mean? They're not idiots. They know what workplaces can be like, um, and so, yeah, it's, uh, they, they're not, they're not stupid, <laughs> is more what I meant. Um, there shouldn't be retaliation if they don't know who reported it. Primarily, and that's, yep. That's the first step against avoiding retaliation is them not knowing who made the report. Hey, Azark, how you doing? Uh, spited you for your posted in boss mods. Oh, what did you, oh. 
I know exactly what it is. You've drawn yourself with a crayon, haven't you? <laughs> oh dear. What tier do you want to that? Because, uh, I don't know, uh, a royal Sheba is, is something that people would probably pay a, a pretty penny for to have as an emote bouncy eyebrows that are terrible. I can't... I was trying the other day and Jas was laughing his ass off. I do not have that level of control over my forehead muscles. I just don't. I cannot do the, the, the freely bouncy eyebrows that other people can do. It's terrible and ridiculous and hilarious. Thank you. If I saw previous employees where those people had to clock in after being at the computer and getting ready, I won. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's 100% illegal. Like, 100% illegal. Is that the boss up there? It absolutely is. Damn it. And they didn't jump down with me. Oh, for- Oh my god. I forgot about this. Uh, right. Ah, uh, retaliation is itself illegal. They won't. Yeah, but people do all the- just because it's illegal doesn't mean people don't do it, Cookie. Smoking weed is illegal in most parts of Australia. It doesn't mean people don't do it. Like, <laughs> that is- that is not a good defense. <laughs> there are- what I'm saying is there are a million and one ways where an employer can say, it's not retaliation, they were just a bad employee. They did things that we that we told them not to do, and therefore we are getting rid of them, or we're reducing their shifts if they're a casual. It's like, <laughs> if if you genuinely think that employers won't retaliate because it's illegal, then you are sadly misled. Um, but the first step to not being retaliated against is your employer not knowing it was you that complained, and the Fair Work Commission's fantastic at that. Um, Uh, trying to make sport trailing home flight is in four and a half hours. Brilliant. Well, I hope it is a smooth and wonderful flight for you. Um Really practice your good, do the thing, 100 reps a stream. <laughs> oh, Lord. You don't have to use it if you do assume followers since it's a goofy thing that Ashiba, fair enough. Fair enough. Never come earlier than five minutes before my shift starts. Yep. Like, if you, yeah, it's, uh. Yeah. Unless you have like flexi hours where as long as you work your 7.6 hours it doesn't, you know, if you come in 10 minutes early, you leave 10 minutes early, that kind of stuff. Not many workplaces have that, but if you do, by all means, you know, go for it. Uh, but yeah, like, you, everyone is replaceable. It, it doesn't, like, loyalty to company. They, they're not loyal to you. They don't care. They can replace you in a heartbeat if they have to. Why? Like... Okay, now we jump down because the fish are gone. We sploosh. 
Oh, excuse me. Are you hunting the Time Walking Mount or the Badger's Mounts? Uh, I've got the Reigns of the Infinite Time Reaver already, so not that one. Um, I'm hunting literally any reward from Time Walk Badges that I don't already have. There are two mounts on that list, but there's also a ton of transmog and shit like that. So uh, that's, yeah, I'm just getting as many badges as possible. I'm doing one, um, Druid. Uh, I'm very confused. Apparently it was a fish. So trying to reduce that list of things to purchase. Just badges. Let's hope they cancelled debating flights from Michelle for last week. What a social so Oh suck. I'm so sorry to hear that. That really sucks. God, I hope the staff are okay. I hope the staff who are working are okay. Like, good lord. Uh, so I would love to make an emote for each of the boss months. Well, I wonder. Do I have money? Probably not. <laughs> well, look, we'll add it to the list of future commissions when I can afford it. How's that sound? Because, as always, you will be paid what you are worth. I just can't right now. But, look, we'll see. Fingers crossed, eh? Powerball jackpotted last night. <laughs> Jess and I, I got the ping on my phone. We were sitting there, we were playing some CK3, and uh, I got the ping on my phone. I'm like, oh, f Powerball's 40 million. And then the game order was all of a sudden paused. And I'm like, you buying your ticket too? He's like, yep. <laughs> and it jackpotted. So uh, look, we'll see, we'll see. And uh, so let's get to me. To be honest, uh, in this job, my hours don't really exist. Pay to fix them out each month to help fix issues. Sometimes I work two hours a month, sometimes 50. Pay is always the same. That's really interesting. Also cool, um, like, and if it works for you, that's what's most important, hey? Like, that's really, really awesome that you found something that fits your schedule and, and your style of work and stuff. That's phenomenal. Congratulations. Everyone is replaceable until they you call in sick, lol. Well, no, it's more about, like, they're not loyal to you. Why should you give them loyalty when they can turn around and go, oh, you're not, you, you know, your availability's trash, you're gone, we've got somebody else in. Like, it's not... That's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. It's uh, like everybody is replaceable and they have no loyalty to you. They're not going to fight to keep you. Very, very rarely when you go to someone and say, hey, I've got a better offer, vast majority of the time they're going to say, oh, well, best of luck in your future endeavors. They're not going to try to raise your salary to keep you there or anything like that. It's just not not something that happens. They'll make it, oh, you know, I'd love to give you a higher offer, but the business can't afford it right now or whatever. And no, it's, it's all bullshit. Some bullshit. Um, yeah. Situation. <laughs> There's too shit to do. Yep. Patient with exposure fears. Am I will destroy your bloodline? <laughs> no, I no refuse. Absolutely not. I do not pay an exposure. I've actually, um, I, I came to a realization the last couple of days as well, um, cause I had a bunch of emails from developers, uh, offering a key to like play their game on stream and stuff and to do promotion and things like that. And I kinda, I was like, no. Like two years ago, I would have been like, "Oh, this would be awesome!" You know, I'll make a good rep, like make a good uh, connection with the developer, and da 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 da. It's it's kind of it's gotten to the point where I'm like, nope. 
the Steam key for a $15 game for a six hour stream and then not allowing requests for like Steam keys for giveaways, for communities and stuff like that. Mm, nope. Obviously that's a fantastic offer at certain levels of content creation. Like if you're looking for, if you're a variety streamer and you're looking and you're constantly having to buy games, like different games to, to play through because you're finishing them one after another and your Steam library's running low and all that kind of stuff. Being able to take an offer for a free game in exchange for content is a fantastic deal. But it's gotten to the point now where I'm getting paid for stuff, like in actual money that I can use to pay my rent. Um, and I don't think that my dentist will accept payment in Steam keys. And you know what I mean? Like it's, I think I'm getting to the point where like I've taken that step. Yeah. I've graduated from, from Steam keys to, nope, I will need payment for this. Which is uh, just a good feeling. Obviously depending on the game, depending on the developer, all that kind of stuff, like I have space to adjust my rates, but like, yeah, it's a, it's an interesting sort of feeling. Just the comment about, you know, paying an exposure sort of reminded me of that. pretty common around that work, don't say things are wrong the worst possible times. I can imagine. Yep. Perfect. Good evening. How are you going today? Very well, thank you, Donna. How are you? Did you manage to have a good day off? I did. It was amazingly productive, like really, really awesome. Um, I'm so thankful that I decided to take that day off and moving forward, I think I'm probably going to take a day off a month or something like that, um, just because of just how much it actually helped. Uh, and plus I've got some life changes coming up in the near future uh which are going to mean that having a day off is going to mean even more uh nothing that'll affect you guys you'll be totally fine nothing changed from your end um but from my end there'll be a few things shuffled around so yeah farewell yeah a uh, little very little glossy from companies these days on that note i've just hit my 10 year mark of this company amazing k holy cow mm. holy cow I think one of the big things is that companies seem to just move slower than, for example, inflation. If you stick with the same company, unless you're a really good one, if you stick with the same company for 10 years and you look at how your salary has grown year on year, you're probably going to be far under the rate of inflation. Um, there was a there was a graph I saw around somewhere. I, didn't, I don't know if it was adjustable, like if you could plug your own numbers in or whatever, but um, if you went on without a raise... Like this, this is what your salary, should, if your salary is here today, this is what it should look like. And if you stay the same salary over the next however many years, this is what your salary adjusted for inflation will be. So if you're on 20K, it'll drop down to like 19.8 and then 19.5 and then et cetera. Like it'll, it'll start going down unless you get raises. Like you, you'd need a raise just to keep you at the same point sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really like, God, that stuff's interesting as hell really truly interesting as hell um what character i'm on i'm repressive repressively i've just turned that in oh that is the wrong shade of green um how many have i got now two seven five five you are not prepared motion thank you so much for the raid hello did i say two two seven five i think i did two seven five five good lord no okay five five perfect Hello, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in everybody. If you haven't been here before, I'm Fia. It is lovely to meet you. I am, uh, what am I? Oh my God, my brain just decided to shut off at the best moment ever. There you go. That's probably a really good explanation of who I am, honestly. Uh, <laughs> predominantly a World of Warcraft streamer, but a uh, couple of fun bits here and there for for funsies, essentially. And we play Stream Raiders. So that's what That's what this is. Um, we're doing some time walking today. BC time walking. 
hope you're all having a fantastic day. How was your stream motion? Tell me all about it. Um, where am I going next? Piroa. Shaman. Ah, uh, bring your rage to bear. Try to strike me down. Can you guess which boss I'm farming? Hum. Hum. Grand raises most times it's horseshit. Every now and then it's a legit where your customer company is small. Cannot actually afford it, sadly, but you should probably move on for that situation anyway. Yeah, look, if it is a small company, chances are they're not going to have many growth opportunities for you either. And once you've hit the point where you're asking for a raise that they can't afford to give you, it is time for you to train up someone who's entering the, the industry so that they can take over and start to learn and grow their knowledge base while you move on elsewhere to grow your knowledge base, base further. Like it's, yeah, it is the way it is unfortunately these days. Uh, unless it is a passion project of yours, there's not like, yeah. Um, time equals money, things take time to do. Time spent working for them means time not spent working for someone who will pay. Yeah, pretty much, hey. Uh, Dano, Death, Zam, Torp, Kata, Loz, and Zalk. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Thank you for participating in the battle. We're gonna open up another one. Another one. All right. Uh, Ooh, fancy. Uh, we can you do tokens and then boss and then EAs. That's what we're going to do. Good. Um, people should never feel bad about doing nothing. Your time is the most valuable asset you have. No one can refund it to you. Correct. Correct. I agree wholeheartedly with that. Ooh, I've got to turn in that quest for the kills. Is there going to be another placement? It's just me. Three busters. It is. I thought it might be. Oh, I just saw the Templars one as well. Oh no. Uh, okay, so Buster. Place. Explodey sheep. Explodey sheep. All right. I'm not healing. That will be a bad idea. Bad idea. Uh, hello, Mystic. Doing very well. I hope you can say the same. Day off productive is immensely rewarding and does so much. Oh, really does. Oh my gosh. Like, so, like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, super duper much, Lee. Um, it's interesting. How much your salary changes an interesting barometer of how valued you are. If you're getting raises of 20% at first, then three a few years later. Clear sign they're now considering you as part of the furniture. Yeah, not just that though, but um, your, your salary is not an indication of how much you are worth to the company. Your salary is an indication of how much it would cost to replace you. Because recruiting costs tens of thousands of dollars and like recruiting and training and all that kind of stuff costs a company a lot of money in terms of advertising and then man hours in training a person um, and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and of course, while you're training a person, it means that both of those roles are doing less work, which means lost man hours, which have to be made up later at some point in time. Like it's a whole big thing. Um, so your, your salary is an indication of how much it would cost to replace you. And that's what you should think about if you are asking for a raise. Um, yep. Uh, birthday raid! Amazing! I'm guessing it's Motion's birthday. Happiest of birthdays. We motion to raid. I love that. That is super cute. Hello, Edry. Hello, Misa. Hello, Nanny. And Orb. Or is it Orb? Alb, I'm not too sure. Let me know how you prefer that for that to be vocalized. Uh, <laughs> Shwoom, hello. It's what people should be questioning every salary review, but that's below inflation. What are you going to do about that? Correct. Yep, absolutely. Um, and getting the balls to do that as well. And I know that's a really kind of a, a vulgar way to put it, but like having the confidence to be able to say that, like you are not going to get fired. If you are, if they, if they genuinely fire you, or imply that they will let you go just for asking for a raise, that is a really good indication that you should not be giving them any of your time because that's, the, and they clearly do not value you as a human. Like, it's just not, like, no, absolutely not. Um, yep. If they genuinely think that they can find somebody else to work at that rate, like, anyway. Uh, Sammy and Whirl, welcome on in. Thank you for the cast of Command Sheepa. Hello, Motion. Hello. Pleased to meet a new thing. Brilliant. Hello, Main. Yeah, I am, uh, 
Yes. <laughs> How you doing? Very well, Edry. Very well. Good to see you again. It's a sphere. She does sphere things. Yeah, look, I, I, it has been said uh, more than several times that this is essentially a just chatting stream with the side of World of Warcraft um, because that's mostly what we do. So, yep. <laughs> ah, nice to meet you and be here. Wonderful to have you. Motion stream was lovely. I'm so pleased to hear that. Give me just a second. Let me push. Where's the this button? There we go. I love that I can do that from chat now. So convenient. So convenient. Mm. Mm. Ah, bonus shit. You're very welcome, cat. How do I eat the poor people to win the game? Uh, you don't? Uh, Fiego heals. No. <laughs> Everyone will die. It would be bad. Run, run. Totally fine. 4 a.m. is reasonably late. Uh, definitely enjoy your rest motion. We'll see you next time. We'll see you then. Thank you again for the raid. And you're very welcome about the, the warm welcome thing. Oh, for sure. 100%. Not showing up in quick join? Very strange. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'd actually be screwed if I left, then you deserve more money. Think about how much it would cost them to train somebody up to your level of knowledge about the company and all that kind of stuff. I wonder if I do maybe this one. Think about all that money that they'd have to spend getting someone to replace you. That is how much you should be, like, yes, that is how much you should be asking for. <laughs> um... I was like, go during a maternity leave, which is a big, big no-no. Yeah, look, I can I can understand a person being let go through maternity leave if the company collapsed, like, entirely and the place went bankrupt and, like, literally had to file for bankruptcy and all that kind of stuff. I think that's probably the only circumstance in which it would be okay to let somebody go during maternity leave. And even then, they would still get some kind of payout from the bankruptcy. It would just be a small percentage of, you know, like, everyone gets a, a percentage in regards to their owings and all that kind of crap. Bankruptcies are fun. Um... But yeah, that's a, uh, mmm, mmm. Oh, I hate salary negotiations, super uncomfortable doing that. Mind you, it's so hard trying to get an indication of the average salary for my role in my industry. Yeah, it's like, um, seek has some, like seek.com.au has some really great tools for doing that in Australia. But, um, yeah, I don't know about elsewhere, trying to figure that kind of stuff out. Um, If you can find roles that are similar to yours in other companies that are being advertised, you could always, like, give them a call and find out. Like, just give them a call and be like, hey, after, a, you know, if, if this person was in, like, a 10-year kind of, like, 10-year, what's it? What What is, what is like, the, the wage, the salary increase each year and blah, 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 you know what I mean? That kind of stuff could be interesting to ask, but, um... Yeah, it's, there are some roles that are just so super niche, especially once you've been there for such a long time. And if it is a smaller company, when you started out with title X, but then you've taken on all these other responsibilities that do not fit in that at all whatsoever. Um, there might, I reckon there'd probably be some calculators out there that'll tell you, like if you plug in what your original salary was, if you can remember it from 10 years ago, um, and then, like, look at it over time and stuff. I'm sure there'd be some kind of calculators out there that'd be able to help you do that. Or even talking to, um, like, high-level recruiters. You know how there are, like, recruiters who specialize in, like, C-level executives and stuff like that? CEOs, CFOs, that kind of, where they go headhunting for a particular person to fill a role sort of thing. Um, but you might be able to find people at that sort of level will be able to give you some insight into how they look at those kind of, I don't know. It's, it really is kind of tricky. Salary negotiations are much easier to do year on year because you can just like look at inflation and stuff. Uh, going on like a 10 year kind of jump is, yeah. Yeah. If I'm at chat, you catch up on, you never miss a chat, which the biggest streamers don't do. It's quite impressive, so do those fear things. I am, Edry, I am terrified. Like, I obviously, I would love growth. 
like more growth would be great. Not that I'm unhappy with the level of growth I've had. I'm super happy with the level of growth I've had. I would also just like to continue growing. I want to be a full-time content creator and to do that, you need growth. Uh, so I am really terrified of getting sunlight. to a... Ah, oh, Dano! Thank you so much for the resub 12 months. 12 months. Enjoy your new sub badge. My gosh. Um, I'm terrified of getting to the point where I have enough chatters that I just literally cannot keep up anymore. Um, yeah, that, that kind of the thought of that makes me really sad because I know that once I do hit that mark, chances are I'll lose a bunch of people who like me because I chat to everybody and then it'll drop back down to a manageable thing again and people get used to it again and then I'll grow up again and it'll go beyond that again and then people will leave again because they're upset again. It's just, it's a whole, yeah, I'm, I'm really... I love what I am able to do here, but I'm also terrified. Um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna pull everything in the room if you try to pull that boss. Yep. My time. No. More. Uh, I'm just supposed to just uh, switch to wage and job application. Oh, I expected wage and job application is super easy. Like, take what you're earning now, double it, and add three zeros. Like hourly, take your hourly rate, double it and add three zeros. So if you're on 25 an hour, you ask for 50k. Yes. I am a god. Um, usually the idea is that you add a bit more onto that. So if I were on 25 an hour, I'd probably ask for 55 to 57k. But yeah, that's your, that's your general starting point. Super easy. And you can figure out what you're on hourly by looking at your payslip really like whatever job you're in now if you're if you're on salary oh, i have 52 um if you're on salary your payslip your payslip will usually still have an hourly rate listed there if it doesn't you can take your total your gross before tax and divide that by 38 if you're a full-timer for example and that'll give you our your hourly Uh, but if you are on salary and you're moving on to a new role, um, add 5k. At mid, like 5 to 7k, 5 to 10k, that kind of thing. As long as you're not asking for 120k on a call center application, I think you'll be fine. Like. <laughs> It, they're not like that number that you're looking for is only going to rule you out if it is exceptionally higher um, than what they're. It's a negotiation. You aim high, they aim low, you meet in the middle. If it's not a role where you have, like, for example, a call center where you have 70, 100 people on the same rate, then that's a little bit different, obviously. Um, and that, but in those situations, if you want to raise, you need to get a new job, like, you need a rank up kind of thing. Uh, but yep. Yeah. Thank you, but thank you. Oh, thank you, Motion. I appreciate the look. Much appreciated. As well. Oh, wow, Lander. Yeah, take, my cube, take my cube up. Fresh higher, not even four shifts under my belt. Yeah, you probably don't need to be doing a, a, a salary negotiation anytime soon then, Nano. Uh, six, all right. Industry is so specific that it's difficult. Yeah. When there are only like two of you in the state. Yeah, that's, yep. Find the other one and talk to them. The ah, Seeker with the resub! 12 months as well. Enjoy your new sub badge. And we've got a minute, just over a minute, to trigger a hype train, if we so desire. Amazing. Welcome back. Ah, uh, there's also some industries where your title may not be an easy one. Yeah, I have to go off your qualifications, etc. Yep, absolutely. And then it's even more difficult if your particular role doesn't necessarily require any specific qualifications. It's just like one of those things where you need five plus years of experience in a lower level Hello. position. Yeah. Bastards. Uh, Glassdoor might be good. Yeah, definitely check out Glassdoor as well. I've heard fantastic things about them. Uh, this is me now. I left, they suddenly realized there's no one to replace me or train up a new person. On top of that, I found out I was getting the lowest wage in the company for doing a manager's job. Felt damn good walking out the gate on my last day, starting with my new company who can't do enough to help me. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't know what they got till you're gone. Uh, most job ads don't give salary ranges these days. No, they don't. And there's probably a really good reason for that. 
Like a lot of jobs hope that people coming in don't know how to sell or negotiate, so they just kind of take whatever's on the table. So if they don't list it and they're like, oh yeah, I'm really looking forward to this job and yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, oh, by the way, we're going to pay 25k. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, yep. Yep. Wife is like, go during mat leave, cut a heap of stuff and use that as the reason. They're allowed to legally as long as they tell you at the time, not wait till your mat leave is over. And yeah, it was a good, it was a payout of sorts. Yeah. Yeah, look, if they're cutting off an entire department or something like that. There are, I'm pretty sure there are some, like, it, they have to pay, like, it's a redundancy thing. It's not being fired, like, it's a redundancy thing. They have to do a redundancy payout, all this kind of stuff, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not a, it's not a good look. Definitely not a look, not a good look. There are legal ways to do it, um, but most of them result in you getting at least a hunk of cash. Which, again, not great, but at least it kind of tides you over until you can look for a job again because Bob's is able to go and do other stuff but then of course you know depending on how many kids you've got it might not even be worth it if your if your income after tax only just covers Hi, the sun just is. covers daycare for the day like is it worth it Tony with the resub nine months amazing thank you so much hope you are having a fantastic day as well yeah, like if you've got two kids in daycare, that's expensive. And it, like d working a day, does it actually cover the cost of daycare? So, yeah, I mean, that's something that every family has to kind of, oh, oh, it triggered a new, a hype train is close. We got under two, just under two minutes. What the hell? Oh, we pulled extra, didn't we? Yeah, don't do that. That's bad. I'm gonna wait till they reset. <sighs> oh my issue, yeah. Salary is crap, never again. Well, it, de it depends. <laughs> the salary being, yeah, the salary, it really, really depends. Uh, community stream. Mostly do it year on year during performance reviews. Last few years I've gotten a little more than CPI, which is good, good. But that is good, yeah. I mean, a lot more would be better, but you know, you've got to expect a certain like if they if they give if they give you too many raises, and then it gets to the point, you know, yeah, yeah. you want them to be able to afford you, but also to be like, yeah. Mentorship, maximum health increase by five percent. What is that? Is that a new player or something? It's kind of funky. Um. Hi, uh, 9k followers now, incredible as is. Uh, 8,992. <laughs> Twitch rounds. 8,992. Can we hit 9k tonight? That'd be awesome. Out of 200, definitely doing an amazing job. Still so grateful to me, still work when I can. Of course, Edry, of course. Look, that's the thing though. I have been streaming for over six years. That is a long ass time. You, you need to remember that the numbers I have are not just a result of what I'm doing, but it's, it's a big time thing of like how long I've been doing it. You can accumulate anything if you've got enough time. Like, <laughs> ah, I love how exaggerated this guy is. Oh dear, I think it would never be too upset you can't read my stuff and be upset by a lack of a good Fiamma rep. Well, that's the thing. Like, do I do I read every single thing and try to keep up or do I like pause on one thing and then a Fiamma rant and then like, <laughs> you know, try to catch up on everything? I look, we'll see. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We'll see. I'm only seven minutes behind at the moment, so that's pretty okay. We'll make one brush stroke for every $1,000 I get. If I did that, it would not make very much of a painting. Let's let me say that much. Uh, afternoon, hello, Zika. Yes, I have had a glorious day and I hope you have too. I have been so productive over the last few days to the point that I'm absolutely gonna be taking a day off a month, like at least. Just to, cause it, oh, it just helped me get everything under control and where it needed to be. And that just makes me so happy. Like, 
I, I'm less stressed than I was on Monday, which is a big deal. Big, big deal. Big, big deal. Ah, uh, we have to do a few if we got just day off, set the goal of up the days. We have to donate. Yeah, I did. I did an oopsie. It's just... I have no paper qualifications of software we use. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Need to make 66% this stream. Yes, correct. See, you better want to turn on the computer. Yeah. <laughs> your peeps all contribute today. Seekers here. Get in quick. Indeed. Indeed. Hello, fellae. Good morning. Good morning. Our community is using Ember's free channel points. Little fireplace next to chat to donate to a toy collecting stream. You can pop in up to 2,000 embers as in as many uh, in as many increments as you like per stream if we don't hit the goal you get the points back it'd be lovely if you could help us thanks to those who have already contributed what are we on at the moment 49% we need to get to 66 67 to uh, I think that's 50% done good um yep 66 67% to be on track to win so okay now all I the cheaty chat there we go but <laughs> does they not too bad fantastic Tony great to hear it did you honestly believe yeah, I didn't know 25 hour to, to 50k. Ah, okay. Go. Yeah, that was a, a recruiter. <laughs> uh, like a, um, uh, essentially a recruiter. Um, taught me that trick. A stepping stone to a um, larger <laughs> Fear has been tantalizingly teasing an exciting announcement. Don't want FOMO? Follow on social media. Following is free and support streamers by increasing visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. It's also a great opportunity to share content with someone you think may enjoy it. Having recently hit 1k followers, next goal is 1,111. You can find all the profiles there in that link. You can type exclamation socials as well. Uh, or just under the video play. If you scroll down a bit, it's got links all there as well. Thanks for taking the time. It is so appreciated. I agree. Very appreciated. Um, Sika, I got my summary from uh, my Instagram scheduling site today. Uh, in April, I earned 114 new followers. So in May, we need more than that. <laughs> but I can't figure out how many I had on the 1st of May. So I think we're, I think we might be somewhere around 12 this month so far. Maybe I can do it on, instead of in the app, maybe I can do it on the website and I'll, I'll be able to find that info better. Master, grant My me strength. My accomplishes nothing. The master will have you. Mm. 10.20 by Sunday. 10.13. Cool, so I've got I've gained at least one since before stream. Brilliant. Some do do do. Oh, and did you see my Discord message, Seeker? My DM to you. Do, do. Mm. Okay, hang on. So... Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. I found where to find it. 30th of April, May. I had 1,009 on... The 1st of May. On the 30th of April, I had 1,004. And then on the 1st of May, it jumped up to um, 1,009. And that was at, like, midnight. So we've gained, what, four this month so far? So we need to get, like, 111 to, <laughs> to beat last month's score. Because we're all gamers, aren't we? That's what we're here for. We do the gaming. Be careful. Uh, okay, Piroa, what have you got? 2,055. You are done, my dear. Off we hop. Uh, I think before we launch into the next four, I want to jump on Domitore. She's got 140 badges, and I reckon she can buy some stuff. 
Uh, opportunity for us to shine, show how much we want to see the toy stream, make it to 70% tonight. That's also a good goal. Like the Fire Mage Artifact Weapon. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Fellow Malorn. Or Fell Melon Baller, if you were watching the stream at the start of Legion. Mmm. Your sub badge has changed colour because you've hit the one year mark, Zico. Uh, which reminds me, I need to put money together to pay Shiba to possibly redesign those badges, maybe. Hmm. It is look, there's there it's been on the list for a bit, but we've had other more important things. <clears throat> New voice is fine, man. I miss how growly the old voice lines were for that boss. Uh, I changed the voice line. This used to be intonated differently. This one's so cute. I yeah, I do I do love Fiamma Brain. This is the colander. My brain is a colander. Yeah. Put a bit heavy that death. No, totally fine. Totally fine. You like you gotta learn somehow, right? Best way to learn? Uh oh. <laughs> you won't forget that. Uh, just, no, well done, you clever chip. Good, okay. I'm glad you like it because it's scheduled to go live on like the 24th of May. Yep. And I've done so many more like that. <laughs> I've got like all these things in my brain. It's great. Uh, okay. Okay, so I believe, so staff can be done by a bunch of different characters, but crossbows can't. So that's the crossbow of relentless strikes. So we can delete that one, which means I have 40 left. Um, Storm Master, ooh, hang on, 25. Is there anything less than, no, 25 is the lowest it goes. So that's fine. Um, Storm Master's helmet. Oh. There's some stuff for 35, but I don't think this character can use them. So that's okay. Uh, Storm Master's Helmet for 25. Purchased. Dunsky. Um. Now I'm at 15 on Domitore. Very useful. Uh, Zerala. Where are you, my dear? There you are. This is just Horde tunes. I do have Alliance tunes. I'm pretty sure a lot of them have, um, uh, what's -its as well. But, I don't know. When Kael first dies, it's been said, I learn by O.O. I mean, most of us learn by O.O., to be fair. Neon point. Good. I'm so glad. What's on the 24th? Oh, um, so Seeker, remember earlier when I said, if you see stuff you like, like the cute oh, filters for the, the, ju -ju 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 -ju, like change things over your head and then it stops and you're like, oh, that's hilarious. Um, that kind of stuff, all that. So Seeker found, a Seeker saw a post, uh, I'm assuming in her feed, because I saw it at my feed too. Um, and sent it to me via DM on Insta saying, this is really cool. I think you should try stuff like this. And so I did. On my on my couple of days off, I did a thing and I filmed it and I edited it and I put some music on it. And I sent it to Seeker and said, what do you think? And that's what Seeker's saying. I really like it. You've done a good job. Um, and so that, that video that I made is scheduled to go as my post on Instagram for the 24th of May. So that's, yeah. So this is why I'm saying, like, send me shit, because I will actually look at it, and I will actually possibly do shit with it if I can. Um, all right, what can I get? Fist weapon. For 50. What is it called? Veneer's Fist of Brutality. Uh, let's buy that. Why no musicals? Ah, because I don't have ATT enabled on this character, maybe? That was a mistake. Yeah, I don't have, oops. <laughs> oops. Very oh, nice to hear, I'm so tired. That's okay, and you rest well. Rest well, keeps me with picks and ideas then, yeah? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I've noticed that people like photos of me. That picture of me with my merch and the shorts on. Holy shit. It bloody exploded. Um, so I've been taking selfies in the mirror when I wear cute clothes. <laughs> For the last three days, I've taken three selfies of what I've been wearing that day. <laughs> so <laughs> um, that's fun. Um, hello, Rose. Yep, tag you. Yes, tag me or send it to me directly. Either or. Um, 
I'm not sure I should see tags. I'm trying to think of where I would see tags, maybe. I think DMing them to me might be a safer bet. Maybe. Sell it and redo. No, that's okay. That's okay. Hey, a goose doing well. How are you? This is me about the photo. Yeah. This is fun. This is fun. I'm learning things about my content. 3,000, 45,000. Yeah, I've got, I've got. I actually did a big clean out of my photos, and yet I still have 9,869 photos. It says 632 of those are selfies, but I feel like that's wrong. Actually, how many of them are screenshots? 3,093 are screenshots. That makes more sense, yes. <laughs> because I always will be scrolling like, oh, screen cap, send to friend. It's great. I'm very good at that. Uh, selfies are fun when you're like, oh, what can we do? Well. Look. It's it, like, code, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. Much appreciated. I hope you're having an awesome day. Awesome, awesome day. Mod powers are still blooming, huh? Oh, see, right, I'm like, what? Who knows PTSD to recruit late yesterday? I just went well. I'm adjusting. Well, I'm glad you're adjusting, Goose, and I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Fingers crossed it's on the up and up, yeah? Fingers crossed for you. Um, what else do I want? I want this. Trousers of the Scryer's Retainer. Trousers of the Scryer's Retainer. Delete. And Belt of the Silent Path. Excuse me. And that's all I can buy on this tuner. She's still got a hundred left, so that's pretty good. fun what can I say uh all right Hildy is the next one on my list so I'm gonna check her badges yes absolutely popped in before dinner time well, welcome on in I hope you have a phenomenal dinner that's delicious and tasty sense of security oh dear that's cute uh, I got my 50 second tune, to live 60 back to E8. Well done! Congratulations! Well done. Alright, let me just take this and once I'm in the loading screen, I'll alt tab. Uh, Death, Thor, Silver, Zam, V, Dunno, Fade, Loz, and Zelt. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done! Well done. Oh, and Seeker, I got. Got new eyeshadows. From DeMello. From Mellows! Uh, Olive and Jade, and they are freaking gorgeous. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. I did swatches on the back of my hand, and ha, oh, they are like so shiny and so beautiful, and oh my god. Oh my god. Away from that flex someday, I can feel it. I'm sure you will, Rose. I'm sure you will. But not because of the flex, but because you yourself are cute. Uh, is that a Templar? It is. That one. Go! And I'm bracing it. Oh, absolutely! Absolutely! Mods are throwing down and getting slippery. Interesting mods you have. <laughs> My mods have always been interesting. One of them is Rump and one of them is Jass. Like, what? Ah, yeah. oh, dear. Got the three of us, two sushi rolls each. As husband is working, absolute monster of a four-year-old ate the chicken out of the center of three sushi rolls while I was in the bathroom. There's a sad pile of seaweed and rice on a plate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Seeker, I am so sorry. Holy cow. Holy cow. Ah, oh, Seeker. You've been have you been to Melbourne before? I'm I feel like you have. But, Mita, okay, cool. I was gonna say, was there anything that you really wanted to see or do? But I mean, you've been to Melbourne. It's more, is there anything particularly that you wanted to see or do at PAX? Um, but we can... Okay, Staff of the Forest Lord. I've never got 200. Okay, so we're gonna grab the Staff of the Forest Lord. 
and we're going to grab the staff of the Soul Eater. Oh, actually, uh, no, Veneers Frist of Brutality I got on Zarala, so that's fine. Nice, this one. Okay, um, and then Staff of the Soul Eater for another hundred. And then we've got zero, zero time warped badges on Hildy. Awesome. Um, and now we're going to go to Yalka. Wait, no, we're not. That didn't add to, are they shared appearance? I bet you they bloody well are. Um, almost out of the creamer already. It came in bubble tea kit. I need to get three of the creamers next order. Oh, wow. Fair enough. I'm guessing you like yours especially creamy. Um, character transfer is so expensive. Miss playing my alts with my friends. Oh, yeah. Character transfers are expensive. Um, but you, if you've got enough gold, you can pay for them with gold because you can buy the tokens and convert them to battle net balance and then use that to, but it's it's still expensive. It's just a different kind of expensive. Um, so yeah, they share an appearance, which is fun. So we're gonna refund that one. Um, now I'm really concerned about the rest of the stuff because, uh, so I have that one, which means I don't need the Soul Eater. Harbinger's is by itself. Crossbow is by itself. Mutilator shares with a couple of other things. Brutality. Ah, but that's all the same stuff. Um, but yeah, it's still showing as not collected, but I do have it on Zorala. What else did I buy on her? <laughs> uh. I don't think it was any of the cloaks. And I bought that one that I apparently didn't need. Oh no, because that one's shaman only. Okay, that makes sense. And then. That's fine. I bought that on Zarala. I bought that on Sarala. I already know that one. Ugh, this is, uh, this is a time. Okay. So I've got Staff of the Forest Lord done already. Um. Blade of Harbingers I can't do. Gavel of Naru Blessings. I can get that one. Scryer's Blade of Focus is not something I can get on this tune, I don't think. Trousers of the Scryer's Retainer are already bought, and this and the Belt of the Silent Path as well. So that's everything, and she's got 50 left. So I can put that back up to 50. Okay. God, this is confusing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Yalka. Next, who's another leather the wearer? So I think I'm only gonna be able to do weapons. Hmm. Such a festival of fun. Whatever goes pretty crazy. Totally happy to hang with peeps throughout the day. Go my own way. Easy either way. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, I don't even know the commands for the bot games. Oh, which one in particular, Goose? Usually, it tells you what, like. If, if you're called to action, um, usually it tells you what you need to type to, to engage. Um, but it's okay, you'll learn them over time. All good. Not a worry. In chatting with you, with people you end up with a relative level of ease and have little in chat jokes, yep. Um, do you uncomfortable? Huh. Uh. Um, what just Oh right, okay, yeah no, that's 
to the slippery comment. Yep, okay, gotcha. I was a little bit lost for a second, but that's okay. And I'll go home with 300k total combined over 13 characters. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um. So I just really felt like at home. Yeah, I, I agree, but I mean, like, I'm also from there, so that's <laughs> probably why, let's be honest. Uh, okay. That goes the way I'm time walking. Indeed, haven't actually tried it myself. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. And there are so many collectibles to buy with the time warp badges. So, like, if you're into collecting, it's amazing. Do the full three tablespoons. Do I do three? Because we do it as per the directions on the... But we, we do it per the directions on the website because back when... They never used to have the instructions printed on the packet. That's a relatively new thing. So maybe the recipes say something different. Give me a second. I think it also depends on whether you're doing flavoured ones or the original milk tea as well, I think. Because the original milk tea, there's no milk in the tea, but the other ones, there is milk in the tea. Um, original milk tea. Three tablespoons creamer, yeah. And then what about the, the flavoured ones? Milk tea. Strawberry tea, that'll do. Yeah, one and a half tablespoons of creamer. Right, so yeah, the other recipes use half as much because you use three tablespoons of the flavoured powder and then one and a half of the creamer. So that makes sense. I'd definitely give them the feedback though. Let them know like I've been doing, and are you using like an actual tablespoon measure or are you using like a tablespoon out of the drawer that you'd like a dessert spoon type thing um, would be the next question as well. Uh, because if you're, and is it heaped or like scraped off? I gotta make sure you scrape it off. Otherwise it's like extra. Um, but yeah, I definitely reach out to them and let them know that you're doing it per the recipe and you don't have enough in the kit to make all of them. Um, because that's, that's a problem. That's a problem. Um, with a home, also good lord. Is it more than Brisbane? It is. It is. Time walking is great. Gold making. Anyone else keen to get in the time walking fun? Cup of tea needed here. Be back later, of course. Enjoy. Hello, Daz. Uh, sorry, Irish stud. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, sorry, World of Warcraft. I remember you're streaming today. Indeed, I am. I'm back. I took a day off, but I am back. Might log in yeah, for sure, Shatoni. It's good fun. It's really good fun. Do you like some collecting indeed? Are you also a fan of all of the things? Sorry, all the things, I should say. Um, all right, cool. So ATT is on this tune. Um, give me a second. Close it out. Uh, okay. So what can I purchase? Um, I can't do the Blade of Harbingers on this tune. I can grab the Scryer's Blade of Focus, so let's get that. <laughs> Gavel of Nauru Blessings is already on Hildy, so I don't know why that still marked is not collected. Um, sort of Unyielding Force isn't there, nor is the Mutilator, probably stuff I can't use. Um, and then I've got those on Zarala already. I'm pretty sure the, sh the other two I need are shields. Uh, so Ialka has 150 left. Next turn is uh, Jamana. This one. Let's see what she can buy, if anything. Um, uh, I should just say one and a half or three per preference. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, the if you're doing a command like exclamation FFA or exclamation anything, the exclamation needs to be the very first thing in the message. Otherwise, the bot can't read it. Because the bodies are silly. The body is not very intelligent. <laughs> um, yes, like Seeker said. Perfect. I uh, need to wait a bit. Indeed, there is a raid though. Time walking is great gold making. Uh, you'd need to ask Rose about that. I have no idea. Uh, it might be something like purchasing stuff that can then be sold. Or something like that. Reputation for listeners, just don't mind. Just skim it between orders. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um... These dang coins, because something has to be done about them. Been getting my garrison set up to those collectibles I'm missing. Yas! Oh, the garrison has so many. Holy cow. Like, oh my god, so much. 
so, so much. Um... Oh no, you all lost so many. Uh, do you need to check to see if I'm in the Facebook group? Do I give them feedback for sure? Lisa says, delicious, of course. You can DM them on Instagram and you can also, there's like a contact form on their website. Um, they they do reach out. They, they get back to you real bloody quick. At least they have with me. <laughs> They've gotten back to me really quickly anytime I've done it. Uh, so that's good. Um, so Blader Harbingers isn't here. Neither is the Sword of Unyielding Force, or the Mutilator, or either of the shields, because I can't use shields on this tune. Okay, so that was a... I think most of these tunes are leather wearers, which is giving me issues. Ah, Ulina is not a leather wearer. She is a warlock. I'm so surprised that I can see the tune name and remember what kind of, like, what class they are. Like, I, why can I remember that but not, like, important stuff? Oh, it sucks. Oh, dear. Finally working on leveling a mage. Ah, oh, fantastic. Uh, I need to actually read the gold guide this week and sort the garrison too. Yes, do it. Do it. It's worth it. Finally working on leveling a mage. Someone can go make as I do it. Do one dungeon. Each your tunes 500 badges, cash in for badges, wait till Legion time, walking by material bags and sell items. Ah, cool. Material bags, that's really interesting. Um, at the moment I'm doing one dungeon per tune to get the 500 badges to buy the collectibles. Uh, <laughs> but that is a really, that's, that's awesome. That means, there's actually, that means there's a reason for me to continue doing time walking streams after I've bought all the collectibles, so that's good. <laughs> Seeker. Amazing. Like watching Fear Stream? Want to see a toy collecting stream? You can help this happen. Donate free channel points, embers, by clicking the little fireplace under chat, up to 2k per person per stream. We've made it over 159k. If we don't make it, you get your points back. Have a glorious, safe day, and thanks for getting involved. So sweet of you. Uh, okay, no Blade of Harbingers. No Sword of Unyielding Force. No, the mutilator. Uh, there aren't going to be any shields on this baby. Um, and it looks like these are none of these are um, cloth either. Well, that was fine. Uh, Quitter. Actually, Quitter might be able to get the sword. She's a rogue. And Loa Luna is the next one. She's a paladin. She'll be able to get the shields. That's good. Hmm, shield mogs. I don't know what they look like, but you'll see soon. Uh, Lower Luna's the next tune on my list, so I will absolutely be on her shortly. Uh, and I can show you what they look like if I remember in approximately five minutes' time. Might want to remind me. <laughs> I mean, you could also just check yourself. That's that's a good thing, too. Um, that's really a thing. I'm just thinking about cost. Why are they so popular? Uh, I imagine they're like the bags you get from the adventure table uh, in... in Shadowlands, like you open it up and you get crafting mats. I don't know, maybe the, the crafting mats are good for doing something. Actually, if it's Legion mats, it's probably people crafting the bloody gear for um, uh, Mage Tower. That'd be why it's so popular. Use them for something. 25 badges each, 20, 40 materials, be the herbs or all leather. Oh, my frost mage to 60, love her name too. Yay! I hope he doesn't get flagged by someone. Uh, my good. Well, if it's against us, it probably will. <laughs> uh, okay. Blade of Harbingers is what is the Blade of Harbingers? Is it a, it must be a two-hander. It's a two-handed axe. Okay, that makes so much more sense. Um, but then Sword of Unyielding Force. I can totally get. And then, so that's delete. And then the mutilator. I can totally baby get. Baby tune da 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 da. Baby tune da 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 da. And then I've got the two shields. Where are they? So we've got the Mazthril Honor Shield. 
which looks like that and blows fire, apparently. Uh, <laughs> and um, we've got the Azure Shield of Kaldara, which is the glowy, shiny one made of blue rocks. Wow, that's really glowy and shiny. Um, and then after Shock Waste Guard, sounds like something that's made of mail. It is. As the girdle of Seeging, seething rage sounds like plate, yep. And the rushing storm kilt uh, sounds like mail. Yep, okay, cool. There you go, another two off the list. Oh crap, I forgot to check how many she has now. That's all right, let's jump onto Lower Luna. I'll be able to check on her, I think. Um, pay for those monthly wasps up somehow. I go check for myself. Don't oh, forget, be lazy though. Oh, fear, remember, never. Do that. Do my guys left over. Never know what to spend them on. Give me this mage's fire because of the name. It's exactly it for you. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes me think of the anime Ghost in the Shell. There you go. I've not seen it, but that's cool. So your name is Frostitude, and she's a blood elf. Right. Okay. I see. I see. Yeah. Look. Um. I think it's different enough that you might be okay. Maybe. But I would also not be surprised if it did get flagged. Um, breathing Dogen Shield, yes. Blue Breathing Dogen Shield. Uh, as long as it's in shaming workers in that field. Oh gee, we aren't into shaming legitimate professions. No, of course not. Yeah, no, definitely not. Um, Feel free to browse. You could potentially argue it from that angle, but I don't think they'd take it. Uh, <laughs> just something tells me. Something tells me. Right, where's Quitter? 250. She's on 250 now. All right, Lower Luna. Let's buy some stuff. Uh, Blade of Harbingers. Ta da! Delete that one. We have the Azure Shield of Kaldara. Then we have the Mazdaril Honor Shield. Then we have the Girdle of Seething Rage, I think is the only one I can actually get. Yeah, because the other's a male. Okay. Well, we're looking mighty healthy. Um, oh, wow, who's a druid? Um, what was the last time walking we did? Was it Wrath? I'm trying to figure out what's going to be longest to wrap around to again. So that's BC. Oh, it was Legion. The last one was Legion? Really? BC time walking is now, Ali. <laughs> um, last. Yeah, no, I know it rotates. Oh, it's chronological. Okay. Legion last. Okay. In, in that case, I reckon Pyroa can buy. Um, I'm short a male wearer with badges to buy the mail stuff. So I'm trying to see what's got the most time to wrap around to the next one. And it's it's Legion. So, and Pieroa is going to need 3000 badges to buy something from Legion, but she has 2K already. So she can absolutely buy that stuff and she'll be fine. Um, so, hey, so we're gonna jump back onto her. How many do I have on level Luna now? 155. All right. Save four mounts. Yeah, um, I've only got the two more mounts to get and I'm saving on fear and failure. And I've got 37.57 and 27.95 on both of them towards the mounts. So I'm doing just fine. Just fine. Um, she was a play on words. I'm in for here in stream. Oh, of course, of course. My friend thought of the name. I like the play on words. My original server is Moonguard, so it fits. Oh no. <laughs> 
uh, could always try playing it off this. She's destitute. I mean, that that works too. Good thinking, Kay. Good thinking. We. Um, all left joiners, everyone is welcome to be comfortable and safe here. Yes, everyone is everyone is welcome, except people who are like, you know, racist, homophobic, transphobic, etc. That has no place here. Um, gotta draw the line somewhere. If you try to welcome every single member of the human race, there's bound to be conflict, and I'm gonna side with the people who are doing nothing wrong. Um, uh, BC Time Walking, this time Legion last year. Yeah, I just, I, I remember doing Wrath time walking, like, really recently, but obviously I was very wrong. Uh, <laughs> and that's fine. That's fine. It happens occasionally. Um, okay. Where am I going? So, after Shock Waste Guard. This one. And... The Rushing Storm Kilt. Oh my god, is it a bloody upgrade? Oh, that's disgusting. Okay. And <laughs> the rushing storm kills. Which will also probably be an upgrade. Yup. This tune is 52. Like it's, yep. I think there is one thing, one thing left for me to purchase. Uh, so I've got 2005 on this tune now. Cool, all right, I'm gonna jump onto Regassa, who is a priest. Where is she? There she is. It's in order, the original last room about Mage Tower. Um, oh no, the Mage Tower was made permanent before Legion Time Walking kicked in um, again. And it was, yeah, it was there available to do. Uh, Uh, you having to put retail in stream title. That was Burning Crusade Dungeons for all the things transmog farming. Confused definitely happens, of course, of course. I hope I can do that. Um, what's your login list sorting method, by the way? Uh, order of creation. Yeah, just order of creation. Ah, oh. oh, Trud, thank you so much for the biddies. Much appreciated. Good evening to you too. Good evening. Let's do that one. One. Cool. All right. Ah, well done. Was that a, was that the free for all? No raid. Well done. Good job. Uh, oh, hang on. There we go. Um, uh, order of creation it sounds like a faction of auto. Does it? It does. You're absolutely right. You are 100% correct. That's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, I want time walking, and I'm not healing. Extra badges for healers. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm, I'm not doing that. Oh, cool. So Chris right now, I'm ready to buy those mat bags. Well, I mean, you've got however many rounds until the next thing. So um, farming badges, the best way to do it is one dungeon on every character because you get that 500 badge reward at the end. Like you turn in the vial or whatever it happens to be and you get 500 badges. So it's more time effective to do one on each tune rather than to do five or six on one tune. Unless, of course, you only have one tune, which is totally understandable and reasonable. Um, we just got back from the movies. Amazing! I hope you had an absolute blast. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I need to defend some of the packs in TBC and nuts to heal tank. Also, I have no idea what I'm doing in heal spec. Like, I could do it for the Heartbreaker farm because it was literally like one boss encounter and it wasn't that hard. And I just kind of spammed one heal button over and over and everything was fine. When it comes to like actual dungeon healing, I have no idea what I'm doing. Z zero, nothing, nada, noob. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not, I don't like, 
I don't want to put other people at risk with my unknowingness. Does that make sense? I hope it does. That's fair. It sounds like me on a DBS Sunday class. Yeah, of course. Just saw Doctor Strange. Fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. The exception of mage. Mages are fun. Found healing and time walking quite easy. Then my priest is pretty decently geared. Yeah, mine are like 50. Like level 50. So. <laughs> yeah, nah. Nah. Um, okay, where is my 50-50s challenge? Because Pierre Roa hit 52. Ding. Uh, where is she? There she is. <clears throat> uh, gear doesn't matter with scaling. Well, I mean, it still scales you down to that level. It's still, like... I'm assuming if you had a level 60 at 150 and then a level 60 at 250, it'd scale you both down, but not to the exact same eye level, surely? I don't know. I don't know how it works. I didn't really pay attention. I just go in there and do the dungeon. So, <laughs> so was... um, But if anyone does want to join, I should be in quick join. Um, if you want to. No, no pressure, though. No pressure. I get either... Something, something, something stat weights. Yep, not sure. I tried on my shaman who's I-70 versus the priest on 260. If you actually, once you zone in and open it up, it should, like, open up your character thing, it should tell you some stuff in here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm very not sure. Take good popping cue. Yeah, of course. Not a worry. I'm on one percent battery. Ding. <laughs> I'm so happy with my new shinies. Panic. Yep. And again, B3 minutes. Yeah. Up to you. Up to you. Ugh. I think it's healers go pop in queue at the moment anyway. Um... Mm, that is a bit strange. Oh, well. I mean, even through quick join, you still have to, like, it's still a request. I can still reject it. Battle, go! Yeah, that's really odd. I'm not sure what's going on there, because I've got myself to appear online and everything, so that's... Maybe it's just, um, maybe it's just what's it? Maybe it's just time walking that doesn't do it. Someone for EU server join the quick nose elk. It's the quick join to join the group to queue for dungeons together because we can't queue for dungeons together. You cannot do quick join, no. Um, hey, Starcraft, welcome in. <laughs> I just dinged. 51. Um, good name, by the way. Doing shenanigans. What is shenanigans, Shiba? What are you doing and why? Uh, Dano, Zelk, Ali, Cat, Fade, Zam, Cap, and Ali. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. You can very easily see the shenanigans. Can I? I don't have Discord open, if that's what you're talking about. Hi. 
by the sun. <gasps> Kiwi! Hello! Thank you very much for the prime sub. 51 months. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. How are you? Sorry guys, I'm in the combats. I'm trying to... Good. Um, can I place another buster? I can! Wonderful. Discord thing? Okay. Figured. Aloha. Ah, oh, dearie me. Hope you are very, very well. What can I actually do with the bonus shit and how do I find out how much I already have? So the bonus shit is stuff like gold or scrolls. Um, in your webpage thing, down the left hand side, once you come out of the battlefield, there's a whole bunch of icons down the left. If you click on the army button, you can upgrade your units from level 1 up to level 30. Each level requires some gold and some scrolls. So that's what the, like every time you battle you're earning gold and scrolls as well as a couple of other resources in order to level up your characters, place them more frequently, all this kind of fun stuff. Um, so if you have enough gold but not enough scrolls, you can go to the store and you might be able to purchase some of the appropriate scrolls. It's got like a scroll store that refreshes every four hours or something I think it is. So you can, you might be able to purchase the right kind of scrolls in order to get to you, you there. But if you have enough scrolls but not enough gold, you've just got to save up some more gold to be able to upgrade that unit. Um, oh no! Kiwi! Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you're feeling better soon. Did you get to keep them? Good question. Good question. Securing for you, battle for three quests! Oh, amazing, Dunno. Fantastic news. Painkillers and sedation work well. They do. They absolutely do. You are correct. Um, feel your pain. Good recovery. Yes, agreed. Agreed. I know that's a thing done pre deployment here in AU. All the extra teeths are removed. Oof. Blech. Oh, okay, well, last four to five weeks to go! Amazing! Another bonus ship from Qualitron. That's not, that's just a hey, yay for celebration. That's, there's, that does nothing. Except fun. It's just a record of like, if people are active in chat and they get a bonus ship, they do the thing to mark that they've got it and we're just like, it counts up every time somebody does it because hey, how cool is it that we've given this, this many things out in Stream Raiders? It does nothing. Oh no, I just lost a container. I hate that seeker. If it usually if it's got your name on it, they won't throw it out. They'll just take it out, clean the fridge, and put the named containers only back in. Uh, but I don't know if you named it or not. <laughs> they just leave it there, yeah. So every time I just wondered how much I had. Nah, it's a communal, a communal thing. Yeah, all just, it's all just in Stream Raiders. Like someone, it was a very long time ago, but someone was like, hey, we should have a thing to count the things. And I'm like, I think I can do that. And so I did, and it was fun. <laughs> not a, not a super big deal, but just kind of cute, you know? Way to celebrate with the others in chat. I think after this dungeon I might need to take that chair stream and go get my bottle of tea that Jazz bought. I do have a, a chair stream available to me, so I will make use of it shortly. Quick, everyone, contribute embers. Yes, agreed. What are we on? 55%. We need to get to like 66 or 67, roughly. Like We'll call it 67 to be safe. 
to be on track for today. So we've got 12 more percent. Do the thing! Not on a timer. Uh huh. <laughs> Three, <laughs> Three minutes early. Oh uh, dear. Right, so um, I'm not sure if you've done this in time walking, Desir, but we don't jump, as you may have seen me do before, we don't jump off into the water when it's time walking week. Only when we're running it for transmog. Uh, you gotta go up the ramp uh, to the platform in the middle. And I totally forgot. What the hell is my... We're doing something very strange. By the way, if you're enjoying the content and you haven't been made aware that I have an Instagram page, I'm trying to grow my following over on Instagram. It's it's incredibly good for like sponsorship deals and stuff like that. And I want to be a full-time content creator, but I can't do that unfortunately without cash. As as horrible and as as money hungry as that sounds, living costs money. Living is expensive. Um, and so if you'd like to help me realize my dream of being a full-time content creator. Dropping a follow on Instagram is one of the best things you can do, as well as obviously everywhere else, like here on Twitch and on Twitter and all that kind of stuff, but Instagram is the big one. Um, so if you are feeling generous or if you would like to see me create more content, better content, uh, and, you know, make it my life, uh, that's, how to, that's how to help. Thank you very much for your consideration. We cracked 1k last month, which is amazing. Amazing. I uh, got 114 new followers in the month of April. And um, so far I think I'm at like four or five for May. So it would be super freaking awesome if we could get some more. I'd like to get, I'd like to beat last month's score because in the end I am a gamer. <laughs> and so I would like to beat the high score of 114 and maybe get 115 new followers this month. Uh, but I can't do that without your help, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a thing. I believe I was at 1,009 on the 1st of May, which would put us at, I'd need to be at 1,124 to crack the, the, the high school last month. Yes. Um, hey Puggy, welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you, Zam, for the social link drop. <laughs> yes, and also, as Seeker is saying, contributing your free channel points to our goal for uh, a toy farming stream next month, if that's something you'd be interested in. We'll see you back in a bit. Enjoy, Kay. Enjoy. See you soon. Everyone's so quiet tonight. I think it's because everyone's like concentrating or doing their own thing or lurking, which is again totally fine. I exhausted after a big week. What did people get up to? Oh my god, I was so productive, Seeker. I was so productive. I've caught up on so many different things. Like, uh, I know I'm behind on uploading VODs to YouTube. But I'm up to date on my behindness. I actually, like, I went through and said if I do one video a day, this is where I'll be up to, right? And I'm I'm back on target for that, which is amazing. Um, 
And yeah, my, my to-do list each day, I'm practically clearing it. I've done my month's worth of social media scheduling. The only things left are stuff that Jazz has agreed to do, and he's almost done with those. Uh, yeah, it's... Oh my god. I actually feel like I can breathe, which is amazing and wonderful. Not as quiet as Wednesday, dupe! Oh my god, those screenshots. I did- I would- I cannot believe it let you redeem hydrates when I wasn't live. Holy cow. I did refund them too. I hope you got those points back safe and sound. We still be listening? Yeah, totally okay. I'm 100% fine with the lurkers and the lurking and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think Seek is used to- a bit more used to me blabbing and chatting and na 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 Do- yeah, doing time walking ourselves. Also that, yeah. Everyone's concentrating on their own stuff. Not nearly as talkative as usual, gets a little more tired than usual. Totally fair. It is a Friday. Friday tends to be a little bit, you know, sleepy and stuff. Still doing shenanigans. Do I need to open up Discord? I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up Discord and have a look and see what the hell you're doing. The criticism. No, of course, Seeker. Of course. No, I don't think anyone took it as a, I hope nobody took it as a criticism. Definitely not. Had another thought about Insta. Okay, what's your thought about Insta? Share them with me. Did I just ding? No, I dinged before. I think it was the- I think it was all the achievements that made it sound like a ding. That's okay. Alright, out we hop! Bit of my shenanigans, so I'm cool. Oh god, uh oh. What is- Oh no, what did you do? What happened? Stories of multiple choice answers. Ah. Description for this. Oh no, did you post a photo of your bloody surgery site? You did, didn't you? <laughs> oh god. Oh no. That's super adorable. <laughs> oh, Sheba, they're so cute. Oh my god, they're adorable. I especially like the middle one, holy cow. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. Oof. Yep. Of course. Of course. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. Me. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. All right. Turning this in. I'm listening. Turn in the swelling vial. Talk to the person. Are of the highest quality. And purchase the fractured necrolite skull. Be careful. Learn it. And then I have got no more things to buy from BC Time Walking. That's it. BC Time Walking complete. I'm done. Uh, so I can add Regasa to the list list. She's got 285 badges. I do have three more tunes that I want to do a dungeon on. Um, because they're still saving for particular things. So we're going to keep doing that. Okay, um... Multiple choice answers. Trivia. What would I do trivia about? Tears 
I always open a spoiler. Yeah, so do I, unless there's something, like, unless there's, like, a, a yep. Which is one of them. Ah, brilliant! Fantastic. Ah, uh, what's wrong with me? Really crap cute. Just so uh, lies that file, actually, is we air uh, trivia, multi choice stories. Hear me out. Stream trivia. What provides the audio for Panic? Oh. That could be interesting. So who wants to write those questions for me? <laughs> Cause, uh, hmm. Ah, Zaren, hello, guess what? Eyeshadow's arrived. Want some of my jungle love. One of the things that you bought me for my birthday, it was this one, the Jade one. And I'm, I'm not sure what happened. I'm not gonna question it, but they had a, there was, there was two and it was both Jade. And so they said, do you want to switch one out for a similar shade? It's called Olive. They're both really pretty. So I have these, they're both from you technically. So yes, and they're gorgeous. This is like, I'm, they, they show up a little bit gray on, on the stream, but um, this one's like almost a blue green kind of shade, that one. And then uh, this one is, it's very Olive. It's, a, it's appropriately named. Um, but it's kind of like a green, like a goldy green kind of, it's, they're beautiful. And I swatched them both. They're both incredibly pigmented and so shiny. Oh my God, they look amazing. So thank you so much for the beautiful eyeshadows. I very much appreciate it. They arrived today and I unboxed them earlier, which is why I have them right here. I do so much for Panic. Great, congrats. Um, things doing the background feel for me. Oh no! <laughs> Get fear Jackbox Party Pack. I've got one of them from like a million moons ago. Um, I think it's like number three or something. And we did, we played it, but it gets old really quickly. Um, on on stream and stuff like that, simply because uh, low hanging fruit. First of all, like people always go for the sex joke. Um, but then if you play for a couple of hours, you start getting the same questions. And so people start putting in the same answers and it just, it's not as fun. Um, so yeah, great, great for like parties and stuff, but they, it does get really repetitive after not a very long while, unfortunately. Feel free to browse. Um, which is why I didn't buy the, the future ones. Um, I mean, <laughs> oh dear, they're Reva. One. I'll do some. Oh, that'd be awesome of you. Yay, indeed. Baby kids killing each other. Yeah, no, that's not good. You need to probably stop them from doing that. You're welcome. Thank you, Zarin. All hail Glucose Guardians. <laughs> Sheba. Oh, no. Goodness gracious. I hope you know, Zarin. I definitely do not see you in that way. Like, that's like. I appreciate the support you've offered. I absolutely do, but it is 100 and a billion percent not expected or required or anything like that. I do very much appreciate it, but I do not expect it. Uh, I'm gonna do IRL. Enjoy, Dunno. Have fun. Be safe. Give yourself show him who's boss. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> oh no. Yeah, that's an old list, hey, Shiba. <laughs> Some of those don't make any sense anymore, so we could uh, probably get rid of them. I have to do an updated list. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, as parents, it's frowned upon even more than simple side. <laughs> what do you mean it's not required? I signed this contract and everything. Eh? <laughs> Who gave you that contract, Lander? I have concerns and questions. I've did list then. I will. I have to make one before I can give it to you, though. <laughs> this is the problem. Yeah, I need to. Um, apparently, people like donating for emotes. Apparently, which is just like mind blowing. We need to actually hang on. One moment, please. So, if we've got. The one you sent me before, which I haven't put in yet because 
Actually, let me put that on my to-do list. Um, add latest emote. And I'm going to pop that in for tomorrow. Upcoming. There we go. Cool. So that's in. Um, so if I go to emotes. Oh, I was supposed to go and grab a thing after the God damn it. Right. So I have two follower emote slots left. Eight standard emotes for tier one for animated emotes, but I know you don't do animation. I need to actually, if you are, if you are someone who can do animation, like animation or animated emotes, um, and you're like looking for work or something, uh, let me know. Uh, feel free to jump in the discord, shoot me a DM, that kind of stuff. Because I, as my, like, obviously failing that I'm happy to go and source an artist for commissions and stuff. But if I can, like, you guys support me so goddamn much and I'm so grateful and so thankful for that. I would absolutely love, this is one of the reasons why I go to Shiba for my emotes. Firstly, because he's a freaking amazing artist, can we just say. Um, but also because I love being a, like, having the opportunity to give back to my own community. I do that with giveaways. I do that with uh, that, like, you know, those kind of things. But being able to, like, commission someone from the community to do something for the, the street, like, Oh yes, <laughs> getting getting you guys involved with stuff is is absolutely awesome and um, all that kind. Of, so yeah, if you are an animator slash can do animated emotes for Twitch, um, and you are a part of the community, even if you're a lurker, you are still part of the community. Uh, hit me up via Discord. This is a solicited request. Um, so four animated emote slots, one tier two slot, and two tier three slots. We then have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bits emotes that I can do. Plus cheer emotes, but that they're animated ones as well. So um, the if I was going to engage an animator, I would be looking for four animated emotes and five cheer emotes. Um, if those are things that you do. Uh, I have got an idea for the cheer emotes. And I do have existing emotes that I would like to have animated. If that's if that's something that you guys, if if you as an animator are able to do that, that is what I would be looking for. I'd be okay with doing something from scratch as well, um, but I'd have to come up with some ideas, <laughs> which is a little difficult sometimes. So there's like a lot of slots around, like a lot of slots. We are going to learn animating emotes. Zam, hell yeah! If I'm more than happy, like. If, if this is your first thing, like if you're learning to animate and you want something to like practice with or whatever, I am happy to work with you. Absolutely happy to work with you. Uh, healing on the priest was way easier than shaman gear does make a difference, but not much. Interesting. I wonder also if that's just a priests are performing better than shaman at the moment. Maybe. I don't, I have no idea, like legitimately have no idea. Uh, but that is an interesting thought to, to look into. Here's an amazing client as well. Oh, sheeps. That is so sweet of you. I try, look, I try to be because I've read and I've read the horror stories on the internet. Like I know how terrible artists have it sometimes with clients. Yeah. Keen to see some bit more. Yeah. The ones I have up are uploaded at the moment are the Bitfest ones from last round. They provided Bitfest cheer emotes for us to use. So I just uploaded them because I could and I was allowed to. Um, but I would like to have my own and I do know what I want them to do. I know what I want them to do. I just need someone to be able to do it for me. And it would literally be from scratch because I don't have the art that can be animated. It's, it's a, yeah. Yep. Uh, I just don't have the right software for animating proper emotes. It's too expensive. Can't justify testing them out if I don't like doing it. Fair. Keep an eye on the humble bundles. Because there, are, there have been a lot of like photography and artsy kind of bundles out lately and usually, and now they've gone, there's one that's up at the moment that's all like sounds and stuff for game dev. They usually kind of go through a cycle of, of creating, like there'll be sound stuff, there'll be sound editing software, then there'll be sound libraries, then there's um, like photography stuff, then there's video editing and animations. Like, so yeah, there's definitely keep an eye on them if it is something you're interested in playing with because you'll get hundreds of dollars worth of software for like tens of dollars 
it's well worth the investment. Even if it's something you want to play with and see if you like it, that's the way to do it. 100%. It might be like one or two versions old. It might not be the latest version of that software or whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. I'm still using Vegas Pro 14 and they're up to 20 something and it still works just fine for my purposes. It's two edits and renders. Like, I don't need anything extra. I don't make movies, so it's fine. <laughs> Short time of doing emotes. Really great learning option. Aw, yay! I'm so pleased to hear that you've gotten something other than cash out of it as well, Sheeps. Like, that makes me really happy to hear. Good morning, Rice! Am I winning? Yes. I bought the last VC time walking collectible today. I've cleared the vendor of everything, even the mount. I have all of it. So, yes, I'm definitely winning. Uh, it's not the appropriate software at some point from Humble Confirmed. Yeah, yeah, they do it like with that kind of software, they tend to do a cycle like um, of, of different types of editing and, and arty and, and all that kind of stuff. You've just got to kind of, if you need it now, obviously that's not going to work. But if you can wait for it, then yeah, it'll it'll cycle around. Just keep an eye out on the affiliate channel. Every single bundle that they post that they tell me about, which they usually do, I get an email um, about a new bundle when it launches. Uh, I drop all of them in the affiliate channel. So definitely anyone who's looking for, you know, new games to play, you know, push out your comfort zone maybe, or books to read, comics, um, miniatures. They do a lot of, um, like, and even like D&D campaigns, not necessarily the Dungeons and Dragons brand. A lot of the time recently it's been like Pathfinder, um, but they do like a lot of that stuff. So it, it's definitely worth keeping an eye. I think the most recent bundle they posted was a book bundle of Lonely Planet books about the United States. So if you want to go on a road trip and you live in the US, like, do you know what I mean? And it's so much cheaper, like ridiculously cheap compared to how much you'd actually spend to buy all that stuff outright. So there are going to be a few bits in the bundle that you don't care about. But if the number, like if the books or games or programs or whatever in there that you do want are more valuable than the price you have to pay to get them, you're still making a savings even if you end up with stuff you're never going to use. And that's the point, right? But of course, don't like, don't just buy them for the hell of it. Like, I don't, I don't want people to just buy shit they don't want or need just to support me. Like, if you want to do that, you can just drop a donation or something. Um, but like, yeah, if it's something you're interested in, you can get your hands on that stuff and help me and help support my content. Which is like, hey, it's a win-win, right? You get a massive discount. I get cash. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. And unless you have an insane amount of haste, certain classes are useless in time walking, at least TBC. Oh, fair enough. Interesting. It's a huge win, right, Rise? I'm so pleased with myself. So, so happy. Ah, uh, silly amount of media software from photography to video and sound just because it's fun and cheap with humble, hardly use it, but well with it to me. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, if it gives you the opportunity to mess around with things for a meme here and there, like, why not? I get so much use out of my Vegas. Like, so much use out of it. It's unbelievable. Uh, I find it super disappointing that there's so much awesome functionality in Adobe Pro, but it's silly expensive to have a license for them for most reviews. Yeah, I don't think that they, like their um, their target audience isn't the casual person at home. There's like it's it's just not worth it. There's um it, they're expecting people who are using it to be using it to make an income. There are so many free alternatives out there. They might have a feature missing here or there. But so many of the free alternatives out there are genuinely really well put together. There's a whole um, uh, fuck Adobe movement where if you like jump in, they'll have every single Adobe program because they don't like their business practices. So they have all these Adobe programs and all of these alternate uh, like alternate programs and how they differ. So like what you'll be missing. So you can find one because I doubt that any one person would be using every single itty bitty feature unless you're in like a business environment. So if you are doing it for personal use, you might be able to find one, an option that's missing a few pro uh, Adobe things, but it has everything you personally need. And so you can go for it. And sometimes it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Sometimes it's free. All of my imaging, all of my ed image editing, every last bit of it I do in GIMP. G-I-M-P. GNU image manipulating program also I can't remember exactly what it is but um it's free totally free regular updates works a charm takes a bit to like learn how to use it but same thing with Adobe Photoshop like <laughs> same thing I have not yet begun to. 
Reading and typing, totally fine. Subscription-based usage suggests they're targeting regular consumers. They're very confused about what that means. Yeah, they're, um, look. I genuinely think that they've decided that their target audience is professionals who are using their software to make money, businesses and stuff. But, like, do they assume that every university is going to buy 300 licenses for all of their students and stuff? Like, is that, I don't know. It's, yeah, a little upsetting. Mm, I used to be at work, get frustrated when I go home. Oh, I need to use X, but can't, yeah. Yeah. It's an art program that was one time purchased, has been created and kept up with one single man, uses programs since I was a kid drawing with a mouse. That's amazing. Love that. Probably need to shop around. Yeah, it, it does take a bit of effort, but when you find something that you're happy with, it makes it worth it, you know? Yep. Gimp is perfect. It does everything I need it to. It doesn't do some of the more complicated stuff. Uh, and it does have a couple of bugs here and there, but it's free. <laughs> it's free. Uh, I thought the program was pulling my leg. Yep. Yeah, nope. It's it's good stuff. Really good stuff. Mm, so paint.net. It's another good free Photoshop alternative. There you go. Amazing. Uh, I just realized there's no wormhole generator for Outland. That reminds me. The formula spreadsheet for work and the managers want it instead of saving so much time. Yeah. I, um, a while back when I was working shift work and had a very complicated, um, like, because it was like a 24 hour roster and all that kind of stuff. Um, it was very complicated trying to figure out what your actual, what you were going to be paid that week. So I've made up a spreadsheet that like was all color coded and stuff. Uh, Loz, Thor, Dunno, Duck, Sam, Fade, Ali, Silver, Meaty, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Um, it, the, the spreadsheet took me maybe five or 10 minutes to do up because it was just stuff that I'd worked with endlessly anyway. Um, and a couple of people saw me using it and asked what it was. And so I ended up showing a couple of people what what it did and how it worked and stuff and by the time I left the company um, everyone had a copy uh, including like the rosterer who did the rosters so that and when they had a new hire they could give it to them to show them like this is how you'll be able to figure out what you're earning this week kind of thing make sure your payslips are right um, and it was fine for me because like Again, I, d I didn't expect to be paid for it because it was like five, ten minutes. If I had put a if I had put hours and hours of work into it, absolutely not. That's my work, pay me. But because it was such a quick thing that I whipped up, and it really wasn't it wasn't hard. It just had a couple of formulas, no programming or anything. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Works well. Um. Motive should be deleting, yeah! <laughs> nah, talking about talking about image thingy. Um you use GIMP full times before switching to my current program. It's um GIMP is a lot better for doing uh like it's not really an I mean it is an art program. It's absolutely an art program, but I it, because it's GNU image manipulation, whatever, I find it much better for editing photos or for like making YouTube thumbnails, for example, that kind of stuff, uh, or like splicing photos together and things like that. I find it much better for image manipulation rather than drawing from the ground up. Then again, I'm not an artist, so I don't know how to use any of the drawing tools in GIMP. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, depending on what it is you're trying to accomplish, Mm, I definitely had an herb moment. So I say is learn to use this so quickly, of course. Of course, till we get a feed, I would have got a warning. Yep, absolutely. No, it is actually a program. This spreadsheet help people figure out they work from home allowances for tax purposes. Yep. Yep. When you're doing it yourself, it's tricky. I just, my accountant does it for me. Um, but I mean, I also have very complicated income, so. <laughs> The actual hell happened there. That's fine. Mm, I 
Dr. Ogenship, well done. Good job. It was basically like baby's first PS. Yeah, and that's all I need because I don't do complicated stuff. I do, I use it to make my schedules. I use it to make, uh, well, I did use it to do the, like the two faces and the, the mount in the middle for Instagram, although I've moved away from that format and it seems to be working. Um, having the carousel seems to work like a lot better in terms of engagement rates, which is fantastic. Um, my YouTube thumbnails, all that kind of stuff. Like it's just, it's just image editing uh, rather than, um, yeah, drawing and stuff. I'm do what I need a baby's first image editing. Me too! Me too. Exactly. And what I make seems to look effective. Like it seems to do the job, so. So many emotes. How am I get oh. ideas? We need ideas. I mean, I have ideas, but I don't know if they're good ideas. <laughs> I think so far our three follower emotes are really good. Like the the spreadsheet heart, the coas, and the the fiamma, fiammadin. I think they work really well for like they work here, but they don't really make much sense elsewhere. Would you prefer? And each and there is no wrong answer here. Would you prefer? Um. I'm not a paladin. Uh, correct. Would you prefer more emotes? Or a redesign of the, and more, like an expansion of the sub badges? Because at the moment they only go up to 12 months. And I'm having some thoughts about expanding that, because they can go up to eight years, which I haven't been streaming for eight years. Um, but it would mean that you'd get a new badge every six months once you got to the, so like it could be kind of fun. But which of those, or bits badges for cheering more. Cause that's something else that I can actually customize that I haven't. Um, the best one. That's a, that's a cheering. There's, I've got, that's the only cheer mote that I have. So, sorry, the, the bits, the bits tier emote. The next one is at one, uh, so that's a 1k. You need to cheer 1k bits total to be able to get the Fiamma guns emote. Um, but I've got another one I can unlock at 5k and then 10k, 25, 50, 75, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Um, but I wouldn't go that high just yet because no one could use them. Um, the only person who could isn't around, so that's fine. Uh, I need to get out of this. You seek a prize, eh? How about death? I reveled in your pain. You won't get far. Badges can wait a little more ammo. Okay. Bits badges take up slots from emotes. N what do you mean? It's an emote workload sort of issue. Well, no matter what I do, I'd have to pay for it. Um, badges tend to be recolors rather than an entire new design. Although bits badges could be... Um, because they have the different shapes, like the the, di the triangle and the diamond and all that kind of stuff, um, they could be entirely new designs. It would just depend on how much work would need to be done. And then, of course, the emote artist, Shiba, <clears throat> would uh, have to make a decision whether that would be charged as a new design or as a recolor. 
depending on how much work is needed. For example, the, the cherry moat, the new cherry moat, the purple one versus the green one, very little actual redesign was needed. It was just kind of change green to purple, add a bit of a gray, and done. So much less work, therefore usually charged at a lower rate. Not always, but that's up to, that's the artist's discretion, 100%. Um, so yeah, badges, like sub badges, would definitely be recolors. It'd be the same core design, it'd just change colors every, uh, every six months or so. Um, going on here? Are we just pulling too much or is... I don't know what's going on. Um... Uh, from Jesus fuck, I just remember what gift means. I mean, some years of gifting. Yeah, so, um, sub gift badges, the, the little gift, the little present, um, that, you will lose that badge if you have no active gifted subs. So for example, if you gift one sub today, you will get a purple one. And then when that person's, and you gift no more subs, when that person's gifted sub expires, you lose the badge. However, if you gift five subs later on after that, you get the badge back and it's for six rather than five because you've done six total lifetime. So the counter is lifetime, but if you don't have any active gifted subs, the badge will disappear. Does that make sense? Uh, I'll try to rephrase. If we get more bits badges, can we not have as many new emotes? Nope, totally different slots. I have X number of emote slots, and I can have X badges, and I can have X bits badges. They do not take up, it's all separate things, all completely separate. Um, the tuning in that dungeon is broken and a few others. Yeah, it's, this is the first one that's been actually messy. Um, but every time it has been messy, it's been an accidental pull of like three packs rather than one or two. So I'm thinking it might just be an oopsie and it's not, yeah. Cause beyond that, like every, every pack we pull, if it's just one pack, we come out of it completely full health. But if it's more than one pack, it annihilates us. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's cool. I, I learned that a few weeks back, exactly how they worked. Because I knew I knew they disappeared at times. Like I had got all that, but um, it was I, I learned fairly recently exactly how they actually worked. So that was cool. I remember testing that out for science. I mean, how's the time working going? Yeah, well, well, rough. How are you going? Welcome on in. Uh, I have purchased all of the Burning Crusade Time Walking collectibles now, as of today, which is a very good feeling. Knocked them all out. Uh, Seeker asks you to follow Fear on social media, and I, you know what, I also ask you to follow Fear on social media because it really does help. I'm looking to become a full-time content creator at some point. There's no deadline on it because, God, who the bloody hell knows when that kind of stuff can be viable. But if you would like it to be viable for me, uh, best way, best way to do it is to follow me on socials. More social media following means higher reach, means I'm more attractive to sponsors, potential sponsors. Uh, so, if that's something you'd like to help me with, exclamation socials in chat will get you a link to everything, or you can scroll down under the video player if you don't want to type, understandable. Um, underneath the video player, all the links are there too. Uh, too many melee in that dungeon is painful. Yeah, there's also that. I mean, we've got two melee and uh, uh, and the tank, obviously. Everyone else is ranged, but um, yeah, I don't know. Fifty-six uh, percent on a stream goal. Oof, super close. Getting there. Um, oh, I should be okay. Maybe we'll see. But so they come up. Brilliant. Wonderful. Uh, more sponsors, more potential discounts with affiliate programs. Well, hopefully it'll be actual sponsorships and not affiliate programs, because there's only so many links and codes I can plug before I sound like a TVN network shopping channel, which is not really my goal. Um, I mean, having a code that, like, it was like the step one thing, you know, they pay me in underpants. And then I promote a code, but it's not an affiliate code, and then I stop promoting that code 
when the contract finishes kind of thing. I think that's probably a better setup for me going forward. I mean, look, there are there are definitely some affiliate programs I would still absolutely join. But, um, yeah, when it becomes too many, it just sort of becomes awkward. Plus, that would also rely on you making a purchase for me to make income. I'd prefer to just get the income from the company directly. Uh, if eventually, honestly, not really viable right now, uh, but I'm I'm getting there. I'm working my way. Um, wet and fighty, but not as loud. That makes mine louder. Where's maybe if he's getting her own TV network? No, did no no. You know, like TVN, like the shopping shopping channel. You know what I mean. What brings you here? You know what I mean. Good luck, friend. Uh, okay, so that's Vivian completed. She has one, four, seven, five badgers. And we're gonna jump on Kira. Uh, buy now and get free steak knives. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, and she's fifty-two now. Okay, Vivian's fifty-two. Did I update that? No, I didn't. This is good for leveling. I mean, it's not. Amazing, but it's not terrible either. Uh, I like both ideas. Be great if someone like Logitech were able to see the impact of your influence. Oh yeah, I mean, like I'm already partnered with them, and they have sent me quite a bit of of uh, product, uh, and sent you guys quite a bit of product as well in terms of giveaways and stuff like that. It's it's freaking awesome. Um, very very thankful for that. Should be the next step on being an internet. I'm technically I have my own TV channel. You just have to access it through an internet smart TV, not a, uh, and it's not on 24/7. There's only certain times a day when it's live. That's in streamer just fear promoting things slap chop shopping network style. Oh god, shopping network by day, streamer by night. Oh lord. <sighs> when do you want to see what I want in the competition? Me too. Me too. They're still they're still promoting the gold one. So I maybe it hasn't closed yet. It's 2.40, Shiba must sleep his rest well, Shibs. Rest well. Okay, those stickers, pins, things, logic. I know, whatever you're sending, send it now. No days don't have pizza, beer, and chill. Fantastic, Raven, enjoy. Enjoy yourself. Uh, before I queue, I'm gonna get another drink. I'll be back. Um, because you arted like a hypocrite, don't call me out. Can confirm who put fear on TV, quite large. How's the quality when you've got me up there, another though? Another hydrate. Like, is it still half decent, or...? Does it look like trashola? Oh, Alright. Uh, hey, do you know if it's against the toss to sell UIs for subs? Which toss? Twitch or, um... Wow. I'm not too sure. I know that you can offer benefits for subscribers. So from a Twitch perspective, offering that as a benefit should be fine. Um, from Blizzard's perspective, you're not... So I don't think you're talking about selling an add-on. Um, selling add-ons is prohibited. You cannot ask for money in exchange for using an add-on. But if you are, if you are providing uh, your... For example, if you exported your LVI, um, if you if you exported your LVI LVI profile and added and offered it to subs in a sub only channel somewhere as a benefit, uh, I I know other streamers who do that, um, and I'm pretty sure that's okay. You can't sell LVI, but you can, I think I think, because the way Zygor gets around it, because Zygor is a subscription add on. However, the add on itself isn't a subscription. You can you can get the add on for free. You can download it, you install it, it's got a bunch of startup guides and stuff like that in it. But if you want more guides, there's a subscription. And that's how they get that's how they get around that. The add-on is totally free. You can even write your own Zygor guides and plug them into it and have it step through in-game. Totally easy to do. Well, not easy to do. You've got to learn their kind of language on how it steps through and stuff, but it's totally possible. You can 100 percent do it. Um Depending on which UI add-on you're basing your profiles on, they might get shitty with you because you're making money off their work because it's their add-on, etc. Um, but yeah, it's really going to heavily depend on that kind of stuff. I 
cannot tell you, I cannot, I'm not a lawyer. I cannot interpret the terms of service for you in a gray area like that. I can't, I'm, I'm not a lawyer. Uh, and lawyers are the ones who inter interpret Eula and Toss. Um, but looking at other examples, that doesn't mean just because they're doing it doesn't make it legal. I know it's not a legality issue kind of thing because it's not illegal, it's just against Eula, but I use it as a euphemism. Just because other people are doing it doesn't make it legal, uh, but that is how others have done it. Whether or not you want to risk yourself doing that is up to you. I Yeah, that's entirely up to you. That's all the information that I have. I cannot make that decision for you. Uh, same with Tomcats Tours, right? No. None of Tomcats needs to be purchased. You don't have to subscribe for anything, I don't believe. He's asking for um, he's asking for donations in order to survive. He's got a, like a donation goal for his bills each month sort of thing. Um, but I don't think it's necessary. It just asks, like, please consider supporting me if you enjoy my add-on add -on kind of thing. Uh, don't some World First teams have add-ons, etc. as benefits for paid subs to their websites? Uh, no, they can't. That would be against TOS. Um, they will have potentially add-on profiles. Like you have in you you have LVUI already. Here's the code, stick it into your LVUI and it'll make your UI look the way we have it, kind of thing. That's different. That's not selling an add-on, that's selling a profile. Um, I think they do it the same way as Igor. If it's the settings, it may be okay. Is Fear a lawyer? No. Uh, I'll field that one. No. Ah, uh, yeah, it's separate from, say, LVY, etc. It's own add-on. Uh, I... Uh, assistant accounts are great to help the person they work for with accounting there generally, and definitely the case of fear, not lawyers. Correct. I'm an assistant accountant in my day job. Um, I'm not a lawyer, so I cannot interpret any EULA end user license agreement. I cannot interpret any TOS terms of service. Uh, all I can do is read it and make edu and you know make educated guesses. After having read it, that is me educating myself, and then I can you know do what I believe is along with those rules. Um, but I, I can't tell you that unfortunately. You'd have to go and read it yourself and make your own educated guess decision type deal. Uh, that's because interesting explanation makes sense though. So, yeah, so that is how other people have done things. I know streamers who offer LVY profiles as a benefit to their subscribers. I know that Zygor offers the benefit of additional guides to people who sub. I sub. Um, I, I am subscribed to Zygor for said extra guides, but um, if those people got smacked down and banned from the game, then there you go. But um, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. I can't answer that for you. Yeah. Also, I take exactly zero responsibility for your account in this situation. All I've done is give you my interpretation. Uh, I will not be held responsible if you are banned from Twitch or Blizzard or wherever. I'm going to replace my drink. I'll be back in a second. Run away, little girl. Run away. I've returned! Did you like my little disclaimer there? I will not be held responsible. <laughs> Gotta protect your ass. Gotta protect yourself. Oh dear. Um, as with any online forum, unless in a binding contract with the asking party, no professional lawyer, doctor, therapist should provide uh, advice without knowing intimate details of a situation being paid for such. Uh, general thoughts is one thing, advice dangerous. I mean, yeah, you can absolutely pay somebody for their advice and, and their input and that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, depending on this, this is the other thing though. Like, 
if if you're expecting to make a crap ton of money from doing something like this, it's absolutely worth having a contract lawyer specifically. Just because you're a lawyer doesn't mean you're good at everything in terms of law. Like it's it's very it's such a broad field that it is very specific what what lawyers are what they do. Um, I've had a contract lawyer. I've engaged a contract lawyer to read and summarize a contract for me. They gave me incredible advice, which I then took back to the person who wrote the contract to say, hi, no, here is the changes. <laughs> so um, contract lawyers are invaluable, especially if you are expecting to make a fair bit of money from something like this. Um, ideally, it's something you do before, like you, you talk to the contract lawyer prior to uh, doing this stuff. Um, but keep in mind that even then, lawyers are not infallible. And if, for example, I had this this contract lawyer of mine tell me this six this this section of the contract says you'll get this, and then I don't get that, and I say, hey, you're in violation of the contract, and then their lawyer talks to my lawyer, and they had two different interpretations of what that contract meant. And neither of them can agree because they're both very, very set in what that part of the contract says. So they say, I didn't have to get that. Mine says, I did have to get that. They eventually go to court where they present, here is the exact clause in the, in the contract. Here is what I think it says. Here is what I think it says. And then the judge makes a determination on who is correct. And that is very expensive. So ideally, you want to sort all that shit out before you sign it. Uh, but, you know, it, it really does heavily depend on, you know, this, this contract that I was looking at um, wasn't going to be super duper lucrative right there and then, but moving down in the future, like what their plans were for, you know, this is what this is going to do, and then at the end of this, we're looking at doing this and this and this, and depending on how this goes, we might want you involved in this. Um, based on that, it could have been incredibly lucrative. Um, it's still being discussed, which is why I'm being exceptionally vague. Um, it's still, yeah, it's, it's just kind of a thing. Um, so yeah, that's why I was like, no, this is I this this could be huge. This could be really huge. I this is what I need to do now. I need to talk to somebody now, uh, and so I did. I did. But uh, yeah, you just got to kind of think about like if I'm interpreting this wrong, what are the consequences, and are those consequences worth it? Um, if it's something like small. Um, fear's not liable. Uh, obviously not so dramatic in this situation where a general question is being asked and thoughts are being sought. Of course, but because it is a general question about the interpretation of a legal document, that's why they're so complicated to read, because it's a goddamn legal document, I need to make it very clear that I am not a lawyer of any kind. Uh, best place to find out if any add-ons are against the toss is to check the blue post on the WoW forums. The dev team has confirmed what is allowed and what not. Uh, and they keep that info up to date. Brilliant. Um, I'm not sure, like, definitely go find that. Absolutely, Code. And if you've got a, a link to it or something, that'd be awesome. But uh, it really, like, they may not have covered every potential situation. So then the question happens, like, if if they haven't covered what you're specifically thinking of, and not, not just, oh, they said this thing that's kind of close, but I want to do it very, very slightly differently so it might be okay. No then it's not okay. If it's on the list of no's, but it's a little bit different, it's a no. <laughs> but um, yeah, if it's substantially different from anything that they've listed, you can reach out. Like, reach out and ask. I know Blizzard ANZ are exceptionally responsive to people who tweet at them with like valid questions and stuff like that. Um, they may direct you to open a ticket or something, but that's that's okay too. Like. Tickets do eventually, they might take a little while, but tickets do eventually get answered. Um, and if they don't give you a great answer, you can reopen it and say, hey, this is still not answering my question or whatever, ask more questions, etc. Yeah. Uh, greatest advice is to just join the default UI master race, Imo. I am really looking forward to seeing exactly how customizable it's going to be in Dragonflight. Because if I could drop LVI 
Oh my god, LVY is a huge add-on. It chews through memory. Like it's it's really it's really quite chunky. It like it honestly is. Um, and if I could have stuff the way I want it with the default UI, I absolutely would. So I will be playing a lot with that when Dragonflight hits, or even when patch 10.0 hits. If it, I'm assuming it'll come with with the pre-patch. But we'll only one way to find out, and that's to wait and see. Uh, so yeah, I'll I'll definitely be looking there. It's not as pretty or the best used default UI. I'm not biased, I swear. <clears throat> uh, arbitration clauses, yep. Absolutely. Discord, yeah. I don't my response to it. Oh, okay, there you go. Uh, did you see they've changed the design on the S4 mount? Uh, no, because I didn't know there was a design for the S4 mount to begin with. I, I don't, I haven't been looking at that kind of stuff. I tend to avoid stuff about patches that are on their way uh just because i like oh god it's just full of toxic crap um so it's just full of angry people but uh also i don't really have the time um some stuff i avoid because i don't want spoilers but i know that there's no story coming in uh 925 but um i guess it's just habit yeah i don't tend to really look at that stuff too much but I'm sure I'll want it regardless. Thank you very much for dinner. I You're appreciate welcome. it greatly. Bubble tea is almost ready. Ah, oh, thank you. I have a drum. You do. Well done. I'm not going to beat my drum because it's probably very annoying. And super high pitched the microphone too, because it's that like weird plasticky sound. That's great. To the bubble tea. Um, <laughs> indeed. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, dear, you guys. Oh, it's like you had sushi pretty soon. You didn't have it ruined by a four-year-old. I didn't. There are no four-year-olds here. It also wasn't chicken. It was raw salmon. So I don't know how your four-year-old would feel about raw salmon. Um, though, knowing most four-year-olds, they'd probably put it in their mouth, spit it on the floor, and then go, yuck! And then you'd still be left with, like, a half-chewed piece of fish and a really sad-looking pile of rice and seaweed. So <laughs> no, go on, drummer boy. <laughs> Oh dear. That? Yeah, they chew it up and spit it out? Perfect. Love that for you. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're going to have some sushi uh, in Melbourne at PAX because the children can't ruin it. Um, Jazz is the sweetest. Jazz is awesome. Truly awesome. Of course. As soon as I go put food in my mouth and start a bloody Stream Raiders battle. On a Saturday? No. I wake up, I grab a croissant and a chai that I can walk and eat and drink. And then I get something probably cheap from the convention center, have lunch on the lawn, and then grab takeout, go back to the hotel, put it in my face, and then pass out. <laughs> Saturday is the big day. 9 till 11, bitches. 9 a.m. till 11 p.m. And you bet your ass I'll be there the whole day. Christian. And Seeker. I mean, it's still Seeker's gonna be there on the Saturday. So that's like, I would imagine considering that she's only going for one day, she's probably gonna wanna do the same thing. Uh, Add Ducks, Meaty, Rasta, Wall, Zam, Silver, Zelk, and Death. Congratulations to all of you on your apprenticeship. Well done. Uh, chai's are amazing. Agreed. I usually go soy chai because my belly doesn't like milk. Um, and because I actually quite like the sort of slightly nutty flavor you get from soy milk, it goes really well with the spices of a chai, in my opinion. Um, I, I quite like it, like, a lot. Hello, Kraz! Long time worker, first time speaker. Ooh, shit. Hope you're doing wonderfully well. We're going token chest. Sorry, I'm in a time walking uh, dungeon, and I'm trying not to be shit and get kicked. Um, <laughs> trying. 
succeeding so far, but uh, we'll see how we go. Buster? Hmm, Buster. Uh, wait, 11 p.m. Gods, that's late. Nah. Um, so the final, um, there's only one panel that goes that late and it's the adults only panel. Um, it usually, the adults only panel usually starts around 10. I, like, I, th I could have sworn one year it went 10.30 to 11.30, but I, I could be wrong. Um, but it's, yeah, it's a bunch of usually comedian-y type people up on stage. Um, the last one I remember really well was a dating, um, like it was a dating game. They played a dating sim, um, but we played it. Like it was a panel of a bunch of them up there actually doing the stuff and encouraging things, but we kind of yelled what we wanted to happen and then they did it. Um, and they had three different members of the order. Like we had to draw your date and it got like one section, second section, third section. And so each, they got three people from the audience to come up and draw each section. And it was like, it was just, it was phenomenal. I, I cried, I, I, I laughed so hard I cried. Uh, it, my belly hurt. I felt like I'd done an ab workout the next day because of how much I had belly laughed. It was so good. It's really worth it. If you can make it, it's so worth it. Uh, and then there was another one one year, I think they did pirate shanties. Um, so it was a sing-along. It was a one hour panel of just singing along to pirate shanties. Like, <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. it, yeah. It's, it's one of those ones that's like not going to be super important information or whatever, but it's just so much fun to attend and it's always packed to the rafters. It's always totally packed. Um. Tonight, I mean tonight. Brilliant. Put up to draw a course century tentacles. You did. You did. But yeah, it was uh good shit. Good shit. I like they don't usually release the panels until like week of kind of thing, which I get it, you know, wanting to finalise people and all that kind of stuff, and not if you if you finalise a panel six months out what's the chance that something's going to come up and they're not going to be able to attend or whatever, so they do leave it quite late to release it. And even when they do release it, they'll still have some slots that are marked as TBA. What are we releasing? Uh, I have the bubble key. Yay! Um, the, why are you releasing it? Um, Release the, from my hand into your hand. Brilliant, okay. The panel listings for PAX. I was saying that uh, Saturday goes from 9am to 11pm, and they were like, what? Um, but yeah, it's because of the adults only panel. Yeah, good shit. Hi. Hi, thank you so much for the bubble tea. I do believe it's passion fruit flavor. No time for slumber. Join the fight. Sorry? Yeah. No time for slumber. Join the fight. Uh, crud, that's Jass. He's the head moderator. Might not want to uh, piss him off. <laughs> We're under attack. <sighs> Is it pineapple? Not pineapple, pardon. Passion fruit green tea with coconut jelly. Oh, so tasty. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god. Is there to change my plans through packs? No, not at all. Um, the question actually came up. Like, it's okay. Um, it's alright. Next year, Kraz. You'll come next year. Packs 23. What is bubble tea? Heckin' delicious. It's tea. You start with a base of tea. It can be green or black tea. I mean, some even I've had like oolong tea and stuff like that as well. So you start with tea uh, and then you add uh, usually like syrups or powders that are flavored. So this one has uh, passion fruit syrup in it to flavor it to passion fruit. Um, and then I'm trying to, guys. Um, and then you'll often add some kind of sweetener. This one has fructose, but you can obviously leave that out depending on um, like whether or not you actually want it to be super sweet. There is some sweetness from the powder or the um, the 
syrup as well, but then you can add extra sweetness if you so desire. Uh, you can add creamer for, um, like powdered creamer for milk teas. And then you add the topping. Uh, and so the topping sinks to the bottom because of course it does. Um, you can get bits of like coconut jelly that are flavored in different ways. You get tapioca pearls, like the really super popular one. They're literally just made of tapioca. Um, and so they're, they're super tasty, very chewy. They have all the different toppings have different textures. Uh, you've got popping pearls that you can kind of smash against the roof of your mouth and they like pop and there's a syrup, like a flavored syrup, fruit syrup in there. Um, aloe vera jelly. Um, all sorts of magnificent additions <laughs> that you can have. Uh, and it's a sweet drink and it's delicious. Usually best served cold, but you can get some of them warm, which are fantastic in winter. Like I didn't, I never thought that a hot, sweet, fruity drink would be like, okay. But in the, the like bitter cold of winter, they're fantastic, like so good. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm also an affiliate of the Bubble Tea Club which is a supplier in Melbourne that sells kits so you can make your own bubble tea at home. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than buying it from like a bubble tea cafe or store and uh, you can make it at home. You can make it in your pajamas at 3am if you really wanted to when all the bubble tea stores are closed. Uh, <laughs> uh, so if you use code FIAMA, you get 5% off your order and I get some commission, obviously. That's how affiliate programs usually work. And they deliver to Australia, New Zealand, the United States, and Canada. They're working on the UK at the moment, but there's some logistic issues in there that they're trying to figure out if it's viable or not. Um. Take it for lurking, huh? Ditch your bread, dad, and brother for us. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be so you've been done. I watched the camera so much. I don't get to see Leeds United again, though. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I think you made the right choice given your, like, stuff, Kraz. Like, given your interests and things, I think you made the right decision. Now that PAX is back, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. In fact, Melbourne have recently got a second um, video game convention style thing. Um, Dreamhack is at the start of September. Uh, so I will not be going to that, but, um, you know, we'll see. Maybe when I move down there. I'm just used to working busy, I feel like Trump is a maybe, or maybe I'm misremembering. It happens roughly once a year. Maybe you see which one's changed, I think I could have gone to PAX. Um, I actually think it was a no, and it was Rail talking about it with Chad. So where is PAX? And I said not in Wollongong. No, it is definitely not in Wollongong. It is in Melbourne. Yeah. Uh, Fia, did you need a pocket tank? We're going to set my halftime walking set, run a bunch tonight. Uh, yeah, I do still have a couple more to go. Um, after, oh, after this one I have one more to do, but then I was going to do some leveling. And I don't, I think leveling, like, traditionally is going to be faster than leveling like this, but I don't know. I'm, I do have a lot of tunes that are, like, this far off 51, so it might be worth it. It might be worth going through and doing those tunes. Uh, but yeah, I'm absolutely going to do at least one more, so I'd love a tank, sure. Could be DPS. Apparently my, my quick join isn't working tonight, which is really odd, but we'll... Yeah, oh well. It'll be fast, so the offer is still there. That's alright, I think grabbing like a level on a bunch of tunes might be a good idea. Um, it'd definitely make it easier to get through Threads of Fate without like ending up at 59 with nothing left to do, you know? Plus, I did say I'd do time walking tonight. And more badges means, like, more things later. <laughs> Until he's dead. Hmm. You might not be a good raider, Jazz. You can be a raider without being a good raider. Hey, Extreme, how are you going today? Welcome on in. This is too in an age. Didn't say good. Good, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you, Extreme. Thank you for asking. I'm doing some BC time walking and I bought all of the rewards from the BC time walking vendor now. I'm done. Nothing left to buy from them, which is a really great feeling. I 
It just went pro I mean, potentially. To grab Tass. I don't know what that means, but oh well. NPC still being fixed three weeks now. I'm done. Oh no, Extreme. I'm so sorry to hear that. What do you know what was wrong with it? Like, what's taking through? Is it waiting for a replacement part or something? Like, what's going on? Should have to to DPS. Actually, just to confirm the game, let you play DPS. Rollers tank spec. Um, in, in, like, raids and shit, absolutely. Uh, in dungeons, not sure. It used to, it used to set your spec when you zoned in to make you play that to not screw over your group, but I don't know if it still does that or not. But yeah, in things like raids, oh, hell yeah, but I'm just not sure in cute dungeons. Everything literally killed it, blue screen, couldn't find a screen at all. Oh dear. So essentially you'll get it, why not just get a new PC if you can't, like, if everything's broken and they have to, like, fix everything. Surely that's new Boy, PC time. Probably gonna cost you more to get it repaired than to buy a new PC as well. Goodness gracious. I'm just tearing aggro off the boss is a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when you're in tank spec, like when you're in prot, you generate naturally more threat. So there is always the risk that you pull threat off the boss off the actual tanks, which can screw your raid team completely. Um only for Christmas. Still under warranty. Oh, thank god for that. Look at you go. I mean, still not great. But hey, <laughs> something breaking under warranty is so rare. That's that's a good thing. If it had to break, now is the time for it to break. Well, I'm glad to hear that at least it's being covered that way. That's good. And some keys to show kind of get flipped by guild alts while going on. Missing WoW like crazy though? I can imagine. I can imagine. Look, when I'm choosing to take a break for a couple days or whatever to work to focus on something else, that's fine. But when someone else is telling me I have to take a break, like when we had the floods here in Brisbane and I had like no power for a week, yeah, no, that was, um, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> sure, Batty can confirm. We went on so many walks, there was nothing else to do. Not to feel the time. Oh, brilliant. Lovely to hear. Well, I hope you're enjoying it. Hmm, went crazy. Do you want me to take you to a good food place in Brisbane, or do you want to go to a shit food place in Brisbane? <laughs> Mm, that's what I thought. We let you live. We will not let you live. Oh. Um. Uh. Apologies, Kraz. I probably shouldn't have outed you like that. Um. Sometimes people like to travel in private. I shouldn't have, uh. My bad. Sorry about that. Be dead, God, dead. Oh, okay. Still shouldn't have checked. Still should have checked first, but I'm I'm glad it's okay. Why am I tanking? This doesn't make any sense to me. You kill the next one. I was act like I was literally tanking though. That's um this interesting. Your fault. I hate you. Um 
might be a little more command. I couldn't inspect from there, but um, no, brewmaster. My Felguard was dead, but then why was my Felguard tanking? Like... Um... It's a chip Um... Hello, Jazz. So we've slowed down on the stream goal. We have. We have. It's probably because everyone's busy time walking. <laughs> and they haven't been paying much attention. <clears throat> but yes, definitely. Contribute to stream goal. We need to get to 67% minimum today to be on track. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Just chases from behind and uh yep. 60k I can dump in. Unfortunately you can't dump it in, it's gotta be max of 2k per stream. And it's designed so that one person can't complete the whole thing. It's gotta be a community effort. Which I like. It makes sense. Oh, excuse me. Yep. Alexander Chipin, indeed. Indeed. Yeah, no, I do I do quite like the feature, but it's uh yeah, can be a little bit I am called Blade Fist for a reason. Confusing. As you will see. But yeah, like I mean, I don't know, like lurkers if you're if you're hanging out and you've got some embers, the channel points underneath the chat box. Click click the little campfire. Click the banner that says Toy Hunting Stream, and then you can contribute up to 2,000 or any anywhere thereof. Um, if you would like to help with that. Good lord. Uh, and also, while you're here clicking things on the page, um, you should also scroll under the channel and <laughs> go check me out on socials. And throw me a follow there as well, because as ridiculous as it sounds, it actually helps. Plus, we are at 8,000. 994 Twitch followers. We are six away from the big 9k. So if that's something you'd like to help with, you can smack that follow button. There are no follow alerts. You will not get called out. Your name will not be posted by the bot or anything like that. It is a lurker safe stream for follows. Uh, the lights behind me will go purple but it will not call you out. <laughs> so if that was something you're afraid of, you don't have to worry about that. I just hit that, see, like that. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Uh, it says 9K, yep, because it rounds up. I can see on mine, it says 8,994. It takes a little bit to update when you get a new one. Uh, nope. Um, I am leaving the instance group, thank you. Stream. Yay for all of the contributions. Amazing. And yes, tantalizingly teasing an exciting announcement. Um, I just got hair everywhere. It's 
history following. Well, we're now on 8,996, so thank you very much. Much appreciated. Why does it still say I don't have all of those things? Yeah, ATT needs to, like, refresh. Nano leaf. Yes, nano leaf panels. How long did that take to set up? Not too long, uh, but it does cost. The program that does it has a subscription. Um, sticking them on the wall and then pairing them with the Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff did take a little while. And then setting up all the events that I wanted to happen and stuff, that did take a while. And the program that does that, that links this to Twitch, um, it has a subscription fee. I'm sure there are probably ones that do it for free, but um, uh, the ones that I could find were crap. <laughs> so I went and paid for one. Uh, but uh, people have actually pushed buttons to make them change colors. So it's um, it like even even dropping a resub, they go, oh my God, that's so cool. And then like there'll be a couple, like a chain of resubs or whatever to, yeah, it's, it's nice. <laughs> Comes out of my Twitch income. I make enough to justify paying for a thing that does things. Um, all right. So this tune now has one, two, three, zero. Badgers. And he's green. Um, and she also hit 53. 53. Holy gosh, 53. Uh, okay, who's next? Kita. All right, so I'm about to queue up on another one if people want to join me. Two more to hit 9k. Uh, four. Eight, nine, nine, six. Four more fellows. Walking dungeon. <clears throat> I am queued. I don't know why I'm not in quick join, but you can find me on your friends list. Tasty. <clears throat> Correct. I wonder who is closest to the next ding. Six, forty six, thirty eight. Okay, so that'll all go down. Ninety nine. Look at all these ninety nines. They're all like so bloody close. That horde side. Ninety five. Ninety one. Ninety four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One eighty six. Golly gosh. I reckon I can pick tunes carefully enough 
that every tune I do after this one gets a ding out of it. <laughs> I've already done one on Repressly. I haven't done one on Benedicta. I can do Benedicta next. 91%. She'll absolutely top over to 54. Right now, bum 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 bum. <laughs> ah, dearie me. All in? Oh gosh. I mean, you can you can change your rate amount afterwards, I think. I just don't know if it's additive or like replacementive. Oh, good lord. Okay. Ah, wrong. Ah, <laughs> it must be additive. No, no, as in if you go in again. Yeah, if you go in again, it'll be it'll be additive. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, well, that's odd. Why did it not tell you that's Second break amount. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. You we used to be able to do that though. That's really odd. Oh well. Oh well. You do yeah, you didn't add like you did a coins command the second round, K, not a raid command. You you did realise that, yeah? I think I thought it was intentional that you were checking, but um <laughs> Um, if you're still there, Kraz, did you want in for a time walking dungeon? Because I'm in queue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Just check in, Kay. Just check in. I didn't want to, like, call you out like, you're doing it wrong. But um, also wanted to just make sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Five trivia questions. Amazing, dude. Thank you so much. So awesome of you. Maybe we do trivia Tuesdays. We do one a week. Because I can schedule stories. And then it, like, I can record it and then it'll ping me to, like, post it. Yep. What the lady? Yes, laughing with. Absolutely. For sure. Very tired brain because Friday. Oh, okay. I would have the same except I took a day off. So, like, I do feel quite refreshed because of the day off. Oh, dear. And because of how short my to-do list currently is. I mean, more adds to it every day. Because I have like daily tasks and weekly tasks and all that kind of stuff, but it does feel really good to have at least kind of caught up to the point. I did some cross stitching today, like you know, nice feeling. Oh, seat gun. That sucks. But like you took a week off. Honestly, with the amount of work I got done, it feels like I took a week off too. I'm not gonna lie. Do time working on DPS, come third on DPS. Do time working on DK tank, come first on DPS. DK tanks are a little bit broken, aren't they, Saint? Just a touch. DK, as we like to say here, DK bullshit go. <laughs> Okay. Ah, oh, wicked! Come with the pluses over 1400. Nice. Two more wrong answers though, but you can add those if you want. Okay, okay. I can figure that out. <laughs> that was a Pidgey, Seiko. It shouldn't be reading them in order. It should be randomizing. No. Mm. Well done, dude. What a 
the chances. Uh, one in however many coins I have. <laughs> Remember what that was about? Um, I'm pretty sure we cleaned out the car uh, cleaned out the fridge and we found carrots that were foldy, and so we got rid of them because that's not you don't want to eat foldy carrots. Yeah. <clears throat> that sounds like something I'd do. These Q times. Do we have a healer who wants to jump in? I think it's healer Qs at the moment. I'm <laughs> saving up. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Wasting on quotes. It's not a waste. I, I understand what you're saying, but it's not a, it's not a waste. <clears throat> Everything other than stream goals. I have to check my screen. I'm so sorry, Saint. I'm so, I, I know. I'm sorry. Just it goes in, enough to get me just in arrears. Oh dear. Oh dear. Mm. Death Seeker add fade. Rastafari and silver. Congratulations to you on your bonus shit. <clears throat> since she became a mod. Uh, yeah, I think she has. I think she went with Ethereal? Maybe Cathedral? I can't remember exactly, but I believe that she has. But there you go, Sika. Your turn. <clears throat> cathedral? Is that your choice or are you reminding me? Both? Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. There we go. Start the timer. Keep up to the group so I don't get kicked. <clears throat> Place another archer. How'd that sound? So bright and happy. Sing us your finest tune. Uh, do I do anything that won't get me DMCA'd? <laughs> uh, Alright, I needed to do quests because... Oop. Get four kills. I reckon I can do that. Yeah, er, yeah, correct. That is indeed my finest tune. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Oh, not a song I'm familiar with, but different. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Doop. Thank you. That's so kind of you. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Seeker. Oh, goodness. I'm afraid I would butcher it. I've had no warm up, and my throat is coated with bubble tea and steak. It's the worst bit when you know you can hit a note, but like your body won't let you. Because it's like, nah. You've had food or drink lately. Screw you. It's like, ugh. God damn it. No, there needs to be pay money to do a thing on the stream. See, this is the issue. 
It's a slippery fucking slope. Especially as a female on the internet. When you start getting requests that you shouldn't have to see and all that kind of stuff, it's, yeah. Yeah. Any danger? Yeah. Yeah, look, there are some people who absolutely get away with it and it works really well for them and all that kind of stuff. I just, I mean, I've had stuff, like, I've had suggestions and requests without there being money involved and I don't really want to encourage that. Uh, but each, like, each their own. Fuck, if they can make money from it, then by all means go for it. But, uh, yeah, just not really my cup of tea. But like, they're not live, clearly. Shoe on head, but I'm wearing shoes. Such a shame, people are pigs. Agreed. They ruin it for everyone. Oh, what is... Oh, I, my pet died. Oops. Majority of the people in the world are great. Look, I'd like to think so. Shame send ruin it for others. Yeah. Friendly feet and teeth. <laughs> God. Ah. Uh. Golly gosh. Golly gosh. <gasps> Loza! 17 months. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the resub. How are you, lovely? What is happening? Good, so glad to hear it. Lovely, yeah! <laughs> ah, so my new job! Oh, fantastic, congratulations! I hope it's absolutely smashing. Keyboards is no seeker. Koala Tronals just says no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can play it with biddies if you want, but uh. You're working Ashes makeup? No! It is quite close though, isn't it? Um, this is Thundering August Cloud Serpent. It looks like... Big for your pitiful life. This. Run, coward. Run, run. <clears throat> so I've got, you might be able to see just a little bit over like my cheeks. I've, or like, almost kind of like freckles. Um, I've got like... So I've got like the red and it fades to orange and then yellow and then there's like cream on my lids for the, the pointy bits in the tail and then yeah i've got the like the thunder kind of yep <laughs> i guess a new job yes absolutely doesn't look like someone's saving up for a sound redeemer <laughs> oh that's hilarious we're at 184k on the toy hunting. 61%! <gasps> Guys, we're so close! You gotta get to 67. We're 6% away from staying on target for the stream challenge goal. If you haven't contributed already, campfire, little purple campfire under chat. Oh, that's actually something else that like design for yeah, anyway. Uh, little purple, little purple campfire under the chat box. Um, and then the banner. That says toy hunting stream, and then contribute. You can do up to 2k in a single stream. Or any any amount up to that if you don't have 2k available. Totally fine. <clears throat> 70. 70. Oh, I mean, yes, I know you wanted to 70, but it's a minimum of 67 to stay on target. 
We are both not wrong. <laughs> ah, Saint, thank you for your contribution. I mean, this is only if you want me to hunt toys next month. You know, totally fine if you don't want me to. You find something else to do. quite a productive stream today. I'm pretty happy with this. Ooh, thrown wish list. I've been wondering if I should clean out a few things because it's getting kind of large. I'm getting so many, like, oh my god, so many suggestions for gifts and stuff and they're so cute! Oh my god, the, like, the slogan t-shirts and stuff are freaking adorable. And so I've been adding them, but I think I need to maybe cut it down a little bit because it's uh it's getting it's getting there um if i can choose to see if it doesn't fly down a baby with sticks i mean look i mean look oh dear we've we done 15 tunes holy cows damn well done look at you smashing it my q times have been quite long uh i think that's kind of I mean, plus the whole switching tunes just to buy rewards and stuff is, is also a thing. It's actually a new thing. Oh my god, it is. Holy cow, that was a new transmog. I'll take it. <clears throat> mm, so close, but yet so far. Toy hunting stream. Yes! ATT, mine, which long to also started early. Fair. Totally fair. I have no sticks. Are you sure about that, Seeker? Do, 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 the, do the squids have anything that could resemble sticks? Yet? Ah! <laughs> Even better. That's hilarious. <laughs> Start trying. I mean, you have a sword. Does a sword count as a sharp stick? Yes? Okay, perfect. There we go. The sharpest of sticks. Love it. What about, like, a pole arm, though? Wouldn't that be kind of... It's more sticky. Fear has guns. I'm straight. Stick with a pointy bit on the end, fair. No, except for my vernaculars are owner referring to squids. Well, that's how you refer to them, so it only feels appropriate to refer to your children as squids. I don't use it when referring to anybody else's children, just yours, because you, like, you know what I mean? The whole, um, uh, it's, it's a respect thing. It's like if, if somebody uses, like, she, her to refer to themselves, then it is respectful to use that to refer to them as well. Or if someone says, you know, please call me Fear, then like, sure. So if you call them squids, it, it makes sense to refer to them as squids myself. Does that make sense? It feels like a sign of respect from my end. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but it's what it feels like. <laughs> but yeah, definitely not, not with, uh, uh, I don't believe I've used that with anybody else's children. Because I feel like if, if I started referring to somebody's children as, as sea animals, they might get upset with me. <laughs> Depending. So sheeps did a what? Yep. I got confused. I, I got confused the first time you said it, but then it made sense. So I was like, yep, okay, done. Minor kidlets, Mr. Five and Mr. Seven. Nicola Merrillburg called her kids sprogs, which apparently a quite Scottish term. I've heard that as well. Um, not sure. I, it could be Scottish, or it could be generally like that area of the world. Um, but yeah, I've heard it as well. Um, 
Always keen to keep my gentleness. Uh, but they are the same ages. Yeah, they go. Uh, not in day-to-day -day life, just internet. Yeah, of course. Oh, absolutely. Um, and I, I absolutely understand that. Like, um, uh, my if, if I do eventually have children, uh, you will never see them. You may see the backs of their heads, possibly. That's it. Why am I tanking again? Oh, is it like a, it's a, is it a thing? It is, it's a focus thing. That's why I was tanking. It's a focus thing, uh, ability, it must be. Cause he says me not like this one. So that sounds like a focus ability to me. That's fine, I stayed alive this time and that makes me happy. But yeah, no, um, there will be no photographs or videos of my children being posted fucking anywhere. They will not be on stream. I will not use names for them. No. They, like, there might be a, a like, even, even saying, like, a mini fear tends to, you know, potentially people can extrapolate gender from that. So it's, um, yeah. No. Not happening. It's just too dangerous. Especially, like, maybe for your everyday person, not quite as dangerous. I mean, you're, you're still risking that kind of stuff being picked up by the absolute wrong kind of goddamn person. Um, you would be surprised and disgusted at how such innocent photographs can be taken by the wrong kind of people. But especially given that I put myself on the internet by choice, they can't make that choice. They're, they're too young to give consent. Yes, I, I would be giving consent as their parent for like medical procedures and stuff like that. Um, but I don't believe that that consents to social media. Baby uh, it extends to, to social da, media. Da, da, baby tune, na, 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 na. I could refer to them as like IRL baby tunes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like I might, you know, if it's if it's the kind of case where there's like a bouncer down there, and, like you know the the baby bouncers to kind of keep them close by or whatever. But I would have a button to turn off the camera if I needed to like pick them up or something. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely not. Um, I know the kind of stuff that people have used my photos for. I know the kind of horrible things that people have sent me. Uh, like hell, am I going to expose my children to that? No. Uh, I won't. I probably won't even send. Like maybe, maybe send images to family members and stuff like that privately. Uh, but I would be more likely to go and have them printed. Uh, and, uh, or like on a, on a, uh, SD card and mailed or something like that rather than sending them via the internet. It's just not worth it. Ours is the true horde, the only horde. Mm, it's a fixate run, but I want to mash buttons and kill things. Um. I just need to know something the day, Mr. Seven. Instead of using his name, that's cute. That's cute. Uh, these are my sea cucumbers. Definitely has a different ring. <laughs> you can probably refer to kids as dolphins or something, and maybe get away with it. Oh, golly, it's probably something very different to me. Taken aback initially, but yeah, did a double take. I mean, leads to kids, so I guess it works. Oh lord. Oh dear. Oh dear. We we're still in combat. Mm, no. Um. <clears throat> uh, you missed for me as well. I also have not been online apart from my other in law putting a pick up without consent on day first was born. Yeah, no. I will be making clear to everybody involved from, you know. By the way, I'm pregnant. You will never post photograph. I mean, I've had that conversation with my mum already because there is a few things that she shares from like family friends and stuff like that. Um, and I've made it very clear, like anytime she sent me something, it's been like, oh, that's so adorable. You know, if I ever have kids, you will not be allowed to do this, right? But she knows what I've been through. She knows what like the harassment and the, the all that kind of stuff that I've gone through from my, I'm in a very different position to most people. I'm putting myself out here willingly, but any, any offspring I might have would not be. Um, I will absolutely take photos and I will keep them and all that kind of stuff. And if when they reach, you know, a certain age and they want to have their social media and stuff, if they want to have childhood photos of them, it's theirs. They're photos of them. It is their consent whether or not they share them from their profile. 
uh, but they will absolutely be getting one hell of an education on uh, internet safety and all that kind of crap because good god good god it's dangerous yeah. especially with me in the position that I am and hopefully I'm in an even bigger and better position uh, at that point in my life but um, yeah no way too dangerous way too dangerous um Hawkeye I'm gonna switch ooh no I'm not this is exciting I'm gonna make a purchase I have enough but this is one of the ones that needed to get to a certain point and I now have enough badges to make the purchase I wanted to make uh, thing one and thing two, I was streaming. Oh, I would have been two seeker. You can jump on, like, as soon as you see it, I mean, you can ask them to take it down, obviously, but you can also report the image um, as, like, you know, this is a non-consensual photo. Or, I mean, I don't know how long ago it was, and I don't know if Facebook can do that, could do that then. But now, if there's a photo that's been posted and it's a view or a, dis like, or a, um, what's it, that, um, uh, like, a dependent that's not, like, it's been posted without consent, you can have Facebook take it down. Um, yeah, so that's, <laughs> um, I would, I would be reporting it and then messaging them to say, you did not have consent to post this. I have reported it as a non-consensual photo. Please take it down immediately. Uh, but yeah. Picture of Lee always says the skittish affix, two-headed okabozzi, yeah. Her friends, who refer to their kids that way. Yep. Lee, what is such in their friends and family group chat? These are my baby tunes. I'm sending them out to level. <laughs> Uh, grandparents do weird shit like photos of their grandchildren as the profile pics. Yeah, not not okay. I mean, I understand that it's a way of showing love, but um, they're often also at a point where they don't understand just how dangerous it can be. Um, I'm pretty lucky that, uh, like, most of the people involved in my life are pretty net savvy. Um, like, my father would never do anything without my consent, 100%. Um, and he'd, he'd probably go even further than I would uh, in terms of trying to keep them safe and stuff. I just got the jar of sun warmed scent, so that's what I wanted to do. Um, that's done! Uh, so I'm going to jump onto Benedica. Um, Mum would probably get a little bit frustrated and ask, can I please send it in this private group chat? No, because the people you are sending it to are your friends who are not going to, they're going to think I'm overreacting. No. <laughs> oh, it's fine. No one's going to see it. It's a private post. No! No, you do not have consent. Um, but yeah, I like, it's it's probably gonna be the rule of, you know, like I, I'll give mum a photo and she can have it on her phone. So if someone wants to see a photo, she can go, look at this. And then it's hers and they, they consume it with their eyes and then she can put it away and there's no risk of them distributed. Like they don't need to do that. Um, no, no one needs photographs of my children. Maybe it's a physical photo, like a school photo or something, up on the wall in a home. Physical copy, sure. But you don't need photographs of my children on your social media. Why? <laughs> anyway, I uh, have a discussion with care schools about it too. After signing forms to say no consent was given, they've posted on two occasions. Yeah. Yeah, that would be... Um, yeah. No bueno. Is that something you can take to like the board of education, like the department of education or something? Is there like, or would you have to engage like a private lawyer? Send the guys and if they don't behave. Hmm. I'm back on my fire majors, but I suck at it. Really need to learn practice, Lizzie. It all just takes practice. Okay, I'm in queue. I think I need all five hundred dollar order work at night. No, nice. Well done. Um, secure she's two twenty. Fantastic. Want to play? I have some fun mini g uh, digging games. Yeah. We have made clear. Even sent details to remind people, and it still happened. Yeah, that's that's not okay. Photos at a wedding. People respected that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I don't have time to show it, at least come close to you. 
Get a photographer to more mobile phones to be all over the place and I paid photos. Yeah, no, absolutely, for sure. And it's like just like, you know, if you think it's a good shot, chances are the photographer already has it from three different angles because they're professional. You are not. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a norm now, yeah. Was it 11 years ago? No, not so much then. As an observant person with a memory, I'm acutely aware of how easily, even innocently, you can build a mental dose around people. Yep. Yep. I read it a long time ago. Dana's mother and I only shared them in private DM. Yep. Yep. Uh, so people who have an ill intent, uh, have ill intent and are motivated bad times. Yeah, oh, absolutely. 100%. 100%. Like, if, if someone is going to do what they have done in the past and, and put together enough information on me to find where I live, excuse me, and who I am, like my, my name and my workplace and all that kind of stuff. And that's happened, but I put myself out there. Uh, if, if that information is out there, it's probably at least partially my fault. Um, but my children, if I have children, don't deserve that at all in any way. Um, but no, yep. So do I need to learn the jumping open a thing? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Ah, <clears throat> oh, really is sad. You have to worry like that. Hey, yeah. The internet is, it's its a paradise for people who want to do naughty things and have no one find out about it. Like, you know, back before the internet, if you wanted to see certain things, you had to go and physically find them with your eyes and look at them. Uh, but now you can just type something in the search box and up it pops. And no one will know. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh... It's not great. Uh, I'll believe taking a photo is taking a piece of your soul is kind of true these days, sadly. Especially when you're a sellout! <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> That's hilarious. But yeah, look, I, I think that if if that's something that does need, like, if that is a decision that has to be, I mean, I've already made the decision about, you know, no photos on the internet and all that kind of stuff, but, um, like, if that's a thing that's going to happen, it's going to be a while. <laughs> so hopefully by, you know, in a while, more people will have realized how much of an issue this is. Um, but no, that's, it's absolutely, like... I can kind of envision the conversation happening, like, hey, by the way, this is a thing. Ah, oh, that's awesome, congratulations, blah, 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 blah. Thank you so much. Okay, we need to talk photos. So here's the deal, here are the rules. Absolutely nothing, nope, no exceptions. That's just the way it is, this is why, brilliant. What would you like your grandparent names to be? Like, do you know what, that's kind of how I sort of feel it, it going, because it's, it's just that important. It's just that important. Um, I'm not a sellout. No, you might not be, but um, <laughs> I've realized that photos of myself do well on social media. So I'm taking more photos of myself. It is really uncomfortable, but it's fine. Collected enough souls from her viewers. Anyway, uh, we, we lost a follow, 8,995. So look, I, I've, yep. Yeah. I was getting food, burgers, yum! Tape of burgers and fries, that sounds delicious. So the people who are totally fine about posting photos of their own kids and that's okay for them, absolutely. Which is why I did mention a couple of times, like my particular situation is quite different from many out there. Like quite different from many out there. There are, there are a lot of people out, like there are most people out there that no one has any reason to seek them out or photographs of their children or, or harass them or anything. Like there's no reason for them to be involved in that kind of stuff. Um, I am in a different you industry. Lucky! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How are you? I hope you've had an awesome night.
Somebody only followed for baby pics. Look, Finn, you might not, you might be, you might be right there. Uh, jokes on them. I don't have any children, <laughs> and I'm not about to share photos of other people's children. That's a little bit weird. Um, yeah, that boss has a reflect mechanic. Um, I believe. Yeah, phase reflects damage. There you go. Um. I don't, my fam are huge about it. Yeah, look, and that's, that's totally fine. Um, they might be surprised and disgusted to find out about what those photos are being used for. I know. Um, I have friends who moderate certain company forums, uh, and some really horrendous stuff gets shared in those kind of places, and it, it may appear to be an innocent photograph, but to the right person, or the wrong person, um, it can be a whole lot more, which is just disgusting and abhorrent. Uh, five hundred dollars worth of Mac is a massive order. Jesus. Well done to them. Hey, 54. Fifty-four. All right. Um, sixty-three percent. Good goal. So close to sixty-seven. Indeed, we are. We are so close to the sixty-seven percent goal on that community challenge at the moment. If you haven't contributed already, now is your time to do it. So the other people in chat want to share them. Ah, oh, wonderful, Lucky. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hey, Pumpernickel. Pump it up. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, uh, dear me. Hmm. The stream has been going very well. I have cleared out the Burning Crusade time walking vendor. Bought everything. So that's a good feeling. Very good feeling. Uh, that's all done. Thank you. This girl doesn't set the bar for new challenges. Well, um, the new challenge was supposed to be 300k for a week, but I forgot I was taking a day off this week. So that's why it's so difficult. It is, it is going to be 300, but it's going to be over four streams, not three. I just, I did a boo-boo. Um, I've dropped an even 300. So do I thought. It, look, look, maybe that's a good omen for us finishing the 300k stream challenge. Maybe? We think maybe? Maybe, maybe? I think we can comfortably say that we've won. What do we think? Uh, 
Uh, Loza, Ad, Countess, Gooses, Thor, Zalk, DNC, Zam, and Draz. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. They're already dead. Don't jinx it. It was like 300 versus 8. Or 249 or something versus 8. I think we were going to be fine. Did I place a Templar yet? No. Bling it is. And friendly with the consortium. Fantastic. Wonderful news. You come back in every Bruce Willis movie ever. Look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Go hydrate lose my voice tomorrow. Absolutely lucky. Enjoy. Thank you again for the raid. And fingers crossed we will see you soon. I think we're good. Ah <laughs> oh dear. One. I've been silenced. Aw, that's so sweet of you, Lucky. Thank you. I appreciate it. for tasty. Ah, sniffle. excited for the gold making stream on Sunday. Uh, spin the wheel to pick dungeons. It's gonna be great fun. I'm really looking forward to it, doing some loot appraiser challenges for dungeons that are actually meant to be loot appraiser challenges. I it with my finger and it changed color. I do not remember what that was in relation to. Good lord. Good lord. 
Hello, Zach. Have you ever tried playing Warhammer Online? Its PvP is so good plus. I don't do PvP, so no. But no, I, I've never tried Warhammer Online. Uh, I've tried a couple of MMOs here and there, uh, but I don't like PvP. So that is not a selling point for me. But I hope- I, I it seems like you enjoy it, and that's fantastic news. It's always great to find something that really gels with what you're looking for in a video game experience, so I'm really happy for you. It's awesome. Speed round in Mythic Zero with a new guild and you managed to get three pieces of loot from four bosses. <laughs> Were you at least gear funneling? Like, real, for reals? Uh, I'll have to see how Mother's Day pans out for those of y'all who may have forgotten. Yep. Well, it isn't- look, it is an evening tonight thing. Usually Mother's Day tends to be like a brunch lunch type deal. Of course, so sometimes these things run late, especially on Mother's Day. Uh, but I will very much enjoy, even if I have to be by myself, I'll be really interested to see how like the proper lack dungeons work for gold. And hey, look, maybe a new transmog. Ah, oh, got me stream on Sunday. What time is that for you? Uh, normal time? Normal stream time. Or are you trying to write? 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Best way to figure out what that is for you is to scroll down, um, click on uh, the about Fiyama, click Fiyama, and then click schedule. And it'll convert it to your time zone magically. It's so good. Because I don't know how to do time zones. Goodies mail. Oh no. Well then, there's your first mistake. You should absolutely have taken a whole ass team that's like... Although there aren't any mail... Um, Thanks, other. Fair. That's upsetting. And hilarious. Although, if you took a bunch of, like, massively overgeared hunters, you could probably tank with the pets. If it's M0. Stay my face. Sunburn looking up. I, I was not wrong. I sunburn really badly. Thanks to see you, though. So who bloody knows? Of course. Well, I don't, I don't have any Mother's Day plans, because, uh, my mum lives in a different state. But that's okay. You're for something when I'm asking stream probing questions like that, huh? <laughs> um, do you- you've got access to the Fiamma guns. Maybe do that, because then it's like, what time is that? Ah! Yeah, that works. Yeah, there you go. Look, yeah, okay. Let's see how long it takes me to remember that that's what that means. From you specifically. Uh, I've been on my bad at launch so many times. Why am I? Uh, because Blizzard likes me. Um, I am super, super consistent. They can set their schedule for the launcher because they, they preload stuff. It's not like an as it happens kind of deal. Um, so they can set me up with my whole schedule for the month if they so choose. Like they, I send them my schedule and they pick and choose which streams they want to feature. Um, and so they can do that and they know that the likelihood of me changing something is extremely low. They've learned that over the year and a bit that I've been on the launcher. Um, oh, everything has been pulled. The entire room. Um, that was not a good idea. That's fine. Um. And I guess I fit their brand. Uh, I'm not 100, like, I don't make the decision for them, obviously. Uh, I don't work for Blizzard, I'm not sponsored by Blizzard. I have had a couple of sponsored streams with them, three of them in fact, where they did pay me to do a stream. Uh, but being on the launcher is not a, a paid thing. Um, I don't pay them, they don't pay me, it's just a, uh, you know, I, I get to be featured and they get a thing that people can click if they're curious to watch some WoW content. Um, in a reasonably friendly environment. Um, and if they have like questions and stuff. We get a lot of newer players that come in and ask a lot of questions about the game and stuff like that. Um, and we're usually pretty good at answering that kind of stuff. So I guess all of that in combination just kind of makes it work for them. And uh, I'm not, I'm certainly not complaining about it. I've had some amazing opportunities having been featured and I've met so many wonderful new people and it's just, it's been amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. 
Um, if you are a streamer and you are looking to be featured like that kind of thing, not necessarily with Blizzard, but for, for any game, I also play mostly WoW. Like, it's not something I do once in a blue moon, as you could probably tell by the number of times I've been featured. Um, if you are looking to work at, at that kind of level with a video game company, I would suggest that you stream mostly that, like I'm talking 90 to 95% of your streams being that game. Uh, I would also suggest being active on social media and tagging them, like tagging the the developer's account, or whoever the developer happens to be, uh, tagging their account every time you, you go live, preferably a regional account. Like if you're ANZ, tag their ANZ account. If you're EU, tag an EU account because those teams are going to be a lot smaller than like the headquarters team and they'll have a million and one tags every damn day. So if you shrink it down to a smaller team, they're more likely to notice you because they won't have as many tags. Um, using the hashtags, like I put hashtag Warcraft on my going live tweets, that kind of thing will get you noticed as well. Um, and just genuinely stick to like terms of service and EULA and stuff like that. Um, being like, I, I'm definitely not, I mean, we do swear a bit every so often here. Um, I used to swear a fair bit more. Uh, I have turned it down a little bit because of a couple of different- I'm uh, a f***ing casual. <laughs> and I'm f***ing yep. loving it. Um, that kind of stuff can help. Not always. It really depends on the developer. If it's a super family friendly developer, you're going to want to not. <laughs> um, but also things like the types of jokes you crack, uh, the types of conversations you have, uh, how you are respectful or not. To, to different groups I'm of people and stuff. I'm not a paladin. All that kind of stuff will be things that they look at. You, they want If they're going to feature you, you're going to need to fit with their brand. Um, and if their brand is, like, you know, super I'm welcoming... Not a super welcoming to the LGBT community, for example, and you make a couple of homophobic tweets or uh, jokes on stream or something like that, even if you didn't mean it in a malicious way, but you do it anyway, that's going to immediately exclude you, for example. Um, I've seen a lot of people complaining about, oh, you know, why can't I get featured on the Blizzard launcher? And then also in the same breath make a joke about how I exposed my breasts or slept with half of the Blizzard team in order to get to where I am. Both of which are incorrect and untrue, but maybe if you want to team up with, like, you know, the, the statement that they're not on the launcher, if you want to team up with a company that has an active lawsuit based on misogyny, maybe don't be misogynistic. Do you know that kind of? Yeah. So those sort of things, <laughs> but yeah, that's like, that's pretty much how I got noticed was I, I just like try to make this stream as, as welcoming and as like open and all that as possible. Uh, and then I just tweeted them like a whole lot, <laughs> tagged them every time I went live, um, following them obviously. And eventually they followed back and said, Hey, would you like to be on the launcher? And I lost my shit. I lost my shit. We have a clip of me being on the launcher and me seeing it for the first time, and I basically cried. Um, yeah, so it's it's been one hell of a journey, but really awesome. Really, really awesome, and I definitely recommend, if anyone is a content creator, um, like working with a company that makes something you love is a really rewarding experience. So definitely pop it on your bucket list if that's something you're interested in doing. Yeah. Um, ah, yes, thank you, Duke, for the launcher thing. Sorry, I gave a fair bit more of a spiel, didn't I? Um, but I want to help. I want to help. Like, yeah. I appreciate the info. Oh, you're more than welcome. No joke. Absolutely. As I said, very open and welcoming here. More than, more than happy to have the discussion. Hey, Sean. Welcome back. How you doing? 1A to 7A Central Time Sunday for those Americans who don't like sleep like regular folks. Gold stream time perfect on my schedule. Brilliant. There you go. Uh, Blizz Launcher, only reason I'm here for your stream community is the only reason I'm still playing. Oh my god, really, Rel? I'm so sorry that, like, enjoyment of the game isn't enough to, like, I'm I'm sorry that it's taken the community to, to make you enjoy it. But I'm glad. I'm glad you're happy here. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, for that, yeah, memories. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was a whole thing. I, uh, oh, yeah. And how far we've come since then, my lord, how far we've come. It's. <sighs> mm. The game is good too. You lot really help. Okay, awesome. 
Awesome. I'm really glad to hear that. But yeah, no, I'm like, I love this community. Hello. It. Good luck. I don't know what I did to deserve you lot, but I'm definitely not complaining about it because it just, oh, it's such a blast being here. It's such a blast. All right. Unto the demon hunter. Because this one will also ding. <laughs> I'm trying to aim for the ones that'll ding the easiest um, to try to knock them over the edge. It's funny. Ah, I haven't played in years. Just loving it. Hanging out with you lot. Ah, community does help keep me engaged in the game. Oh, that's so good to hear. Uh, so I wouldn't be playing again without my friends. Totally fair. Where well, was always a social thing for me. Lacking a guild family is my guild. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? Because, I mean, my guild in-game is literally for storage, for guild bank. But, um, like, community runs and stuff like that with you lot has just, yeah, it's really great. Especially, like, those Sundays. Like, the ATT challenge. Even though we're not playing together, still having that kind of element of connection is super cool. Ah, uh, yep. So, are there any chat pals who haven't contributed your free channel points uh, towards our toy collecting stream goal? Uh, Little Fire, contribute up to 2,000 embers per stream. If we don't hit 100%, you get the points back. Is this the most exciting stream goal yet? Can you help us? Thanks to everybody for getting involved in creating a lovely community spirit. So if you're wondering what that kind of a stream entails, basically I jump on, I open up ATT, I type slash ATT random, and then I choose the toys category. And then I roll and it tells me a toy that I do not have and to go and collect it. And then I try to get it. And then I do it again and I try to get another one. And then I do it again and I try to get another one. It's gonna be hilarious and great and it'll be fun. Super fine. Uh, okay. I'm walking and I can do either, which probably means I'm gonna end up I'm tanking and it's gonna pop super quick, maybe. Um, I keep reminding you of efforts to make it. Aw, thank you, Landa. Uh, the guild you have when you're already in a guild. Yas. Guild, the outside the game guild. When you're not. 4% more needed. Ah! I mean, technically, we're back on track, but let's exceed expect. Are we? Oh, 66%. Damn straight. Awesome. That's great. Should we do more? No, that's okay, Loz. You can on Sunday. You drop by and do another 2k and you're good. So many points. Yep. Yeah. 2k every stream. Oh, that was a crunch. <sighs> Grinding out keys via pug is fun question mark uh didn't she build a list of pets or something uh pets yeah not toys that's for the pet hunting stream which is happening oh in a week next friday next friday I'm tanking. Is everyone afraid? United. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, gamble all does not work. Correct. Fear is tanking. Panic! Yep, correct. Correct. I'm sure the group will be just fine. Why? I am lagging. God's sake. <laughs> oh my god. There's my ding. It's fine, I'm a demon hunter. Nothing can kill me. <laughs> she says as she's, yeah, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. One left, we're good. We're fine, we're fine. Oh, well done, Kay! Holy cow! Oh my god. Well done. <laughs> That's fantastic. Fifty three. It looks good. So don't worry, it seems to be super OP. I mean, the content might not be a bit, uh, the muck the blah. Let's try that again. The content might not be balanced around their uh, toolkit. Like, it might just not be possible because the fact that these classes didn't exist then. Uh, sh same should be able to be said of Monk, though, if that is the case. Uh, unless Monks are just underpowered or something. How that worked, I cannot say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, it was close. Just ever, just ever make it to me. Super OP, a or super original poster. Correct. <laughs> Someone is a Reddit user. Um, unless that's not, not just Reddit, in which case I've probably outed myself. That's fine. Monk also, yeah. Yeah, overpowered. Yeah, look, abbreviations are super contextual, hey? But that's okay. Like, makes sense. Fear has been tantalizingly teasing an exciting announcement. Don't want FOMO? Follow on social media. Following is free and support streamers by increasing visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. It's also a great opportunity to share content with someone you think may enjoy it. Having recently hit 1k followers on Instagram, next goal is 1,111. You can find all my profiles uh, at the link that Seeker. What are we? Why are you? Don't get ahead of me because you'll die. What is going on? Yeah. <laughs> 
From our fuller only mode, fear of missing out. Fear of missing out. I wonder if the recent unfollows I've gotten lately have been because I've shifted from like never plugging my stuff, like not really talking about affiliate programs that much, not really like not asking people to follow or blah 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 blah. And now, like, more recently, I've definitely been doing all those things. I do wonder if that's probably led to a, a whole bunch of unfollows, to be perfectly honest. Because uh, people don't like that shit. But... You gotta, like... Especially if I'm aiming for full-time. There are some things I just gotta do. Because if I don't talk about it, there's a chance that you won't know. Because, like, if you click into a stream... How often does your average Twitch user actually scroll down and look at panels and stuff? Unless the person's offline and they're like, do I, it, well, who is this person? Why, I found this link somewhere. Is this someone I want to follow? <clears throat> I guess I haven't followed enough for it. Oh uh, no, well it might be the, for it, huh? Fear of missing out. Um, so the Fiamma Love emote is a tier 2 emote from back when I first made affiliate and you could only have one tier 1, one tier 2, and one tier 3 emote. Uh, Fiamma Hype was tier 1, Love was tier 2, and Fiamma Fail is tier 3. And they've stayed there since. Um, obviously I've expanded those a little bit as well. Vast majority of emotes are tier 1, uh, but there are a couple at tier 2 and tier 3. Um, but I do still have some spaces. I've tried to make everything as accessible as possible, but um, we're going to get to a point where I run out of slots. Uh, <laughs> and to unlock another emote slot, I need 800 sub points. Uh, which is a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Um, but that's the kind of, like, if I filled up all the slots and we came up with another idea, hey presto, let's have a, a subathon. You know what I mean? Let's, let's do this. But, um, I think we're a fair way off that. O although, if you, a non, continue, continue to send Shiba money for, for emotes, um, we're gonna fill up those slots pretty quickly. That's okay. We'll, uh... Um... Need to maybe don't overthink about it. Oh yeah, it could absolutely be totally random, but I do notice spikes of unfollows uh, and spikes in, like, drops of view, like, number viewer numbers going down and stuff like that when I start talking about that stuff. It's really interesting. There are, like, you're never going to please everybody. There are groups of people in here who are active chatters, and I'm assuming some lurkers as well, who love when I talk about the back end of streaming and what's involved and what you need to do and how to attract sponsors and na 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 um, But there are also going to be people who freaking hate that. They just want to watch for entertainment. They don't want to have to think or learn stuff or be told to follow socials, you know what I mean? So, um, you're never going to make everybody happy. But I think more of my active folk enjoy that stuff than hate it. Because, I mean, if they hate it, they probably just left and they're not very active anymore, eh? Unfortunately, it is kind of part of my job to overthink it, though. To see what works. I mean, I'm trying to focus on seeing what works more than what doesn't work. But when it comes to especially things like Instagram posts, right, I can very easily see what works really well. Very, very easily. Because all my stats show it, very obviously. Um, but then it's like, okay, so I need to do more of that. But what do I need to do less of? What isn't working? And that's when I have to have a look at the lower engagement posts and stuff like that and go, okay, I can make less of those so I can fit more of the happy posts. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, gotta look at your weaknesses. 
yes, you got to look at where you can grow and where, where your strengths are and where you can reinforce those, but you do also want to look at your weaknesses, just not as like a self-criticism, a hate to myself kind of moment, more as a cool, so that's not really a part of my brand, evidently. Um, let me scroll down to find out about where someone's from. That's cool. Uh, I'm a, it's very, it is interesting to hear about the stream work development. I think so too, and I feel it's kind of, maybe not for everyone, but like I do know that I have quite a few viewers who are, and I mean this word in the, the most loving of ways, aspiring streamers, right? People who are just starting out or people who have been doing it for a while and they're like, actually, I really enjoy this. I want to, I want to do this. Maybe to the fear that, uh, to the fear, to the level that fear does, you know what I mean? Because it absolutely should start out as a hobby, for shits and giggles, have some fun with it. But then if you really do enjoy it that much and you're seeing some success, maybe some of the things that I've learned through my journey can help you take it to the next level. Maybe, maybe. Not everything's gonna work for everyone. My style of streaming is very different to a lot of other people's style of streaming. And my style is, broadly speaking, less successful. If you want to be a WoW streamer that is super successful, stream nothing but keys. Nothing but Mythic Plus keys. That is how you end and carry viewers. Get a team to get a reliable Mythic Plus team together, push keys, and then carry 15s for viewers. That is how you get views in the World of Warcraft realm. Um, I don't do that. But I seem to be fairly successful anyway, and that's, I'm very much an outlier. So if I can do that, it means other people can, but like, you gotta work. You gotta really work hard. And not saying that Mythic Plus streamers don't work hard. I'm sure that they absolutely do, but they work hard in a very different way. They work on their skills in game uh, more than the, the, out, the external stuff that I tend to seem to have to do. Um, a lot of people that I watch who are more successful than I am and have grown faster than I have doing keys and stuff, their like socials presence and stuff is practically non-existent. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them. Um, so I'm at tanking here, which is, let me, this will be fun. Zam, Countess, Death, Loz, Dunno, Kata, and Thor. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Let me very quickly, alt tab click, alt tab back. <laughs> Uh, what's the time? Yeah, okay, we can do one more battle. Alt tab, click. Alt tab, battle. Uh, thingy, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Alt tab, click. Alt tab. I'm trying to make sure that my group doesn't notice that I'm not actually playing. Ahem! <clears throat> uh, this one. Boom! And then back it up, so I'm in range of the healer. Ash some more buttons. Alt tab. Uh, you. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, what the hell? Where did you come from? Why are you here? Goddamn. Half a second. Half a bloody second. I think someone ran over there not th thinking we could skip them, but they're a boss. <laughs> it's a boss in the corner. We can't skip him. And I just average users don't check anything anywhere. Correct. Uh, place of work at Notorious and Terrible using too many acronyms being a lot of same or similar ones is a big problem. Yep. Yep. Context! And often that doesn't even help anyway. Gotta be some incentive. I'm so tempted to upgrade. It is an adorable emote. Like, the Fiyama love emote is super cute. Have you seen Fiyama fail? Um, I'm also not gonna say this, but, um, <clears throat> subcuts. May vary. Um, the industry is still IT but not finance anymore, the whole new thing's to understand, oof, youch. Uh, I'm a lurker, I don't plan to stream, do you love hearing what streaming tells behind the scenes? Oh, good to hear it, DNC, I'm so pleased. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad I can help. I mean, of course, this is what it involves for me behind the scenes as well. Like, I have no doubt that every streamer handles shit differently. This is just what has worked for me and stuff. So, I mean, let's see. Uh, 
I'm so tough at this Jeff and drop below one count on Insta. I know, I'm so surprised. I have lost a good handful of followers, but I've made I've gotten enough to stay kind of consistent, which is really good. I am honestly really surprised that I haven't dropped below 1k. Um, because that's usually what happens, you know, you get a surge and then people drop, and then you get a surge, and then people drop, and then a surge, and people drop. Um, and so yeah, I was expecting to drop below 1k and have to hit it again, and maybe do that a couple of times before we were permanently there, but I don't know, unless I get a whole bunch of bot accounts banned, which would surprise me. Alright, so that, what did I get to? 53, did I update that? I don't think I did. Did not. Brilliant. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, super helpful to know from a lurker. I hope you're having a great day. Feel free to join us in chat. Absolutely. But yeah, we do, we love our lurkers. You are more than welcome to join us if you so desire. Um, but you're also, you're still joined from, from the shadows. It's fine. Uh, how many did that say? Two, four, seven, five. Okay. Uh, I probably have enough time for like one more. 95, but she's already done one. Nine, 65, four. It looks like you'd get roughly a level per two dungeons if you were spam leveling these, roughly. I've done one on Kita already. 42, 15, 91, Renard. I reckon I can do that on her and I'll get another ding. Love me some ding. All right. <laughs> uh, sounds like the spoons thing, if it's not mental health, more back capacity. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fear is verbing her name now. Yep, apparently. That's a thing. Fearing and speaking the third. Yup. Yup. Thank you. Ah. It's okay, you're welcome, DNC. Definition for fear. Talk a lot about all topics, chat with chat, keep it real and honest. Also see fear talks. <laughs> Love it, Kaz. Love it. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton eyed Joe. Correct. Was that subcuts? <clears throat> Part of my contract I'm not allowed to discuss. Copton said nothing, correct. Something I thought I'd missed it. <clears throat> Definitely not. Yes, carry on. This button. That button. Good. Um, what did I want? I think I wanted this one. What am I doing? I'm in the queue. I'm flying to Shatrath. Let's wait. Why am I flying to? No, to turn in the thing. Okay. I'm like, I don't need to buy anything. Why am I going there? Because I need to. Good. Right. Something, something, wayward sun. Yeah, look, probably. <laughs> oh, a free for all. I can do that. Bum, bum, bum. 
Ba-da-da-da-da. Ba. <laughs> Oh, Kansas, anyone. I'm, look, yeah, it's, I get the reference, but I don't actually know it, if that makes sense. I know it comes from a Vigi game, and it was really popular for a while there. Hmm. Who do your Throne of work on stream? So you're getting a gift from Throne on Twitter. I don't remember seeing it. They should! They're supposed to play a noise and do a thing on stream, up where the alerts go. Are you... And my phone's over there, so I can't see anything. God damn it! Hang on. Anon, thank you so very much for the gift. My gosh. Right, so it's a gratitude journal. It was suggested to me by a wonderful viewer. Isn't that right, Zam? Um, <laughs> and it's, it's basically, it's a, like, I, I do practice gratitude as much as I can, but this is a more concrete way to help with it. It's a physical book and it has like prompts each day that you can like write down things that you're grateful for and you can practice it and stuff like that. And there, there is actually research that has shown that practicing gratitude and, and being grateful for like looking for small things each day to be thankful for that kind of stuff drastically improves mental health. Uh, and can can really and of course mental health affects literally everything uh and so it is something that i i do try to practice as best i can but it's not something i have like a regular thing that i do um so it was suggested to me and i had a flip through like the images on the website and stuff i'm like oh my god this actually looks like a fantastic tool and it's the perfect like i i like books of certain sizes I'm sure you will know what I mean. Like something too small, it's like, how do I write on you? And then something that's too big, it's like, where the f do I put you? Um, so it's like the, the perfect size. I love the smell of a new book. Oh my God. And I have some fancy pens that I can use in it and stuff as well, because that's how we treat things that we love is we use fancy pens in them. Um, can you tell I'm a stationary geek? Not at all. I'm a massive stationery geek, which is hilarious because I've, I, I buy stationery. I bought this beautiful planner uh, a few years back, as you can tell, but it's gorgeous and amazing, and I used it for approximately a month. Maybe two. Oh no, I used it in April. Up to April. Yep, and then I did not use it uh, from May onwards. Four months is pretty good for me, for, for a planner. Usually it only lasts a month or two. Four months is pretty good. Um, but I did not buy another one because I realized I operate better um, digitally but I still love a beautiful book. And this is something that I don't need to rely on each day, but like, yeah, it's, yeah. So I'm very happy about that. Thank you so much, Anon, for the gift. I'm so sorry that the alert didn't work. I'm so angry. I wonder if it's because of the, the issues I had with everything else today. That, that could be, you know how everything else wasn't quite functioning? It might just, it might well be that everything is having the same issue. Um, Hi, the sun well. Rel! Mm. Oh my god, I just burped. I am so sorry. <laughs> that was absolutely not intended to be directed at you. Tier 2! Oh my god, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Ah, oh, yay. Fear my love. <laughs> And congratulations on your sub flare as well. You know, the little silver star on there too indicates that you are a tier two subscriber. Thank you so much. Holy cow. Oh my God. That is just so lovely of you. Thank you so much. Ah, that's super awesome. Um, I am going to change all of these to the setting and hope that that works worked that one worked that one's still working so maybe i should just I don't know. that's gonna refresh it but it should be fine yep and then everything will go brrrm. there we go be artiful i mean we did lose a couple but that's look it's fine it's fine <sighs> amazing 
That is awesome. Uh, okay, where... You mean I knew that song? Thanks for being here. Thank you, Landau, for being here. Thank you for being here. Um, used to make a noise too. Yeah, and it was like so loud and I'm like, ah! Yeah, but it just didn't work at all. I think it might be an issue with everything um, with the recent OBS update or something. But look, hey, fingers crossed next time something drops, I'll actually get the alert. And I'm so, I'm so very sorry, Anon, that I didn't get the alert and react appropriately. Like, I one thing that I always want to make sure is that I am appropriately thankful for the support you guys give me in whatever way that you happen to to give the support. Um, so when I miss something like that, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. Unfortunately, um, so the reason, there were two reasons I turned off follow alerts. We still get the, the beautiful purple um, that lights up when somebody follows and we get the little heart that drops into the jar as well, the little 8-bit heart. Um, but we turned off the, like that. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate. But, um, we turned off the, the, like, actual alerts and then the text in chat because I was getting, firstly, I was getting a ton of harassment. Um, people creating names directly, specifically designed to hurt or, and or upset me. Um, and the other one was that, uh, there, there is a section of the community who doesn't like being called out, who want to be able to lurk and not be alerted like that. Of course, there's also a section of the community that wants to be thanked uh, and wants the uh, wants the recognition and stuff like that. Um, but I've found that those people tend to drop a follow and then when they don't see the alert, say in chat, oh, by the way, just followed. This is a great stream or whatever. And then I can thank them anyway. So they still get that acknowledgement and they still get the... the um, uh, um, I want, my brain is giving me the word praise, but I don't think that's the right word. And that comes off as really condescending, but you know, you know what I mean? Like that positive reinforcement, they want that, they can get that, but lurkers can still stay lurked if they want. So those were, there was harassment and privacy uh, were, the, were the two reasons why we turned those off. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, um, you know, the, the epidemic of Twitch users creating names to put them up on stream, on stream that are offensive and stuff. There, there are people who get the names around the name filter and then try to follow and then report for having a terrible day. And it's like, you know that Twitch can see who which user the report is coming from, right? If you're going to report someone for having a rude name or rude word on their stream, but the rude word is your username, who do you think is going to get the ban? <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a thing. Um, but yeah. That's kind of, because I know, you know, talking about acknowledging and thanking people for their support, following is a kind of support. And so I, you know, that, the, the gratitude is definitely there. <gasps> Guys! Hang on. Where's the button? I need to. <laughs> Guys! One second, I'm putting it in Discord because I can't share pictures in thingy. Actually, I probably could if I saved it. Look at that. 9,000, actually, exactly, and cue the unfollows. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, I make a noise, I love to use, very good for mindfulness. Yes, exactly, absolutely. Sam's wonderful now. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, have one used when I've been in a low period. Oh, brilliant. I mean, not brilliant you're in a low period, but brilliant that you found something that helped. Um, just need to get a gratitude, need to get a gratitude journal. I mean, absolutely. All right. I'm going to leave the queue because by the time it pops, um, it's going to be stream end time and I'm going to run half an hour over time because I'm not the tank. So I can't control the speed of pulling. Uh, but that's okay. We are going to probably start that battle early, but before we do that, um, uh, well, I'll let you know how the one that's been purchased for me goes, Sean. And uh, like once I receive it, I'll use it a bit and I'll give some feedback and maybe you can pick one up yourself. Something to read back on plus making you think about it is great. Yeah, that's the big thing is actually making you look for things to be happy about. Because sometimes, especially when you're in that pit, and I know I've been there like countless times. Hello, I have cyclothymic disorder. It's like bipolar, but fast. It's shit. <laughs> And so I know what it feels like to be in that pit. And sometimes you just, everything feels terrible.
terrible. Everything not good that happens just kind of pushes you further and further and further and further and into that pit. So actually like focusing and I'm like, okay, anything good that happened today, anything at all. And then you hunt and you look and it's like, I got to have my favorite food today. I, I was miserable and I decided to buy lunch to comfort myself because it was comfort food and I went and had a really delicious lunch. I am grateful that I have the income to be able to purchase my favorite food and use it as a source of comfort. You know, so making you look for those little things can definitely like, it's not, it's not going to cure everything. Of course not, but it can help. It can help. Uh, professional help is useful too, of course. I see a psychologist regularly. It's a thing. A um, few more minutes to donate to the stream goal. Indeed. I heard they were wonderful. Don't know them personally. They're just a thing I heard. <laughs> is fear small? Yes. But yeah, do a, do a follow. Um, looks like a good size for Bujo. Yes. Uh, Community is using embers. Yes. Contribute to the toy farming stream. Buy journal, stationary pens, etc. Use them a bit. They're too, but then don't want to use them because they're too pretty and nice and I don't want to waste them. I don't want to ruin them with my handwriting. I have really neat handwriting. Like, I genuinely have really neat handwriting. But what if I make a mistake? I can't put white out in it. I can't scribble it out. That's horrible. What if I, oh no. And so I never use them. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on a spiritual level. <laughs> Try to be better about that. Yeah, this is the thing. They're like, the, the point of them is to bring joy, right? You buy it and you have it because it makes you happy. Sometimes just having it is enough to make you happy. But to use it sometimes makes you even happier. There was a point that I was filling out my journals and stuff in, in grey lead so I could erase any mistakes and then I'd go back over it in pen and I'm like, oh my god, I am wasting so much time. <laughs> so I just went and bought a really nice pencil. <laughs> I can still erase it if I do something wrong and it still looks nice and pretty, but it's a nice pencil. Yep. I'm a nincompoop. Uh, <laughs> used my one last year so well that in January I planned a promotion for myself for the next 12 months. Got the promotion two weeks later. Oh, go you, Seeker. That's awesome. That is amazing. The burp of love and friendship. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it though, Ralph. <laughs> this is where everyone might be asking for them. I can't do it on com <gasps> Ah! Miss Mortar! I hope I'm sp I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Thank you so much for the biddies. Much appreciated. So generous of you. Um, I cannot burp on command, unfortunately. How many bits for a burp? <laughs> Change that mindset, but put positivity out in the world. Promise my confidence in that, to be honest. Nothing mythical or mystical. Yeah, right. But that's it can feel that way, though, sometimes. And that's all right, too. Um, sometimes the thought of mysticism or that kind of thing can make you feel stronger than you are. And sometimes just feeling it is enough to make it happen. And that whole fake it till you make it thing. It's it's for realsies. Um, as we know, I just need to teach you to the moves. <laughs> Hello from the Netherlands. Welcome in. Welcome in, miss. Thank you again for the biddies. Does he get a tier two sub now? <laughs> oh Lord. Recognition? Yeah. Yeah. It's hilarious multiple sub ones. 9k. Yep. 9k. Good Lord. Is this gonna say a better follow level? <laughs> so from Aw, thank you. Thank you, Seeker. Starting early pleasure troops now. Yes, definitely. Now for 9,000 Insta followers, that might take a little while. I want to pick of 11-11 first. Ah, uh, goal encompasses your goal. Let's pick a 9001 on Twitch so we can name. 11-11 <laughs> followed by 1234. Hey, Earth. Just trying to read. I love the talk about. Aw, so glad to hear it, Earth. Wonderful. Well, welcome. Fantastic. Ah, oh, dear. I have to say the same. Don't use white out. Use pretty washi tape. But then write over it again. Like, ah, oh, pretty washi tape is for making, like, designs. Oh, God. I've got a whole box of stuff that I was using for, actually. Let's see. What colours do you think I got for my pretty fancy planner? What colours do you think I was using for my pretty fancy planner? Black. 
Um, actually, I wonder if it's in here or if it's... It's not in here! God damn it. Crumble, crumble. It's not even in here. That's okay. Um, I'll put that away later. I can still tell you. Um, actually, I first been pronouncing my name good. Ah, oh, fantastic! I'm so pleased. Brilliant, miss. Pick a set washi tape in Discord. My pleasure, like your stream. Aw, yay! I'm so glad. That's wonderful. Where are you getting these gifts from, Zam? What the actual shit? <laughs> I'm not angry. But that was like over a year ago. Look, I don't even have the lights or the plushies or anything. Amazing. I am endlessly impressed by your skill set. I just, I just. Uh, <laughs> God. Purple and red and yellow. No and no and no. Orange, blue, purple. No, no, no. Fire stuff and twitch. No and no. Red, no. Purple, no. Ashes colors. No. You made them. My God. Uh, black, gold, silver. I'm a classy bitch. Ah, <laughs> yay, indeed. It's also from a clip I made last year. Ah, uh, already like your double. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's for classy witch. <laughs> Before Zim clips that, yeah, probably. Probably. I just explosive lol. Yeah, look. <laughs> I, I, look, I love the ashes colors and stuff like that, but I am... Super minimalist. Like, I mean, I mean, yes, I know there's lots of orange and, and yellow there, but it's because of my my logo. Like, my logo is the burb, and it's all orange and yellow. Those are colors specifically from my logo. Um, it's kind of like I'm trying to create, and, and the colors from the the timer over there, they're the same Let colors. Me confer with my sources. No. I am very elegant. Thank you very much, seeker. <laughs> but yeah, it's it, like I'm I'm trying to build a brand, like a recognizable brand, and so those colors are my brand. Uh but I am very much like I am I'm that kind of yeah. I love playing with colors and all that kind of stuff, but when it comes to like regular stuff, super minimalist, black, white, gold, silver, like that kind of the classy sort of stuff. Red is a big color that features a fair bit of my life. And I'm starting to gravitate towards like deep greens as well, because they seem to go really well with like my complexion and my hair and all that kind of stuff. So, but when it comes to like my stuff, mostly, yeah, black, gold, and silver, mostly. Suits with your shirt. <sighs> is Pax shirt. I'm gonna have another one of these this year. Shirt number four. Totally agree. Middle washing tape is one I've used the most. Ah, brilliant. I'll have to fit. Oh, no, mine are in the storage cage. I haven't used them in literally years. I need to like, maybe I should, I need to do a clean out. I don't know whether like donate stuff or if I want to like post it in discord and be like free to a good home. You just have to pay shipping. Like I don't, I don't, I really don't know what to do with it. I, I have no idea. Um, uh, match I meant. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Pax. Ah, Pax is Penny Arcade Expo. It's a, well, actually, Pax is worldwide. Um, there's like three of them in the US and one in Australia. Um, they've got Pax East, Pax West, and Pax Oz. And then I think they have another one, but I think they ended up cancelling it because it didn't go so well. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a gaming exhibition, gaming convention. It's great. Highly recommend if you can get to one uh, doing it. Um, would pay shipping. Yes, but for what? <laughs> what would you be purchasing and paying for shipping? Um, yeah. Okay, right. So, um, we're gonna start the battle early because it's past 10 and I need to, yeah, I am aware. Thank you. Even though it does say that in the goddamn thing. Bonk. Uh, pack South, but they ended. That's the one. Yep, Pack South. It just. It. I guess it wasn't making money or something. Um. Uh. But yep. Yeah, so. While we do the battle. Uh, Sunday's gold making stream. Excuse me. Gonna pop open a. Uh, a spin the wheel. 
of uh, Ludipraise the Challenge Dungeons, you can type exclamation LAC into chat now to learn about the requirements you have to join our Ludipraise the Challenge. You can be any faction, any region, any server, doesn't matter where you're playing, you can join the Ludipraise the Challenges but you need to, you have to have a couple of add-ons and set up a few things and all that. So if you type exclamation LAC, it'll tell you exactly what you need to be able to join. Um, Mount Farm Monday on the 9th, obviously. We have um, Xerath Mortis Collecting on Wednesday. I'm gonna head back to ZM, see if we can't maybe finish off that achievement I was desperately trying to get. Um, but also, raid. I'm gonna be raiding on Wednesday and you're invited to watch. It does probably mean that we running stream a little bit late that day too, so lucky you. And next Friday, we're going to be doing a pet stream. Uh, pet collecting, specifically. Not leveling, but collecting. Uh, try to boost the number of pets I have to level. Good. Yes. Brilliant. Uh, congratulations to Countess, Loza, Seeker, Ad, DNC, Demon, Ali, Zam, and Zem on all your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Uh, so jump back here. This is what we're going to be doing. So you can see the gold making stream on the 8th, uh, Mount Farm on Monday on the 9th, ZM Raid on the 11th, and Pets. Oh god, that box was covered in dust on the 13th. Next Friday the 13th. Brilliant. Um, so we're going to do that. Because. Correct. Impacts East like too easy. Yeah, I saw some. Uh, I saw some photographers uh, from some Twitch partners who attended. Uh, and it looked really empty. Stay a while um, and listen. Because Pax Oz has always been like shoulder to shoulder packed, and uh, Pax East look quite empty. I think that's because of the. Um, I think that was because of like the COVID restrictions and stuff, though, which is good to see that they're taking it seriously. Um, so that's good. Uh, thank you for the lack drop there, Zam. That is what you will need. Some live streamer footage. It looked awesome. Lots of magic together. Yeah, it's not just video games. Sorry, I should have been... Uh, there is a whole section for video games, but then there's tabletop. So you've got your D&D. &D, you've got card games. You've got board games. VR. Like, every any type of game you can think of uh, is is represented uh, at PAX in some way, shape, or form. Uh, it was last minute. Channel points. Yes, last minute uh, to, to contribute to the toy hunting stream for today. Sunday will be the last chance to drop it. Channel points, channel points. Yep, exactly. Uh, yes, <laughs> social media, do the thing. Gotta spend them now. Raid Shadow Legends? No. They reached out to me a few years back. I do not think they'll be reaching out to me again. Um, channel is in my head. Well done. Good. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Who's Linda Capitalize? Seeker, amazing. So good. Bless you. Thank you, miss. Thank you. So the final course. I mean, I should be too gold for so Come on, but keep spending. Ah, well done with the contributions. Amazing. All right, let's. This is probably what I should have done before. Um, is actually found so much rate. Oops, sixty-eight percent. Ah, so close. So close to seek his goal of of seventy. But that's okay. That's okay. Um. Ooh, I reckon. Yeah, I know where we're going. Excuse me, I clicked that. Please respect my click. Thank you. Alrighty. Ah, uh, we see you can my name now. Just really appreciate the lovely help. Yay! Ah, uh, note that was too recent, Sika. Um, I try to I try to share the love around, and I have actually good lord, it has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, but this person I is still even longer than that. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, boop. Um, what's good? <laughs> Grab your. Copy paste if you do not have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you are. How was that? Played. Ah! What? Why did that not play properly? That's super weird. Hang on a second. Let me do that properly for you. I am so sorry. I don't know why that bugged out. That makes me very sad. Um, here you go. For the hard. 
That's what it's meant to sound like. I'm so sorry that that didn't work correctly, but at least you got what you spent your bits on. Thank you so much for the biddies. If you don't have the Fiyama hype emote, uh, if, because either because you're not a sub or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, either of which are totally okay, uh, you can still copy and paste the entire message, delete the part that says Fiyama hype, and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and then drop it into Elena's chat when we get there. Um, I'm going to see you on Sunday for gold making because you're going to be there because, uh, well, I mean, maybe you won't because it is Mother's Day. But look, we'll see. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I hope I'll see at least most of you there. Um, join Discord. Do the follow thing. Not just here. All the social media. And uh, I'll see you on Sunday. All the love. Mwah. Oh, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. All the love. I'll see you then. God.